is really nice. It's rich. It's earthy. Um, with like at my a forest, a rain yeah, forest. it is like a tropical rainforest. You're so right. And everybody has their colours that they they naturally gravitate towards. Yeah. And at Natasha makes uh, my lovely Inga, who works with me. This is always going to be her colours. And when I put it together, I had in my oh, head Inga will love Inga's this uh, because she's a gardener as well, and she just loves anything that's earthy and natural and yeah. going to bring the outdoors in. And I hope that's uh, that's the feel that you get with this collection. That is actually beautifully described. Um, I've got so much admiration for the Cave Facet Collective, and I've got to thank you for that because you were the one who introduced me to Cave Facet, and I've never looked back. And it's one of the shows where, whenever I look at the schedule and see I'm presenting Cave Facet show with you, my heart just sings. I get a big smile on my face because it's it's the kind of fabric you look at and you can't help but feel energized by oh, it. Oh, for sure, for yeah. sure. And but they bring that energy to everything that they do. Yeah. And that is that is the beauty of them. Um, I've you know I know them quite well now, and I've never well, heard them. You're, you're understating now. You're being very modest. Yeah, you're good, you know, you're good friends with them now. I they gave you them. the most amazing coat. They did. A K facet coat. They knitted me a scarf. They've been so and generous, and I I, I adore them. I, the, yeah. There's no two ways about them. Uh, when you know whenever I I'm actually interviewing Kafe next week, yeah. uh, and Brandon as well. So I'm very excited for. And it's just it's going to be the highlight of my week. I know. Kafe has lived a life. I know we've got to oh move on, but all yeah. I've got to say is that he trained as an actor, and who was in the same class as him? <laughs> Dustin Hoffman. Wait, and what? He, said, he and trained he said, with Dustin Hoffman? Yeah, I know. And he was like, ah, oh, you know, that little guy, he's never going to amount to much. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman! And do you know what? Dustin but Hoffman's yeah. probably saying, that Kafe guy is always talking about designing fabric, he's never going to amount to much. Yeah, he wants to get a manager, um, you okay. know. So that's the uh, one-day special. I say, I'm so sorry, the mega bundle has gone. Uh, one of the individual options has gone. You're down to these final three. Don't miss out. Still a great saving on those. Uh, we have got a pick and mix as well. Now, these are half meters. You might notice some of the same fabrics from the one day special, but it might be a different color. And obviously with half meters, if we're looking to make larger projects or uh, also like a apparel, this would be quite good too. I do need to point out as well that uh, any K facet fabric on the show is going to be dispatched from the 22nd. Uh, actually, seven, sorry, it's the 4th of April, I apologize. Let me correct myself. It's going to be dispatched from the 4th of April, and that's only because it's coming from abroad to us. The minute we have it, we're going to get it straight out to you. Okay, let's have a little look at our pick and mix. Shall we start here? Love that. Oh, there we go. Love that. So is that the shark's teeth? No, that's not that's the not. shark's teeth. That is, I want to... Pebble mosaic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your pebble mosaic. But isn't it, isn't oh. it beautiful? Um, Kaif and Brandon have done lots of actual mosaics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything they can't do? Well, I mean, they were asked by one of the garden centres to design a mosaic garden for them for the Chelsea Flower Show and got the gold award. So what? when I say, like, whenever they turn their hands to something, their, their enthusiasm, their passion, their joy brings them the best. It seems that anything that can be done, yeah. they can do. Yeah, yeah, they turn their hand to it. Of okay, course. so that's mosaic, and it looks like mosaic. Uh, this is your uh, mosaic and jungle and prune. Lovely. Then. Jumbo! Ooh. Now, this is interesting because, Natasha, you were educating me with volume prints. Right. So we've got slightly bigger volume here as well. So if you wanted a contrast with more ditzy fabrics, it's a nice contrast. Yeah, so you want, this is, again, this is going to be a blender. This is going to be one that's going to give you a rest. Use it instead of a plane yeah. uh, to give interest. Um, a, yeah, just to give it some interest. Great as a lining, great that's as nice. a binding, lining. anything like that. But it's it's Brandon's quirky take on a polka dot that's going to be the most decadent lining okay so we've got the same design different colorway here this is your uh jumble prune royal and ruby then we've got i love this one this color combo for me just works decadent lining oh yes decadent as lining. as if by magic and i see great minds natasha yeah we, we gravitate towards the same one so you've actually used that one as some lining yeah we'll show that when we come yeah. to you then we have finally that's Jumble Ruby. I didn't actually give a name check to this one. Apologies. This one. You too busy uh, admiring it. This is Jumble it. Royal. I was admiring your lining. <laughs> there we go. Uh, now we've got, oh, there's the shark. That's the shark. There's your teeth. shark's cool. teeth. There we go. There we've got our shark's teeth in pine. This is your chipped aqua. Love these. Yeah. Love uh, these. That's your chipped fog. That's like, again, it's got a bit of a mosaic feel. 
Uh, this is your chipped rose. So I didn't put these tipped. in the bundles because I wanted you to be. They went with so many. Ah. I didn't want. I didn't want to just peg them to just one. Yeah. One bundle. Okay. I, I was reading that right. It's chips. Chips. I was saying. I was. I was hearing chipped, but it's chips. Yeah. So that was me. Sorry. Uh, that was chip. Uh, chips rose. But look at it with the with the banana leaves. Oh yes. Well, it's, it's exactly what you were talking about, how well the colours yeah. sort of transcend from one design to another. So this is your banana tree black. Then we've got the hydrangea black. Do you know what? I like it when K, the K Facet Collective, they do give us the sort of black backgrounds and then the, the co colours on there. It's a different feel for the colour. They're really manly tones. Yeah. And I, I think that's, that's the thing. When I came yeah. in yesterday, the first show that I did, we made um, a glasses case. And Dougie on reception said to me, well, don't suppose it's going to be suitable for a gentleman. And I went, well, actually, a lot of these fabrics really are. I totally agree. Because he's so used to us making florally things, pinky yeah. things and stuff like that's that. That's very unisex, guy or girl. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. This is your garland, dark and tawny. Then we've got garland tawny. Over here we have buttons. Love that button mosaic green. That, it's it's such a great favorites. blender. Yeah, uh, that's your button mosaic orange, and there's your button mosaic purple. Three together, amazing. Uh, then we've got our damask flower brown. That's nice. And you I mean, how smart that, is that? You describe that as if you just need a little rest. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, here we've got the same damask, but in magenta, and then damask in purple. You know how I said with the banana leaves yeah. that the the pinks and the reds before it went really beautifully, but how beautifully would that purple damask go with the banana leaves it as well? Just it's everything, mixing everything just it up, yeah. and that's why you need them all. You do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we have. Uh, this is your lost flower okra, moss flower okra. Then we have feathers autumn. The cactus flower brown is so elegant. That is stunning. Uh, okay, those are your choices with the pick and mix. You're picking any two for fi any two for fifteen ninety nine. I know. Mm, okay. Uh, now, I'm going to show you here. We have some cork. This is interesting, and. Natasha, this is something I'm seeing more being used in projects, and it looks so good. Uh, I've got to tell you, we are limited stock here, and there is no more. This is on extended delivery. So this is our Natasha Makes Clutch Accessory Bundle. Talk to me. What are we getting in this? Okay, so um, it's that might have been slightly used because a I... A smaller? I might... No, 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 no. So you're going to get that amount of cork, but I yeah. might have nabbed one of the fobs and the, and the oh, tassels, okay. right. uh, which is on the bag that's just to your right. Um, yeah, but that's, you that just shows you how, how it can be used. And you get the pattern for that wristlet as well. So you'll get the pattern, so you'll be able to make that when you get your beautiful K-Facet fabrics. Lovely so, tassel. Yeah, it just gives a little bit of zhuzh, I think. More for yeah. a bit of zhuzh. Okay. Um, and the the cork is, it's, you Can know... You obviously the cork for the handle. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. So cork is a great product. It's sustainable. It's um, it's made of the bark of trees. So they shave them off, It's and then it's allowed to dry, and then it's shaved into really, really thin layers. And then it's adhered to, in this case, well, so sometimes it's just plain cotton that it's adhered to. Sometimes it's uh, well, it, lots of different carriers for the mm -hmm. substrate that it's adhered to. In this case, it's been, um, it's been quilted onto a wadding. So it's, a, it's already so quilted. So cool, it looks yeah. like you've done a lot of work. And you, you really haven't, haven't. It looks great. And what it does, uh, Natasha earlier on was discussing that, just that little break, that little rest. Um, we've had a technical sell out. I'm going to have to lay it down. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, so we knew it was going to be busy. 15.99 in, in your basket. Do make sure to check out. We know what a talented designer and crafter Natasha is. Uh, we have got a pick and mix showcasing some of her designs, and it's well worth having a look at because Natasha is so good at giving you patterns that you're going to enjoy making. You're going to learn something from, and ultimately, you're going to have something that looks stunning at the end of it. Uh, there are so many to choose from. You have to choose any two. Uh, apparently, Molly, our uh, producer, uh, said she has the pumpkins. Okay. Oh, it's got 
You've also got the tea cozy in there. I mean, there's so much to pick. So it's a pick and mix. Go have a look at your own leisure. But if you're looking for your next project, you will never regret investing in any pattern that Natasha has uh, developed and come up with because she, she's got the eye and also she's very good with her instructions as well because I, I've read your instructions, Natasha. I haven't made them, but obviously prepping for the show, I've read your patterns, your instructions, and you really, you, you're so sensible in the information that you give even somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, I felt I could follow it. And that's Thank the biggest compliment you. I could give yeah, you. Yeah, that, that means a lot because um, for me, I, I'm borderline dyslexic. Never mm -hmm. enough that you get the extra time in exams, but enough that words would skip around and yeah. I have an absolute hatred of instructions. So for me, it was really important to make them clear, to make them well spaced out, to make it really easy to read, but also to put in lots of visuals so there's pictures for every mm -hmm. step. Um, and I, you know, I've taught for 10 or so years, so I, I wanted it to be um, that you came away going, oh, that was easy, I, could, mm. I can do that, because this is what sewing should be. So none of these are difficult makes. Please know that they are not difficult makes. And, um, you know, for some people, they may be like, oh, you know, that's too easy. But it might just be that you've just finished a, a quilt that's taken you six months to do, and you just want something that's going to be done quickly, yeah. <laughs> but still be great. Of course, and uh, well, also, I feel you're learning something from your pattern. Speaking of learning, what are we going to learn right now? Okay, hair wraps. Ooh. Obviously, this not applicable to you now. You've had a haircut. Well, but I you know, told you. I mean, was this in my honour? You didn't realise I'd had a haircut. Didn't realise that you had the. Yeah, yeah but it's okay because we've got lots of ladies in the studio today who have said to me, "Oh, amazing." The bamboo that comes in this bundle. So you get the instructions to make the headband, to make the hair wrap. Um, so you can get, keep your hair out of your face. I mean, all look like Rambo <laughs> is another option. Um, when you put your makeup on. I mean, I'd, that's a look. I'd, I'd happily wear it. I, and look uh, amazing Very doing functional. so. Very functional. If you are, look. Joking aside, because um, everyone's laughing. <laughs> but if you work just functionally, if you want to do your makeup, this is your long hair. This is very, very handy. Five different options as well, but the white has sold out. Right. You look like, like a, a cross between Rambo and John Cleese and Faulty Towers I when he bangs his head. I, I used to you love Faulty Towers. <laughs> I, I can't on. unsee it. I'll also take, I can't unsee. I'd also take the Karate Kid as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, any or all of the above. It's, oh, a, it's a beautiful mix. I'll take it. I don't want to distract and, you. <laughs> and, and then yeah. you've got the wash mitt. We did on the very first show uh, the reusable makeup removal pads, which are great because it just means um, you take off your makeup, you throw them in the wash. They were, I've, had my, I've had the ones that I use at home have been washed and worn for over a year now. This is great and sustainable. Uh, yeah, sustainable. Really good, yeah. So bamboo is renowned for its super absorbency, its softness. You get, I mean, my, my son was brought up in bamboo nappies. Mm. So, you know, wash, they're well, antibacterial, antifungal, yeah. anti, you know, all of those things that you want mm. whilst being super, it feels like cashmere. Mm. And actually, our you floor manager... Can't imagine cashmere nappies. Oh, I know, right? I know. No wonder he took so long to get out of them. <laughs> uh, it was clearly far too comfortable. Um, but it, uh, and actually, one of our formers says that she um, has a silk pillow yeah. so that it doesn't ruffle her hair. Uh -huh. um, but actually, she's like, mm, I wonder if it feels so soft. I wonder if, if you could do that. And mm. Another option. Also, in there, you get the pattern for the hooded baby towel as well, modelled uh. by Captain Small. Oh. There she is. Hey, now these are brilliant. They are Super. great. And also, yeah. you know, when swimming pools open up again, um, you will have the delight of taking Archer to the pool yeah. and then realizing how freezing cold the changing rooms are. Uh, and you've got the baby to change, but yeah. you're freezing yourself and everything else. Wrap them in one of those, it's all good. Uh, they're super snuggly, super absorbent, and they're just really, really lovely. Um, so. Cool. The hair wrap is just a quick and easy make, but it also just wicks away all of the damp from your hair when you wash nice. it, so it means that it dries really quickly. Um, these... We're getting within that. We're getting 
the de the pattern to make all five instructions rather to yeah. make all five projects. Yeah, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. For nineteen ninety nine. The only thing that you yeah. would need a little bit more bamboo for is if you wanted to make the baby towel. But I've got that by the half meter that you can buy at Natasha makes um, on my website. But if you this the half meter, we've already had nibbly bits off the end to make these. Um, we will make the hair wrap. Yeah. Uh, you'll be able to make numerous mitts. Hair, you know. Uh, it, everything basically bar the big towel. Perfect. Okay. Um, so, 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 all of these are not difficult makes. It's just that I've worked out the measurements for you. Mm. So it saves you trying to work that out. Perfect. Uh, and that's sometimes that's just half the thing. So you've got lots of different makes in there. You've got the template for these. You also get the elastic bands for this make. And also, if you want to use it as a hook to hang up your mitt, because otherwise my kids just leave them scrunched in the corner of the bath and it drives me slightly mad because they go musty. Uh, so you'll have yeah. this. Welcome to the world mm. of children and bathing. Dad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, you get the measurements as to where everything needs to be. And then just round off the corners. That could be with a bowl, with a plate. I have got either this that I use or I've got something um, called a curved corner cutter, Ooh. which is from Creative Grids and is That's happily sitting swanky. at home. Yep, okay. uh, which is really useful. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> but basically, uh, all of the measurements are in there. And I'll just show you. This is what it's kind of looking like. Um, and then... You don't have to. You don't have to curve off the corners. It just, it's just one of those little things. That go, oh, you know. Now we had five options, but white has sold out. Okay. But you still got ivory, silver, grey, and blue and pink. So good options remaining. Yeah. Um, and they are. And with the grey, actually, the grey would look phenomenal with the black and white shark's mm. teeth binding it. And what I've found is that I've made every member of our household has a different color binding yeah which means that there are no arguments because everybody knows and who's if it's who's? yep and if it's left then we know who left their stuff and that's fine they don't get to then take somebody else's mm -hmm. you went to, well you know it, it's just one of those things um it make just makes life easier okay. so that is your starting point what i would say is that when you get your half meter of um of bamboo, cut the big stuff out first, mm. and you'll be amazed how much you can get out of it. But if you start taking circles from the middle of it, if you then want to take out big chunks, and you've cut circles, you you get the idea. So this is this is one of the, the larger pieces. Now it is then up to you whether you want to have the long fibres on the inside, yeah. so that it wicks away quickly you always because you get more touching your hair there's more volume isn't mm. there touching your hair but if you want it to be smooth but still work away then you can go on the other side where it's shorter fibers it's not going to ruffle the hair as much it's still going to be absorbent but so it's up to uh, you which that's you've got the options yeah yeah nice. yeah absolutely yeah. and and either is lovely and soft mm -hmm. it's just up to you it just means that when you go to sew it together decide which way you want and put the right sides together okay okay important yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and then you're just going to stitch around but leave that long edge um free and i mean this is i mean you're getting half a meter of the bamboo costume yeah it's wide too it's really wide and when it says and haberdashery so what else are we getting in there? so the, the the way the way that i um fasten this is with a hairband cut in half. It's the perfect elastic amount. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to get that, and also then it's also the perfect size for hanging. Oh yes. It's the perfect size for the size button because you get mother of pearl button in there as well for yeah. the front of this, and it's just it all just works. It's the yeah. perfect size. It saves you trying to work out or we rummage just cut around that in and half. yeah, I'll show yeah. you. Yeah, I'll show you. It's it's. It's one of those things that it's it's just easy, but if you don't have the right size or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. just trying to make life easy. That's all. Yes, we are busy for this. Now, we know we've got Captain Small, so your daughter, yes. modelling the little uh, baby blanket. 
Who, who's this modelling the hair? So, at Natasha Makes, I have the most incredible office manager mm -hmm. called Gemma. Um, this is Gemma. Uh, you're, she used to be um, in the beauty industry, nail technician and everything else. She's phenomenal, but her organisational skills are second to none, and she's absolutely everything that I needed to organise me. And Gemma and I have been friends for, oh, 20... <laughs> years wow. so it's it's lovely so you, you know met when you were five <laughs> that's right right yeah good maths and go. um so it's just it's really lovely to be able to work yeah. with all the people that i've known for years and who all have a similar passion and the natasha makes team is has kept me sane through lockdown for sure if you've got an overlocker yeah. you can overlock this okay. absolutely um you know, perfect, in which case you'll have it done in seconds. And in that case, you might even not want to bind it. I've got um, something they called fluffy nylon, fluffy nylon for my overlocker, mm. which means that the thread that wraps around the edge, you can put in a, a thicker thread, but it can be a really bright, vibrant colour. Well, so cool. it then makes the overlock yeah. um, edge, it makes a feature of it. So it makes it really bright and colourful and cheery. Do you know what it does? It makes you smile. Just even saying it, you have the biggest smile on your face. That was a conversational killer. Then. Sorry? I was going to say. Even when you were talking about the overlocker, you were smiling at the thought of it. Yeah, oh, colour. Yeah. It's just colour again, isn't it? Mm. It's all right. My, my foot pedal is slipping away and I'm just thinking, am I going to end up doing splits in a minute? That's why I wasn't quite listening to what you were saying. Sorry, Annis. OK. If I end up doing some form of gymnastic move, it's not meant. Uh, and it's just because my foot pedal is somewhere over there. Um, so, 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 so. Turn it the right way through. That is the actual making of it mm. done. And now it's just the titivating of yeah. it that you then want to do. Well, this is the um, fun bit. Which means that... Well, how would you titivate? Well, with binding. So we're going to make some binding. We are also going to take said hairband, mm. fold it in half and cut it. Very technical. Right, yeah. Um, that button will go on the front love the mother of pearl buttons and i'm going to baste this onto the back end mm. so that will get ready to go on there and just pop that under the machine and that will so the ends of that will be hidden by your um your binding which we are going to make <laughs> i'm doing the splits again it's okay hang on do get yourself a little pokey tool just to, because the elastic will want to ping away, but you just want to hold it so that you're, um, you will then go over it. There we go. Got it. Okay, so that is now basted in place so that when we put the binding around, that's just going to be held and then it will just be ba -ba, Ta -ta. there perfectly. So in order to make your binding, I just take a two inch strip. So this could be leftover binding. It could be, well, OK, so these are scraps that were left over from the bag that mm -hmm. we made earlier. Yeah. Um, am I going to throw them away? <sighs> no, absolutely not. Am Don't I going to use them here? It. Never. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I really wanted for this show, was to be able to bring you something that meant that nothing got wasted. Um, if you are going to buy beautiful fabrics, please use every scrap. Oh. Is this you a know. large 24-inch ruler? Using? Yeah, my Creative yeah. Grids, we'll absolutely. The the uh, 23 .95 your price there. Creative Grids do bring such great rulers. They certainly do. They absolutely do. Now, in an ideal world, if I was... If I was being frivolous and not frugling mm. my fabric, and I am making that into a verb. Um, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Make just make the thing. Uh, yeah, right. Then what I'm going to need to do is join a few of these layers together. Uh -huh. All right. And, um, and make one long, long stretch of binding. Because at the moment they're in pieces, but I don't want to cut and take a whole great long length. I need a new blade in my... There we go. Um, so, on the website, I know that we've got... Um, hey, actually, this is Haley's little gadget, which mm -hmm. is just phenomenal. 
and I, re I really am taken with it. But it's the handmade by Haley Bias Binder Maker. Yeah. And when you, I mean, it, it can be any kind of binding, but it is because it reduces bulk. So if you put your binding right sides together, then get Haley's little gadget. Mm -hmm. What it will do for you is give you that 45 degree line that you then mark off. Yeah. If you just go onto our website, shop by brand, you should be able to find this. It was on the show earlier. I don't know if it's come onto this show as well. Um, but it's looking for handmade by Haley. Uh, yeah, you know, she is, our Haley is so lovely mm. and clever. And, you know, she's got years and years and years of gadgetry know how. And when she couldn't find what she wanted, she just made it. Went, oh, oh yeah. that's fine. Oh, I need a new needle. Look at that. When you go home, you're going to treat yourself to new needle and new rotary cutter blade. I am. Yeah. It's it's all the it sample shows making how busy and everything. You've been during this one day special. <sighs> uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And then, you know, you can just trim that back, quarter of an inch or what have you. But what it means is that when you then open it out, just that's just cool. You see, that's because I don't have a sharp needle in it. Sort of pulled it in. Mm. Um, but you then get that, that long Perfect. continuous length. You yeah. won't notice it. You'll press that seam open. Honestly, you won't see it. So I'm just going to uh, repeat that process just on here. And then I'll show you how to make the binding. And it's one of those things that if you can make your own binding, it saves you money because you can use, you can use your scraps. You can use any of those things. And you're not always reaching for a fresh, long, new piece of fabric. Uh, as we're doing this, if you just take a look behind me, you'll be able to see the different options. Because I keep on saying about the different options, uh, it refers to the bamboo toweling. So you can have a look here and see that the white, I'm sorry, has gone. But we've got the ivory, the silver, the grey, and the blue. Uh, sorry, and the pink. There you go. Oh, my face. <laughs> I didn't realise my face was up there. No, no one needs to see my head that close. Uh, so you can see that, yeah. Okay. The, yeah, gosh, the, the greys and the blues are just gorgeous with these. And, um, and it might be that you're not going to use your cave fabrics with it. It might be that you've got um, some of the Tilda Farmyard range or something. That's what I used for Emily, and it was absolutely beautiful for hers. And, um, you know, you just, whatever you like, really. Uh, right, so, mm -hmm. to make your binding, let me find some form of pressing device here we go first of all you want to just press out where you've made your very major binding I'm never quite sure how fast yeah. this iron heats up dribbling I know I know that's not ideal is it I think it needs a moment because it's just been maybe it's salivating at the yeah. fact of getting to iron these k-facet fabrics and who wouldn't I don't do? think it's the iron. I think it was Natasha, actually. She enjoys it. <laughs> Kate passed it so much. Oh, it's like my great Dane, Eric, when he hears his dinner bowl. Oh, bless, bless him. How old's Eric? He's 11 now. Oh, that's a good age for great Dane. Well, if you make it to eight with a Dane, you've done well. Done yeah, well, yeah, he's he's 11. Which, for a, for a bad boy done good, he, um, oh. yeah, he was Is our it? rescue Dane. We had him at six months. We were his... Um, fourth home in six months oh, he was a terror he Derek. was an absolute terror was our he needed, eric he needed a good mummy he did he did and instead he got me um <laughs> but great we, we've done all right yeah. um now uh if you're using Haley's binding tool this is cool yeah it is it's really lovely and it's helped me tremendously I tend to just sort of mm -hmm. pop it on there. And this is a uh, quilting ruler set. You can find it on the website. It's only £20. Um, we'll just show you very quickly. So that's what you're getting. Uh, always very busy every time Haley's brought it in. And as uh, Natasha was saying, Haley's just very, very clever in what she designs. She knows because it's every time, it's like with creative grids, what you're looking at are, um, you're looking at, a quilter designing for quilters so they know what you need so what this tool does is give you a nice accuracy for your binding and it just makes it um, an awful lot easier now this is 
slightly narrower than I should have put in here, but it's just, it's the size that I needed. And so the tool still works, an absolute treat. And look at that binding. It's yeah. just perfect and so much quicker. You've got a central line on there, which um, helps me to line up uh, that middle bit of my binding so that I know that when I fold it in half, mm -hmm. it's going to be equal either side. And that's important for your binding, that these are equal, because otherwise when you fold it up, if you're stitching along one side and through to the other, yeah. and it's not the same, it's going to come undone mm. and you'll then have to go back in and hand stitch and that was what always put me off binding was the amount of hand stitching I'd have to go back in and do yeah. because I hadn't quite got got to grips with making good binding and it is worth just spending a little bit of time getting it right and just yeah. realigning and and getting it there um, but it's no this is a really handy tool and if you don't have an iron to hand you can just sort of rub that backwards and forwards oh, and yeah. it acts like a finger press yeah it's got a friction we have got the details for the handmade by Haley quilting ruler set it's 20 pounds and your item number is 003384 i know that every time haley's brought it in it's always been immensely busy uh, yeah. it's not a new today i'm sorry that's just our graphics playing up so i've got to stress it is not a new today no but it's great so then you just make your binding and then we're going to wrap it around. I've got to give you some props for your poncho. That's a very nice poncho. Did you make it or buy it? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Dougie said exactly the same thing ah. when I walked in. He said, do you make that? No, I've made very similar, yeah. um, but I didn't. No, no, Ponchos no. Ponchos are very handy. Do you know, they are. They really are. I think as a guy, I would be happy to, to rock a poncho. Well, you see, I think you could. I don't see any problem in that at all. Right, we're nearly done. We're nearly there. Wee! You just have to do it. Like normally you'd do it on an ironing board so you'd have a longer length. I have to keep stop, pin, stopping and, and repinning and stuff, but you'll get. And we'll get there. We'll be there in moments, moments, moments. Um, and then we'll talk about binding because yes. binding is, this is a transferable skill, whether you use it on your quilted there. Okay, so there are so many different ways to bind. That's the first thing. Um, none are wrong. Mm -hmm. It's pick one that is going to work and suit you and how you like to do these things. So that's, that's all I would say on that. Just tell it for his gob there. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. But in the instructions, I show you a couple of different ways to bind, depending on your skill level and how confident you are yeah. with it. Cool. So, you know, pick the one that works for you um, so that you are happy with what you are doing. There we are. Okay, so. <laughs> Which white pile is it? Here we go. So this is it. Um, we are going to start over here. Uh, I'm going to leave a little length here un undone. Okay. Okay. So I will start about there and and show you show you how. So that binding that we've just made will be folded in half mm -hmm. and it will go either side to encase that raw edge and we're just going to stitch that in place okay, all the way around okay as we're doing that yeah uh, i know that Haley's uh, quilting ruler set is very very busy and i'll tell you what we'll do at some point um because if you go onto the website we haven't got it here on the, on the show but you'll be able to find it we'll show a picture of everything that you're getting but it's really good value for money and speaking of good value for money Take a look at this, the one day special. Uh, you are running out of time to get hold of the one day special. Got to tell you that the mega bundle where you got everything, that has gone. One of the options, uh, the fourth option of the ODS, that was the, was it the blue? That's gone. Uh, we got three options remaining, but the good news is we still have options remaining. It is still brought to you by the K Facet Collective and you are still getting a tremendous price. So whichever option you go for, you're going to get 10 uh, fat quarters. They are US fat quarters. I do need to stress that. We'll start with the future option. I'll just push this back. So 10 beautiful uh, fat quarters. And this, to me, K Facet, I mean, it's rare as a designer. There are a few iconic designers where you see the uh, fabrics and instantly you know that's K Facet. And I tell you something, K Facet Collective, I mean, the, this is absolutely stunning. It's like the plumage of a beautiful bird of paradise. 
you look at the fabric, you know that's K-facet. You know that's K-facet. And this is what you get uh, with K-facet. Such iconic, iconic fabric designs. You can use a little or a lot. I mean, don't be scared to throw all of these beautiful uh, colors and designs together. They'll work. There's the shark's teeth. And then, I love this one. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and then up here, this is a fuchsia. I'm just going to show you the other ones that you're getting. So you've got the banana tree, all of these. So just showing you. Go on. You can look at it and know which of the three from the K-Facet Collective has designed what. That's your next, that's that's your next, next step. That's I'm your next challenge. Yet, but I, I, I know where you're going with that. And I hope that I will be there soon. Right, we're going to go on to the tropical collection now for you. Love this. So having a look at your tropical collection as your eyes sweep across, you get to appreciate all these sumptuous uh, designs. Now with the uh, tropical fabrics, you're getting uh, the nice dark back tone uh, and the black tone, I should say. I don't know that it's been a conscious decision in putting these together and got to thank Natasha because she's a big part of that process. She really has put a lot of thought into everything that goes into each bundle. So that is your tropical illusion. And then finally, we got our emerald. So emerald, as the name suggests, you can see it here with the emerald, you're getting a beautiful amalgamation of greens, but then you've got all these bright purples and pinks and all these other tones sort of coming through. Natasha started the show by saying, it doesn't matter what fabric you take from uh, any of the collections, they will work with the other. I'm just going to, I want to pick this one up and show you the size of the fat quarter. So there we go. That's the fat quarter that you're going to be receiving. So I mean, that's, that's a generous amount, whether that's a bag front or it could be a cushion cover or you could be cutting that up. That's from the Fuchsia, uh, Fuchsia uh, collection. All right, so there we go. Is that, oh, so sorry, it is. Put it yeah, in with it. I I no, it's not. I'm desperately trying to put it I in. I know, there. I know. If I were Thank to do it for... again, Yanis, no, I would. No. Thank <laughs> you for having my back. It's, That's uh, all right. Just Natasha correcting me. It's not. It's from the tropical collection. That was my mistake. Uh, okay, we've got a pick and mix back here as well. Now, with the pick and mix, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll, just, we'll go through, and because I know we're, we're, we're uh, rushing for time, so I don't... I want to get back to Natasha so you can see what's going on. So with the pick and mix, there's so many different choices. Go on to the website and have a look. You are picking any two half meters, but my goodness, that is an absolute feast for the eyes. There's the shark teeth in there. You've got the chips. You've got the mosaics. There's so much going on. The buttons, the banana leaves, but that's the button mosaic. So that to me, again, you're looking at it, you know what it's K-facet fabrics and that's a really special thing to be able to do as a designer to come up or as a collective rather to come up with designs that people can identify and know that that's you I mean it's hard to do in a world where there are so many lovely fabrics but K-Facet have uh, they've really found their niche and uh, we're so glad that they're here at Ho-Chanda just going to jump onto the website and show you options so this is how easy it is to pop it into your basket picking any two so have a look and see what you're going to go for. There's uh, lots and lots of choices there. Okay, um, enough from me. I know we're going to get back to Natasha. Still got time, by the way. If you've got any questions, please email in studio at hochanda.com. And I've got to tell you, we've got our international quilting event. It is a massive giveaway. A huge. Last time we did this, uh, it was this time last year, it was the biggest giveaway Hochanda had ever done. The actual prizes amounted to thousands and thousands of pounds. Uh, so again, we've got another monster giveaway. What we do during any uh, soft craft show during the event, we add a prize. Uh, and that's running, it's already started and it's gonna run until noon on Sunday. So what we're doing here is giving you this K-Facet uh, 2.5 uh, fabric, uh, uh, 2.5 inch fabric roll. There we go, and you're gonna get 40 of those. Beautiful. Uh, there we go, 40 of the strips, I should say, not 40 of, <laughs> 40 to imagine, Ooh. 40 of those, <laughs> that, that's a must way. Just 40 of the strips in that one roll. Uh, let me explain. Any purchase this hour, and we have had a busy hour, your name goes into a hat. It could genuinely be you, because one name in the hat, uh, one name rather, goes forward to the prize draw, and somebody's going to be w winning that mega prize draw. All right, Natasha. It's phenomenal, isn't it? If you want an idea of what you can make with said uh, jelly roll, if you sewed them all together, 
that's I mean that's half that's it folded in half but that's the size of the quilt wow. that you would that's what's in that li that one little roll that's a lot <laughs> yeah and that's just one of the prizes that you're going to get in the bundle uh, that that honestly that prize I keep looking at it going that's phenomenal why can't we enter well we can't enter because we work no. here um, but that would be, if you won that and you were just starting out, that has everything to get you started in a whole new hobby. It's amazing. Right, so we're just coming around. I did the schoolgirl error of not properly measuring exactly how much binding I needed and then nearly got to the end and went, oh, oh it would be more than I actually made. So I just had to quickly whip up some more. Okay. So we will get to the end. There are a couple of ways in which you can finish off your binding. Um, one is that you can simply, when you start to stitch your binding, you stitch right from the very beginning. Do you remember we left a little bit? Yeah. But if I had done it so that that was stitched on mm. right at the beginning, as I come round now, all I would do is cut it a little bit further on, mm -hmm. fold that raw edge under, and just fold it over the top and stitch over the top. Okay. Like That's the easiest, easiest way. Um, I'm going to show you another. I would imagine the bamboo would make good bibs. Oh, okay, so the bibs are phenomenal with the bamboo. Yeah. Um, and we did a show with that a little while ago. Oh, but you gave me one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because they're so absorbent. Yeah. They're just brilliant. So, um, and it'll wash. It'll just keep washing. And, and it's antibacterial and all those sorts of things mm. that you want from a substance. And, of course, so soft near a baby yeah, skin. That's, that's what you want. Um, so... As we come round, and we've just got that last little bit of binding there to do, um, I'm going to mark off on here about a quarter of an inch, maybe slightly more, mm -hmm. and the same on that side there. And then I'm going to mark that on both sides all the way through. And then what I will do is... Also, just mark all the way along there so that I know that I'm going to mark them back to back, mm -hmm. match up those lines, open out my binding, and I'm going to stitch on that line. So this is slightly more fiddly. Remember, the other way in which you can do it is to just, you know, cut, fold over and you're done. Um, let me find a pin. But this just gives, gives an absolutely seamless finish on there. So it was that side, wasn't it? Okay. And this isn't something that you really want to rush, but, you yeah. know, we always have time. Right. time. Uh, we've got details for our K Classic Collective One Day Special. It is the February 2001 edition, so it's a uh, 2021, I should say, uh, edition. So then you snip that off. You remake it into binding. Okay like so and then you just finish off stitching mm -hmm. around and what that will give you is just a continuous That's piece nice. of binding it's really okay. smart then isn't it so i'll just that quickly stitch that down it does lift the bamboo it suddenly the k facet is it does doesn't it something like this um what i'll do is i'll just press that back into shape you might because you know you've just You've just manhandled that. Just press it in half again, and remake your remake. Just remake your binding. Okay. And um, just if you you know if you want to be super super smart about it. There we go. Nice, quick, easy make as well. You consider you you've done this live on the show while chatting, and we haven't. You know, spent ages. No, no, we really haven't. And and this is one that is perfect for, you know, any teenagers that you've got in your family and you don't really, you want to make them something, but you're not quite sure what. 
Uh, so you just go back to where you left off your binding. Have you, have you done any shows with Paola? Uh, not today, no, not today. Uh, I've missed that, her. Paola loves her face. Paola's coming to the studio she's doing the next hour, and she absolutely adores her fabric. Also, she loves colour. I think she got it from her dad, who's an artist, but you just you love your colours, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Right, so that is your binding, and it's just, it's, That's yeah, nice. it's smart, right? And so there it is, all the way around. And then all you want to do is, at the front, on that front seam, is stitch on your button. And that's it done. That's the make made. So then you'll just wrap your hair in it. Shall I show you how? Yeah, go for it. Pretty, pretty easy. So there are two ways. You can either put it straight on like that, yeah. or if you've got, you know, if you're off the volume, then you'll put that on over there. You have, all your hair will be obviously wet yeah. down there, right. and then you just want to get your hair into there, twist it, yeah. and this is why. So my daughter wears exactly the same size. She's two. Oh. Because you just keep twisting it. I mean, gosh, it's a look, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but and you just just Make keep it twisting it until it fits. It's it's practical. It's a nice make. The bamboo feels amazing, and it's very healthy for your hair too. Well, I mean, I feel like I should have like a house jacket or something, and you should be but, on, uh, on the catwalk walking there. <laughs> look at this, the latest release. So yeah, how you want to do it? But it's. I mean, I sometimes I just fall asleep in it, but it yeah. just it's so soft. It's Love just it. lovely, and so it, you know, it's not going to pull and damage kids' hair or anything yeah. like that. It's because it's the best off. I am back in two Thursdays, so not next Thursday, the Thursday after. Okay, and I hope you're going to be joining us. Thank you so much, Natasha. My pleasure. It's lovely to see you. Uh, lovely to see you too. It's been too long. I know. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as well. So this was final call for our one-day special. Don't miss out. K Facet produced such beautiful, the original fabrics, and also we we're just featuring the bamboo, which is incredible, and obviously designs from Natasha. Thank you for your company. Plenty more coming up. So we've got a great hour, Hannah Maid, coming up next. After that, totally patched, launch a one-day special not to be missed. And then we got Quilter's Trading Post. So some phenomenal hours here at Hochanda. Enjoy. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times we've developed the groovy parchment art system so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto Parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. 
They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on her channel? Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. The meshes at Hachanda are how to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows on Hachanda. Well, hello, good afternoon. We have got such an amazing, beautiful hour ahead of us. This is the most amazing, exquisite embroidery. And it's handmade. Han <laughs> handmade. And of course, we have got Anne here to pronounce it perfectly. So how do you pronounce it? Um, it's handmade. Handmade. Hand perfectly. Yeah. How are you, Anne? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Very excited to do your show because I believe you have done one show here at Hotanda yes. before. Yeah, last year. Last year, yeah. yeah. And it's so great to have you back here. Uh, because your projects are exquisite. They oh, are. Thank you. And thank how did you come up with the idea of the projects and your own company as well? Um, well, I love, I just love stitching. I'm totally passionate about um, sewing and I get a lot of inspiration from my garden, from plants, flowers and journeys and things like that. And I started doing quite a bit of stitching and people just got interested in what I was doing. Yeah. So I just started producing kits so that people can have a go at what I love doing. Absolutely. And, th and that inspiration from the garden is so immediately uh, seen in these other projects. I love as well the uh, colours that you have chosen for the embroidery. Now, we have already been busy for these bundles. Uh, please make sure to check out your baskets as soon as you make your decision. We, for the first um, bundle, we have three different options. We have the gorgeous birds and flowers. Then we have the flowers and butterflies which is this one you can see the butterflies there and then we have the last one is flower and bees now whichever option you go for uh, you get embroidery as well as the printed panel isn't that right Anne? Yes, so you get the um, screen printed design, so mm -hmm. I hand screen print them all. So I think one of the options is just to get the design with the instructions and then yeah. the other one is to have it with the threads. Yeah. So if you wanted to go for the template, uh, the printed embroidery template, the details are at the bottom of the screen. However, I love the colours you have chosen because can you tell us a little bit about as well um, the, the, the threads themselves? What type of them are there? They're um, a Danish cotton thread. Um, so for each of my designs, I try and use different threads, but I think these particularly work really well with the embroideries because they're quite a soft, chalky colour. They're not yes. too bright and too yeah. shiny. 
um, and the colour combinations just work so well together. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to open the panel so you can see. Now, the, the weave uh, feels a very uh, tight weave. Tight weave? Yes, yeah, yeah. tight weave. Yeah, it's a cotton. It's 100% cotton that the prints are screened it's onto. Beautiful. The blue design that's on there doesn't wash off, so okay. that stays on yeah. and you stitch over the top. Abs oh, dear, that's beautiful. Now, if you wanted a template on its own, uh, it's at the bottom of the screen. So basically, they get the printed panel right yeah they get the pr printed panel and the instructions and the Anne's favorite stitches postcard because yeah. one of the things that I really do love with the mm. kits is I'm not prescriptive over the stitches you've got to use so if you're a beginner embroiderer you can keep your stitches really really simple if you love embroidery and you want to have a go at different things you can just mix and match so you can put the colors where you want to put them the stitches where you want to put them you can do additional things in there as well so mm. Every piece of embroidery that you do is totally unique. There's never two the same. Absolutely, and I love that. Now, by the way, the birds, uh, the birds and flowers is now 10% of the stock has gone. Now, uh, of course, you then display it with display hoops, um, but that's not included in the kit. If you want some, and we do have some on the website, have a look if you want to. But however, I adore. I would urge you to check out your baskets. It's stunning. I would go for the threads as well because that chalkiness that you were talking yeah, is absolutely it's gorgeous. gorgeous and of course the made in Denmark which are not that easy to find uh, 791 and 966 is your item number then we have an exclusive this is a, a launch a brand new launch uh, from you know not just on Hochanda but also from Anne herself now this uh, we have got two different options we have uh, the daisy chain and then we have the Helleborn Helleborn yeah sorry I'm not you just try me, you know, when you present it. They are absolutely exquisite. Can you talk us through what we get as well and what was your inspiration behind it? Okay, these ones, these kits are slightly different um, from anything else that I've done. So I like to have different types of backgrounds. So the previous kits had a screen printed background, yeah. whereas this kit is a plain piece of fabric. So you get a piece of um, cotton um, to place in a hoop. And then you get a selection of fabrics and bits of lace. So the fabrics, some of them are vintage, some are upholstery, um, cotton fabrics, different types of lace. And you create a background to start off with. So you cut them into squares. You can do any sort of shape that you would like. Yeah. And you pin them onto the background. Yeah. And then you have the daisy chain or the hellebore design. So I've done two different drawings um, as inspiration for the actual kits and you trace the flowers off and then transfer them onto your design and then you continue to stitch over the top. You can add buttons and then they actually get attached to the canvases, so the circular canvas. Yeah. So I just thought it'd be quite nice to have a piece of work that when you're done, you present it on the canvas and then you put it up on the wall yeah, and you can absolutely. admire it. Uh, now, we are very busy for this. Uh, now, uh, a quarter of the stock of both options, both the Hellebore and the Daisy Chain has already gone. If you want yours, please do check out your baskets. Remember, this is Daisy Chain that you can see in the screens be, uh, and the pink, more kind of color is Hellebore. Uh, 236, uh, 567 is your item. Number 29 pounds and 99 pence gives you, a, you know, all that you need, of course, are uh, including the canvas to put it in. Then we have this is this is, I think this is my favorite. I mean, it's hard to have favorites because when everything is so exquisite, but this has to be one of them. Now it's also brand new today to Hochanda. Uh, now you have got two options here, and now you have the green and blue, which is actually my favorite, and then the blue I'm playing. The luminosity of that green yellow coming through is just extraordinary. I love and it's a little bit different, isn't it? This yeah. one again. Yes, yeah, so that one was actually the original print is um, a paper collage that I did. So uh -huh. it's actually using um, bits of paper, print that I made the picture um, that was then photographed and then it's digitally printed onto the fabric. Oh, I see. So with this background, you have. Um, they're, they're sort of a little bit abstract, the shapes. They are still based on seed heads. Um, and again, you make it unique to you, whichever color option you can stitch however you want. So actually, depending where you place the hoop on the piece of fabric, again, no two pieces would be the same. Indeed, and I love it. I mean, look at, 
And I love that uniqueness that you are giving us like kind of the blueprint and then we can put our own stamp into it if we yeah. wanted to. Uh, in this bundle, you can go, uh, You well, you have the, the beautiful buttons that printed as well, digitally printed uh, fabric as well as those gorgeous um, threads as well, embroidery threads here. This is the blue and green and then the pink and blue option. Again, you have got, you know, the buttons in the matching colors as well as the threads. Now, whichever option you go, 24 pounds, and 99 pence is your price 966-069 I think is absolutely beautiful all right on the website you will find every single key that we have looked as well as other items uh, now remember to have a look at the, uh, at the website if you need as well the embroidery hoop displays or embroidery hoops the spring ones as well to do your work we have got a, a mix set of four different sizes uh, with five star reviews but remember there is a lot more in the website including other kids that you may want to have a perusal in there because you can man, enjoy some other items that there are them right mm -hmm. and now just make sure to check out your baskets because it's a beautiful beautiful exquisite craft and with that uh, and what are you going to show us um i thought i'd start with the um daisy chain okay, yeah. first just to give you an idea because actually it's probably a bit easier if i sort of explain the initial bit um, so you place your, like I said, place your fabric in the hoop and then you have the drawn design. Okay. So I've drawn these out. There's the daisy one and there's the hellebore uh -huh. and you trace them. There's a piece of tissue in your pack and you trace the design off. Now you can choose how much or how little yes. you trace off. So again, you can make it totally unique to you. You might decide to double things up. It's totally up to you. When you've done that, you're going to place it over the top of your fabric and just pin it on and then you start stitching. So to go around the edge, I've used the grey. So the threads that I have given you um, for this one are actually pearl A threads because they're a little bit thicker than the cotton threads. Yeah. And I've sort of done a little sample here just so that you can see what it's going to look like. So you would do all the back stitching. When that's done, so you would imagine, you've got to try and imagine, I didn't have yeah. time to sit and stitch the whole thing. It does take quite a while, but it's a nice labour of love. Um, and then because you've got the tissue and you've perforated it, you can then, you just pull that way. off. Yeah. And you're left then with yeah. the little daisies yeah. that are stitched as an outline. And again, you can do this in two different ways. On the, the example that I've given, I've just stitched the outline but on this one, I've used the yellow and sort of filled in the centers. Yeah, so you can then place your daisies wherever you want. They go around the edge, which is why it's called a daisy chain. Once you've done that, then you can start stitching everything else. So just to hold the fabric down, I've just done loads of running stitches, not everywhere, but it just holds the fabric in place. Uh, by the way, sorry to interrupt it's you. Okay. And, uh, now a third of the stock of the beautiful both options uh, has now gone. If the, these gorgeous. Is this one is the one that includes the uh, different patches of fabric as well as the round canvas. Okay. Um, so once you've done that, then you're just stitching. And the stitching technique I tend to use is it is basically a running stitch. It's just really, really simple. So if you're a beginner embroiderer, this is just a fantastic thing just to sit and do. It's sort of based on um, slow stitching, which is about the rhythmic stitching and just sitting and enjoying um, sewing, really. And I think that's where a lot of my kits and inspiration for my kits have come from, yeah. is just that idea of sewing, yeah. really. And I just like, I think the thing that I like about these ones is having the colours behind. Um, all the sets are slightly different, so again, there's no two sets exactly the same. So you may get different variations on the fabric, different sizes. But the colourways will be the there. The colourways you know. are the same, yes. Yeah. They just might be slightly different. So the laces and yeah. things like that might be slightly different. It just depends what I've got at home yeah. when I'm busy making that's the kit. That's part so. of the beauty of, uh, beauty of it, that it kind of almost the uniqueness uh, of each of these projects. I have a kind of a question, though, but do you have any... Uh, so when we are laying the pieces of fabric, do we have to be mindful of how many layers of them overlap each other? You don't really. I mean, the fabrics are not that thick. But yeah. if you did, say, have five or six yeah. layers, then it's going to yeah. be quite hard to stitch through. The only thing probably you do need to think about is wherever you're putting your daisies, because they're going to go yes. around the edge, 
probably the darker fabrics need to be more in the middle so that you can right. see them but there's nothing to say that if you wanted to stitch and fill in the whole mm -hmm. daisy mm -hmm. you could even if you wanted to take a piece of um, fabric and place one of the daisies on and actually stitch it on the okay. piece of fabric then cut it out and applique it on yes. so there's loads of different options I don't like being too prescriptive with my kits because I just think if you're sitting and stitching it's nice to be able to put your own stamp on it but there's enough instructions there that if you don't feel confident doing that mm -hmm. there is enough information for you to be able to do the kit anyway mm -hmm. so you could there are buttons in there for you yeah. to stitch on to yeah. which are really nice um, I like using all sorts of buttons okay. so acrylic buttons um, linen buttons uh -huh. so it's yeah. one of those things when you know somebody's watching you you can't stitch your button <laughs> you can't find it but you can then take inspiration yeah. from your button then with the stitching so the majority of stitching that I do goes up and down and yeah. um, left and right but once you have put the button on then you can start going around so I think the example that you've got it's got one of the buttons with the running stitch just going round and round and just spreading out yeah. from the actual design okay. It's a gorgeous. Yeah. Yes, and I also find that your projects, finished projects, are have got that that beauty, organic beauty from the garden as well. And I, I think, but also it's kind of very peaceful to look at and to make as well. Yeah, um, the daisy chain thing really came from when I was sat thinking about when I was a child ah. and actually making daisy yeah, chains. Of course. Um, and the hellebore designs um, came out of the fact that I have a lot of hellebores bores in my garden that are my mum's. Mm -hmm and we're from my mum's garden and they're her favourite flower. Oh, I see. So that's why I ended up doing that. And the ones that I've got from her are pink, which is why that one has yeah. a pink colourway. And this one has more neutrals with the greens and neutral colours. So it's just yeah. a case really of once you've got going, yeah. it's just filling in the shapes. And the kits are also designed that if you wanted to add other colours in there, because yeah. everybody I assume has got their own stash. Yeah, I have absolutely. a big stash yeah. of stuff. Um, so you can add other threads in there if you've got other buttons, little bits of lace, because I think these are quite nice because they go on the canvas and then go up on the wall. Yeah. Sometimes it can be nice if you've got, um, I don't know, some special buttons that somebody's given you or a little piece of lace and you just want to place it on a piece of work because you're going to put this on a canvas at the end of the day and then pop it yeah. up on the wall it means you've actually treasured something absolutely treasured uh, by the way uh, approaching uh, half the star gone already for both of the Halibor and, and the daisy chain options if you want please make sure that you check out your baskets otherwise you might run out or we might run out of one of the options or both of them and you will miss out uh, you know the other thing I was thinking of that is it's like you're giving us the you are giving us your amazing drawings, but also you are giving us the learning skills of doing something like this. So, once you know, once we we do it once, could we use the same pattern again for another for another project? Oh, definitely, because you've actually got the um, pattern already drawn out. You can use that for anything else. So, even though I've put these to go onto a canvas. There's nothing to say that if you wanted to leave it in a hoop, you could applique this onto something Absolutely. else. So you can do whatever you want with them. Absolutely. So fabulous. Right. So you kind of got, oh, I love I love the way that is. It's almost like something that also you can do watching, you know, TV even. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I definitely do that. Usually when I'm doing things like this, I have a little box that has in everything yeah. with my fabric, my threads. And when my children were a little bit younger, whenever we, I used to go as a mum and sit by the swimming pool and at rock climbing and gymnastics and things like that, I'd always have my sewing kit with me. So they're just lovely because you can just pull them. You can do a little bit. They can go away for a while. You can bring them back out again and just keep working on them because you've just got everything there that you need. Absolutely. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now, £29.99 pence is your price for this bundle. Uh, I just It's one of those... those who, those kids that well all of them that when I walked in it was like oh isn't it just quiz it it's just so fabulous and the thing is you it's achievable as well yes it looks complicated but Han has broken it down for you so it comes with instructions it comes with printed uh, the, the printed instructions for the um, Han's favorite stitches as well which means that you are not gonna you can choose which ones you do you can see how they finish uh, how they look as well and you have the step-by-step -step instructions you have pieces of lace you have got printed uh, fabrics in here 
Okay. And what I love about this technique is that, yes, it's a self-contained uh, co um, you know, kit. Yes, you might need an, uh, an embroidery hoop and some needles and thread, but that's about it. Well, thread is included, so sorry, just the needle and the scissors. But you have the display uh, canvas, you have got the kind of embroidered onto pattern as well. And you have the, the patterns as well. So let me show you the patterns in here because that's what we like, don't we? So it comes even with the tracing element as well. That would, so you can stitch directly the tissue and then rip it apart. Remember that you can do this time and time again. Think about once that you learn the technique, once that you know how to do it, you can transfer those skills to something else. And of course, the fact that you are getting in like an, an array of lace and canvas and beautiful fabrics is absolutely amazing. Remember you have got two different options, the hellebore which is the pink and purpley tones or the daisy change which is more the green one which is the one that Anne is working on. 236-567 is your item number. Back to you Anne. Okay, so I'm just busy doing a little bit more stitching on that. Okay. It's one of those things as well with hand stitching, it's not as quick as machine stitching so it never looks yeah, like you've got very yeah. far. Because um, I know when I was doing the back stitching on the daisies on the original one, I was I was working on it for quite a few evenings, but it was really really nice to do. Yeah. Um, so you're just playing around with just straight stitch, which is why if you're a beginner embroiderer, this is just such a lovely technique to do. One of the things that you can also think about with your fabrics when you put them down, I like to build up lots and lots of textures, so some of the edges I'll do and I'll have cut the edge, and then others I'll actually pull out some of the threads so that you sort of get really fluffy edges and really nice frayed edges, so that sort of adds a little bit to it. The other bit that's really nice with this technique is that if you wanted to, you could just lay a few squares of the fabric down, put the daisies on, and then continue to build up yeah. your fabrics as you go along. So you could stitch one layer of fabric and then decide that you want to have another section of fabric. So you can just really keep building up all the different layers. I tend to, with these ones, use straight edges because there are the daisies on there. And once you get the bigger daisies actually on the design, it and it's filled quite a lot of the edge, it can look quite busy. So that's why I keep all my edges quite straight because yeah. then you've got the contrast between the straight edge and the actual decoration yeah. with the daisies. And that's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Right, of course, the details on the screen are for the hellebore and the daisy change. You just choose whichever one is your favorite. Or you could be both. So you put one and then you select the other one in the next, uh, you know. How you do it? Just select one and then you go back and put the same item number and select the other one out to a basket. Right, you are going to show us uh, also another pr another of the kits, aren't you? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm not normally that biased over my kits, uh -huh. but I absolutely love this one with the tiny little bumblebee okay. um, in the corner. I got a little bit carried away with bumblebees last year. Um, this one is one of the screen printed kits. So this is the smallest one. This one's in um, a six inch hoop. Okay. And to start off with, basically what you're doing, you're beginning to cover up the lines. But again, you can use any type of stitch. So I've started working with this one. So this one's with the um, Danish cotton threads. And I try to get it so that there is like a color that just pops out. So the little yellow yeah. Um, for the bumblebee just works really really nicely but again with these kits you can add extra colors in if you want to add extra colors into your kit as well so I've used a few different stitches on here um, I've got a stem stitch which is lovely for stems yeah. hence its name um, some linked chain stitch but um, <gasps> oh, I've, I love that. I've couched this one down which is one of the things that I was just going to show you because this is sort of using um, a double needle so this is with two different threads so for the main stem, I've got my thread and I've doubled it up. So it's double thickness because the Danish cotton threads are really, really fine. So it is quite nice to play with a double and a single thread when you're stitching. So I'm going to go up this little curly shape like I've done that one there. So you bring your thread up and you just need to pop that just at one side and then get a contrasting colour, but a single thread this time. And all you're going to do is you're just going to catch this one down with a tiny little stitch so you just bring it up one side of the blue line yeah. go over the green and back down right. 
and that's all you do. So you're laying this along ah, the design. I see. Yes. And you want to try and keep it sort of evenly spaced mm -hmm. as you're going along. But I love this particular technique because you can really play around you with the be. contrast of colours. Yeah. So I've got the green for this stem and then the purple yeah. is just going to couch over. So with the other one, I'd done the dark blue with the yellow. So you can either do it where you keep all your greens for your stems and you might want particular colours for the leaves and the little flowers up at the top or you can go for a totally psychedelic design and just throw anything at it. The other thing that I try and do as well is mix up um, the order that I lay the threads down. So I might start with some of the stems first and then stitch over the top and then bring some of the other stems mm -hmm. over the top. So what this does, it begins to add layers as well, because sometimes if you just stitch it all on the same layer, it can end up looking a little bit flat. And because it's a garden, you want to give that idea that you've got loads and loads of yeah, layers of, course, yeah. of the different plants. Mm -hmm. So this is just so lovely, because you just work your way up okay. your shape. And then when you get to the top end, you can then just work it all the way around like I've done here. So my little couching stitches just get a little bit um, yeah. nearer together yeah. just so that you can get that lovely swirl. Love you could that. just stitch it with a back yeah. stitch, but I just like the idea of mixing as many different stitches together as I can. It makes it more interesting. It gives it more definition. And I suppose also it's a great, almost like a sampler, yeah, because yeah. You, you then you can try all the different stitches uh, that you have provided us with their yeah. favorite stitches, but we also can try different, um, you know, like something else that we may have. I mean, have we put any French knots? Yeah, you have got French oh, knots. I've got, I am obsessed with French oh. knots and bullion knots and what? colonial knots. Ooh. They're just amazing. What's, what's a colonial knot? Oh, a colonial knot. is It's a little bit like a French knot, but you end up, I'll do one in a second, you end up forming a figure of eight. Oh. And then when you pull the knot down, it usually ends up with a little loop. So they're really, really lovely um, just to add some texture on there. I don't know if I've got them on. I don't think I've got no. them on that one. So I'll show Ooh, you how yes, to do. Yes, if you could, yeah. that would be I will amazing. show you how to do that one shortly. Oh, I shall change colour in a second. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, well. Can I just remind everybody? Uh, with Annie, will show us how to do the colonial uh, knot. Uh, we are going to give you a reminder of the three options. Now, of course, Anne is working on the gorgeous butterflies and flowers um, one, which is probably my favourite out of the three. But it's just such a oh, it's the birds. Oh. Oh, sorry, the, no, in the bee, sorry, you kind of, I kind of can't get them confused. The flower in the, right, you can see them here. How gorgeous are they? Now, if you want, oh, yeah, no, the bee one, yeah, that's my favorite, yeah. Uh, you can see the, the scrolls in there. Uh, now, it's just from my eyesight, so up close or, you know, far away. Sometimes you cannot see it perfectly. Now, the bee, look at that, how realistic they look, how gorgeous it is. Now, you have here, whichever option you go to for, you are getting the printed uh, um, cotton in here, self screen by Anne herself. So you know that it's done handmade, basically. And then you have got a beautiful, chalky, um, beautiful uh, thread from Made in Denmark, absolutely original. Now, if you wanted to just go for the pattern on its own, maybe you have got your own embroidery thread and you prefer maybe more vibrant colors or shiny colors, Madeira, maybe you're just thinking um, machine embroidery because I'm sure that you could do, if you are, um, and if you are very skilled to do um, freehand emotion embroidery, you could do something like this, couldn't you? Yep, yep, there's no reason why, I mean, with the, um applique that I've done with the daisy yeah. one there's no reason why like the circles that are on the design you could cut pieces of fabric Absolutely. out and put that on you could machine stitch if you wanted to so you could layer it up with some wadding underneath yeah. and then machine stitch so it quilts That'd it. Be, absolutely, that yeah. would be amazing. £19.99 £19 is the price for whatever option. Uh, your first option, the birds, is approaching half the stock. Now, if you want it, please do check out your basket, 791966. Uh, we are not even halfway through the show and they, the, the one that you can see in the screens is already half the stock. I see it every time. No, that's my, is that my favourite? 
they are all some of my favorite. I cannot. I, they are all my favorite. The thing is, I'm always thinking a world. Maybe it's just you know those walls that you have a smaller space. Can I just say all three just kind of going down? They just look amazing. There, that's what I would like. And they look so beautiful. And it's, this is the sort of thing that you see a theme coming through, but each one is completely unique. Each one has its own beauty. I mean, look at the butterflies and the bee, uh, the, the, this one. And then, of course, you have all those options to go for. Remember that you can go, maybe you could just go for the printed panel. Uh, this is at the bottom of the screen. Again, you have got the all three options or the one with the thread left-hand side of the screen. Back to you, Anne. Okay, right, so I'm doing my colonial knots Ooh, now. Oh, yes, exciting. For so this. this is like a figure of eight knot. Yeah. So the needle comes up from your fabric. Yeah. I'm left-handed, so I'm sorry if you're right-handed. Um, mm. But you pull the thread towards you, and the needle goes underneath the thread, yeah. and then you take the thread back over the top. So can you yeah. see? Absolutely. I don't know how yeah. easy that is to see that you've got the figure, figure of eight, of eight. Yeah. that's round there, and you keep that quite loose. Whereas with a French knot, you you tighten it up yeah. so that you're going to get that knot. And then when you pull it down, there we go, you get these gorgeous little loops and it just adds such a lovely texture. So if you've got some of the colonial knots, then a French knot is where you point the needle ah, away. Yeah. You wrap your needle yeah. in the thread and go back down. Yeah. If you start mixing the tight little French knots yeah. with the colonial knots, especially if you mess around oops, with the different colours, yeah. you end up creating absolutely gorgeous textures. Ooh, so you've yeah. got that mixture yeah. of the texture yes. and then that. And then if you added in, if you wanted to go a little bit bonkers, add in a bullion knot as well. I love these because they always remind me of caterpillars. Um, so with this one, you create a stitch and a little bit like the French knot, you take the thread and you wrap that around your needle. Yeah. Okay. And you want oh. about as much on the needle as the distance. So the distance yeah. of the stitch, you want right. the same on there. Yeah. Pull it through. You just have to wiggle it a little bit. You want a needle for this that hasn't got a really big eye because you've got to pull because the thread okay. through. And then that goes oh. Back oh, I down love this. the other I side, oh. so you've created this little bullion, and they can be really cute because you can play around with the distance yeah. that you go and the amount of threads. If you so could hold it there, yeah, one second, okay. because look at that, we can see that. Oh, it's, it's like a little, little tiny caterpillar. As oh, they're well. gorgeous! But if you make it so that your little, oops, so that your stitch is quite small, yeah, it's not going to want to play. Come on. Right, go back down. I'll do it a little bit further up because I think I'm a bit too close. Doesn't matter that it's in the middle of my yeah. piece. It's fine. Okay. And that's a bullion. bullion this is a bullion knot. Bullion so with this one, I'm not going that far away from yeah. the hole. Yeah. Come on, you know you want to work. There we go. Yeah. And then if you actually wrap more yeah. around your needle, I'm hoping this is going to work because this is one of my favourite little stitches. So you put a lot more on the needle then you've it, done your gap right. yeah. so then when you pull this one through please work I'm hoping it's going to work because you're going to go back down practically where you came yeah. up this time you uh, create little lumps like that, little curly caterpillars it does it looks like um, you know how do they call it the, the when they are in the cocoon like yes. a, about a fly cocoon or something like that yeah but on the bottom of the pieces because i don't really put that much information on yeah. the bottom and you want it to look like the base of a garden with all the different threads if you just fill it full of knots and things like that you get this beautiful base with all the plants and flowers then growing out I love that. That's just so gorgeous. I, you know, this is the thing. It's different textures, different finishes. And of course, this is something that is in your aunt's favorite uh, stitches in here. So you can see the French knot in here. You can see the um, different elements, the bullion uh, knot as well. The bullion. 
Uh, you can see all those different things. You are going to get them for the instructions. You can see the finished result here. Uh, that it would be it, the one that she, uh, the, the cocoon one and the straight uh, stitch one, uh, the straight. And then you have uh, got here how to create them. I love that you have got a finished piece and the, the kind of elements how to get there. Right, remember to check out your baskets if you want any of these beautiful template kits. Uh, remember that you can go for the printed panels because pr it's printed silk silk printed panel uh, at the bottom of the screen but if you want the threads that Anne herself has used the details left hand side of the screen I'm to uh, right back to you Anne. I'm busy trying to thread my needle oh it always happens that your needle won't thread yeah. when you really, really need it to thread. Do you need more time? I'll, I can go Just down two the seconds, yes, yes. absolutely, no Thank problem. You. All right, if you want to go for the template with embroidery threads, uh, now that has moved on to this one. Uh, now, we are going to have a look at the exclusive. Uh, now, these ones are launching today, nowhere else uh, now, right now. They have been very, very popular. We have got two different options. We have got the daisy chain, which is the green options, which are... Uh, we are approaching half the stock on and then we have got the hellebore which is the beautiful pinks and purples which we are actually hellebore is in the lead with over 60 percent of the stock what you are getting is beautiful pieces and this is the beauty it's going to be a little bit of contents may vary in terms of what you are getting of fabric because they are being it's basically and going through her own stash looking what works together putting it up and then giving you a little bit of lace a little bit of batik maybe a little bit of canvas cotton the threads are going to be the right colors the buttons are going to be the right colors as well in here you have that pattern which of course you will come in with the tissue and then you have the the cam the canvas to put it in and the cotton to embroider it look at the hellebore look at the beauty of this laying them up Learning those pieces, then transferring the elements by using the tracing paper that is included in the kit, and then do a beautiful element of embroidery. You can see here the bullion knots. That's that's. And am I correct to think that they are bullion knots? Yes, absolutely. I could learn something today. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love that. It's just like little caterpillars in there as well waiting to become beautiful butterflies that's what they are all uh, right and uh, now you please do check out your baskets remember that the hellebore is now 60 over 60 percent of the stock and daisy chain uh, the daisy chain is approaching 50 percent of the stock two three six five six seven is your item number 29 pounds and 99 pence and of course you know that Anne has designed them with love and put them together with love and that is really something that you can feel with these kids now again you have got two different options in here now this one has been printed the fabric on a digital list so you have that paper collage because that's what it's based on on Anne's own paper collage I think that like this already looks beautiful however when you start adding those colors into it, when you are starting those beautiful threads, now you have two options, the blue and pink you can see on the screen now, and then of course you have got the green and blue as well. Now it comes in with those beautiful buttons as well, selected for the, the pieces in there with those vibrant yellows, I definitely out of these two I go for ye yellow and green 30% of the yellow and green ha I'm sorry blue and gre green and blue has already gone and if you want yours you know what to do check out your baskets I adore it I think it's just beautiful of course the contents may vary exactly the colors but you are gonna get things that coordinate beautifully together 966069 is the item number back to you and so where are where are you actually I'm on the B. Oh, on the B. Oh, <laughs> I'm on the B, the like. tiny, tiny. I think out of the whole bit with the whole piece, the B is the bit that I absolutely love. Yep. And it's done really simply, just with really, really tiny overlapping straight yep. stitches. So you pop the yellow on first, and I've gone with the dark blue um, for the black part of the B because I just think sometimes using a black thread is just a little bit too harsh. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it's just tiny, tiny little threads and because I've got it double yes. firstly it fills the space a little bit quicker but because I did the yellow with a single thread okay. and I'm doing the blue with a double you sort of build up those layers again because the yellow lays a little bit flatter and then the 
grey, well not the grey, the dark blue, really stands up. I see, yeah. Which is just really, really nice. Yeah. So you just build that up and then the wings are just a single thread because you want them to look quite delicate. Just a little back stitch and you can put little details on. And then I've got tiny little dots around it because, again, French knots, I absolutely love them. Um, but if you just wrap it once around your needle so you just make a knot and you just do them in little groups of three, I just think it animates the bee. Yeah. And it just makes him look like he is actually flying around all the, the flowers. But you can use any type of stitch on any of these. So I've got the connected chain stitch there. This is um, a satin stitch, which is a filling oh, stitch. So again, you would use a double thread, so it fills it a little bit quicker. But then you could stitch over that as well. Um, they are really, really nice then when you start playing around at the base. Um, there's a pistol stitch, which is another knot that I absolutely love. Yeah. And that's a little bit like it's a French knot that's on a stem. And that works really, really nicely with um, the plants and the flowers. So, like you would do a French knot, okay. you point your needle away from the hole, yeah. wrap it round two or three times, and normally with your French knot, you would go back down the hole, but if you go a little bit further up oh, your canvas, yes. yeah. and then pop that in, Oh, I love that! you start building these up, and especially if you start mixing all the different yeah. colours, straight away, you're building up little flowers. Absolutely. And again, if you did it, say, with the blue to start off with, you might then do some stitching over the top yeah. and then come over the top with, I'll see whether or not it'll reach. I wouldn't normally have all these threads dangling. Oh. You end up getting yourself in a little bit of a knot. Yeah. But if you then start adding in Light, yeah. sort of like the purples in and amongst, and then you might put some extra French knots there and you really start building up the textures. So the, this is sort of freestyling yeah. because I didn't want to draw absolutely everything on the background because if there was too much yes. blue on there, you'd not know where to exactly, start. Yeah. So the lines on there give you a guide, but you can then fill it in however you want to. Absolutely. And because you are getting printed instructions uh, in here, so you will be able to see where Anna has put every stage. And therefore, if you want to follow closely, you can. You don't have to. Uh, that's the beauty of it. You can be creative. And, you know, I'm the sort of person that I like thinking, oh, I just want to do exactly what you've done and never do that. <laughs> you know, I just want to be a little bit creative. Just, I cannot not do my own thing, which is quite annoying. I, promise you. Uh, 791 and 966 is your item number. Remember you have got two, uh, three different options. Birds and flowers, which is half the stock. Then we have got the uh, butterflies and flowers. And then we have got the flower and the bee, which is, mm, yeah, oh, my favorite. Uh, 19 pounds and 19, uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price. If you have access to the internet, that would be the fastest and easiest way to order because we have queues on the phones. We are very busy. 791 and 966 is your item number. Remember that you have got options to go for the printed panel on its own should you wish to use your, your own embroidery thread if you have got that. Now we have uh, the gorgeous, I love this, well, I love them all, it's true, I love them all. I, I just think that it's exquisite detail, it is incredible, all different options are different but also they have got that you know, kind of common language of the free embroidery that kind of has got that organic nature that allows you to maybe experiment with different uh, uh, knots, different sort of uh, stitches, but ultimately having ants putting together this collection, these bundles in which you are getting your daisy chain in here, the green fabrics, the patches in here, the thread, the buttons and the patterns. Now, if you wanted to go for daisy chain, 50% of the stock has gone of this option. Then we have the other option, same item number, just different option, which is your hellebore. And uh, now this one uh, is 70% of the stock gone, so it's rapidly approaching towards that you know, you know what is coming after green on the screen and the things. I already said it twice. Okay. Yanis is going to have a word with me later on because I have said it a couple of times today. 
and it's his thing to say it. Uh, right, and now if you wanted to go for the gorgeous, um, beautiful heliboard uh, with the Sphinx and those purples, I would check my basket right now. £29.99. pence. Remember, these ones are exclusive right now to Hochanda, so it's the best way to get them because it's the only way right at this very minute. Uh, 236567 is your item number. And then last but not least is the gorgeous, beautiful printed fabric in which is inspired, well, inspired Oh, you know, it, this is digitally printed after one of Anne's paper collages and then you can embroider into them and then you can bring all those elements. £24.99 is for one of these two options, your green green and blue or your pink and blue. Uh, pink, well, blue and pink, pink, whichever way you... No, no, it's, I'm, I'm, it's me that I'm getting confused. It's just because both of them have got blue, one of them has got pink, and the other one has got green. So I think that's going to be like, the easiest way to say it. Uh, so if you want the green or the blue... Uh, no. <laughs> My brain sometimes <laughs> tricks me into saying things I shouldn't say or read things I shouldn't read. Uh, 966-069 is your item number. £24.99 is your price. And with that, back to Anne, because you are <laughs> going to show us uh, a little bit of this. Book. Yes. Uh, in, in. Yeah, so the um, design that comes printed, actually, is on a square piece of fabric. I've done them on the examples that I've shown you actually into a hoop, but you could work on a square piece as well and actually use the whole design. Depending what size hoop you want to use um, yeah. also depends on how much of the design. So that's a six inch hoop yeah. and then you've got an eight inch. An eight inch hoop would probably be the biggest hoop that you would want to use. But again, depending on where you place it on the design um, makes them look slightly different because yeah. the two designs that are there, it is the same print that's underneath but because the patterns just shifted slightly the actual designs look a little bit different if you wanted to I haven't got one with me at the moment but if you had a four inch hoop you could possibly even get four designs out so you yep. can use your fabric however you want to use it I've gone for the green blue um, example because I know you shouldn't have favorites but I do love um, the green and blue. I'm not so much a pink person even though I have got pink designs this year. Um, the threads that I'm using are stranded cottons and I chose these ones because they've got the sheen so when you've actually started stitching into them they're shiny rather yeah. than the matte ones and I just think that's really nice across all my designs that I try and use different threads but again you can mix and match. I think the beauty that I love about the stranded cottons is I tend to use three strands because it's a six stranded cotton but again you could use one two three four five or six strands um, to alter your design okay. so I'm doing a connected fly stitch on this one here so this is sort of creating like a little bit of a fern so again you can follow the design and yeah. follow the shapes but again you can add in there what you would like so there's all sorts in the design some of it's um, printed paper there's actually bubble wrap that's printed oh, yes, on I the collage see it. Yeah. so there's small bubble wrap and big bubble wrap that's in the background yeah. and then I've got um, drawings and prints and stamps and everything you could take inspiration from the little grid shape there and actually do cross stitch so there's all sorts that you can do so the connected fly stitch basically is like producing the letter Y yeah so you connect it by joining it through on your stitch there. So where you've just finished is where you yeah. come up yeah. and you create the Y. Sometimes when I'm doing this, if I want it to go a particular way, I'll get a pencil and I will draw myself some guidelines. So sometimes you can plan out yeah. where you would like the design to go. Okay. So that's the connected fly stitch, which I think works really nicely. Um, it reminds me of ferns and yeah. things like that in the Absolutely. garden. So usually when I'm stitching, it's, I'll get inspired by things that I have seen when I've been out and about, really. Yeah. Um, and then when you get to the bottom, if you give it quite a long stalk going down, yeah. again, you're sort of creating that ground for your um, piece of work. With the circular designs up at the top, these were sort of inspired by alliums and dandelions. So I've used a blanket stitch on this one with French knots in the middle. And then just around the edge, I'm just using a straight stitch to create the little stars. So if you imagine like your dandelion and you have the little stars on the ends of all the seeds, you yeah. sort of start building those up there as well. But just using lots of different things. So you get the two different shades of color. So within the green one, there's two slightly different shades of green and two yeah. slightly different shades of blue. 
And I just think they work so nicely together because you've got something a little bit deeper than the yeah. other colour. Because in the finished sample, uh, we have, uh, you know, here with that blending in of colours that Anne was talking about. I just uh, I completely agree. It's just that vibrancy, the kind of, and also kind of has the, you know, like the sun is hitting some, some of the elements and, yes. you know, in the garden and you suddenly see them glistening. I love that. And, and you're stitching there with kind of the little knots as well. Well, it's just so fabulous and I love the fact that it's so organic that where you're placing that there is no right or wrong and um, yeah I think that would give me a lot of confidence for the first time to go for one of your kids or also give me a lot of freedom if it's something that I can used to do more yes definitely mm -hmm. yeah I love the idea I'm getting myself in knots here um, I love the idea about the fact that everybody that does one of my um, kits, yeah. their work will be totally different because you'll go for the colours that you particularly like. So I know sometimes when I've done this, I, I love greens and I yeah. have to keep reminding myself to use the blue because I just get a little bit carried away just with using greens. Yeah. And it is just really nice just to mix together the different stitches that you've done and like you mentioned earlier on, you could even use these as samplers. And if you look at the um, postcard that I've done, you yeah. could just work your way through um, all the different stitches that are on there yeah. and just try each one in a different place yeah. and build up a sampler yeah. as you're going along. Absolutely. So I'm just doing tiny little French knots. So this is just using a single strand yeah. of the thread so that you sort of get that delicate um pattern and delicate texture yeah. just building up but this would be nice then if you mixed in with it um some slightly thicker so then i've got three strands of the green so you could start off that's the lighter green and then this one's the slightly darker green i think yeah so straight away once you start adding them, you've got different oh, thicknesses of knot. And depending on how many times you wrap it around your needle, again, you'll build that up. Yeah. So there's tiny little dots on the fabric. So I'm doing the little French knots just over the top. And it's quite nice to gather them all together and then sort of spread them out. It reminds me a little bit like fairies flying over your garden. Oh, yeah. I'm just so. sprinkling fairy yeah. dust. <laughs> but you can get carried away. Once you get going with knots, sometimes it can be a little bit off-putting starting with the French knots and bullion knots. And particularly with the bullion knots, sometimes I just have to really think about which way my needle needs to go. Yeah. But once you get into the rhythm of the stitching, then you just set off. And sometimes it's quite hard to stop once you get yeah, going. I can never imagine, yeah. Okay. And I think that's one of the things that I absolutely love about hand stitching. Yeah. Because you do it is that rhythm that repetitive just stitching as you're going along and then playing with the colors obviously mm -hmm. if you did a bit and you didn't like it you can just cut it off and just remove the threads but i think one of the things that i find when i'm doing stitching at some point i always get to a stage where i don't like what i've done yeah and i'm just not very happy with it so i tend to put it on one side and then come back and usually it's a little bit like a light bulb moment so with these ones i've done a lot of the stitching and i thought this it's just not working so then I started just getting the buttons yeah. and you start playing around with the buttons yeah. in and amongst the design. There's all sorts of, you don't get a set, you get the colour palette that matches your design. So you'll get all the blues and greens, but there'll be different sizes and different colours in each kit. Yeah. But once you then start placing all the buttons on the top, I, it usually then kickstarts me again. Because then once I've got the buttons on, it just totally changes the way that it looks. Stitch those on and then, so like the French knots, then I'd start bringing them around and coming down the shapes. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. And it just looks totally different the second it, it that you does. put the buttons and every, on. Yeah, every time it's going to be completely different. Yeah, and totally unique. different. Uh, now, if you want to grab yours, well, you have got the details on the screen. Do you remember two different options, the glorious blue and green? And blue and pink, or pink and blue, however you look at it. I think I said it correctly, more or less. Uh, you know, and there it is, yeah. No, well, no, actually, I didn't. It's green and blue, and blue <laughs> and pink. No, I did not say it right. 
Oh, what I should have just done one. <laughs> should I? Yeah. No, no, that's, it's just me. That's sometimes I'm just a little bit daft for this sort of thing. So, uh, anyway, but what it is not daft is uh, the amazing, beautiful uh, designs that you are going to achieve with this. 966-069. Remember to check out your brass case. And we have got, we have about three and a half minutes. Oh, uh, is there something that you can quickly show us or? Oh, crikey. Um, oh, just put me on the spot. I'm oh, just well, it may be. Uh, what about a, l a chain uh, stitch or maybe a... Okay, a chain stitch. We can do that. We can go with that. Yep, so a chain stitch. This is where you get really, really lovely um, petals. So I've done chain stitch in the bottom of yeah. this bit here. So for a chain stitch, you create a loop with your thread yeah. and you're going to go down where you came up, okay. create a stitch and just make sure that the thread... Yeah goes up um, oh, there we go underneath the needle yeah and then you create a chain so there's different things that you can do with the chain stitch so one of the things that you can do let me just trim that off the back is you can actually start adding flowers then to your piece okay so if you yeah. te if you oh um, i've got tongue tied now if you treat each yeah. chain as an individual petal yeah and work your way around you can then start adding little flowers to your background yeah. as well if you imagine that's going all the way around okay so the connected chain I've actually yeah. done for the edges so this is where when you've created one chain you create another one within it so they're connected together okay um, Let's go around, do one more yeah. petal. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. Let's do one more. I like when you're doing flowers, I like things to have odd numbers. Yeah, that, absolutely. I agree. Yeah. yeah, odd numbers work so much better yeah. than even numbers. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So you can then start creating oh. little flowers. Yeah, we have sort of start adding into that as well. That's perfect. Thank you so much, Anne. We have about seconds to go. Okay. I, I could spend all day long watching you because this is so relaxing and so beautiful. Do check out your baskets, especially if you want to the, go for the Hellebore uh, collection because they are very, very busy. Remember, two different options. This is the uh, kit that comes in with the round uh, canvas as well as all those patchwork of uh, beautiful pieces of fabric so you can create that collage of fabric details on the screen this is the heli board that you can see in the screen then we have got the daisy chain that is the green the most popular is the heli board so if you wanted to go for this please do check out your baskets for that they are absolutely stunning and they are like you know and do you have a if somebody kind of was watching and thinking should i shouldn't i do it uh, i'm not sure i'm very good embroidery what do, would you tell them I'd just say have a go. It's one of those things that once you start doing it, even if all you do is start off with a straight stitch and just begin to start building up your confidence, there is no right and wrong. You just begin to learn. And one of the things that I, I just love is stitching. Absolutely. Just for the love of stitch. It doesn't have to be for anything else just enjoy sewing. Indeed. Thank you so much. Thank and it's you. been an absolute pleasure to have you here, to have these beautiful kids as well here at Hochanda. Do make sure to check out your baskets. They are a delight uh, of our uh, kids and we have been very busy. So if to do check out now because otherwise you might miss under your preferred options and you don't want to miss out. I will see you soon. I hope and it's been an absolute pleasure. Drive safe and I will see you soon. Stay tuned though because more after the break. Well, more on the way. Indeed, a brand new uh, one-day specially from t t special from Totally Pat. Then Quilder's Trading Post. I love Pam and Emma. And then another look at the one-day special at eight. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. 
At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. So we're currently in the midst of two things. We've got our international quilting event running. If you're a lover of quilts, this is the place for you. Because not only we've we got a great competition that I'm going to mention in just a moment, but we're launching our brand new one day special brought to you by the phenomenal Totally Patched. And we have got a collection of the most beautiful quilts. Uh, I'm just going to show you very quickly. So if you're not familiar, we are going to add prizes in every soft craft show. We're adding prizes to our, every quilting show, we're adding prizes to our uh, bundle. And let me just show you here. This is the prize this L. So you're getting the quilt pattern and four and a half meters, that's weighty, of beautiful quilting cotton fabric. Uh, so you're getting that entered into the prize. So 
Um, all you need to do is make a purchase during the live show. Your name could be chosen. We're going to pick one viewer whose name then goes into the big draw to win everything. Uh, and there it is. Look at that. So, I mean, that is a mighty bundle. Um, saying that value-wise, we're over £500. So it's a phenomenal event. We will be announcing the winner at 11.45, around 11.45-ish on Sunday. So you haven't got long to wait to find out if it's you. Uh, OK, what we're going to do is have a little bit of a chat to Pat and Mark, who are joining me this hour. Pat, Mark, how are you? We're very well, thank you. Very good, thank you. It's lovely to see you both. And my goodness, have we got a good one-day special. We have. We've tried really hard with this one. We wanted to give good variety, great price, and lots of choice. Something for everyone. Yeah. You, you said it beautifully. Abdo mm. And that is it, I have to say. When you talk about variety, so you've got three different choices of quilt. Look at the price. And we actually had to double check this. So we're having our meeting. I know uh, we're speaking to you via Skype at the moment. But um, so Emily and myself and the team, we came in, we had the meeting for the show. And all of us looked at the price and took a double take. Because when you <laughs> consider quilts, I mean, look at this quilt, for instance. That for $48.99 is ridiculous. So it's your quilt topper. Um, and you have got the flexi payments in there as well. I have to say, <laughs> Pat, Mark, we were, we were talking, and Emily, our producer, I'm not just saying she's producing this out, I think she's a very, very good producer. And the first thing she said to me was, this is going to be a busy show. And I tell you what, she's <laughs> never wrong. She's never wrong. Uh, so we've got three very distinct styles here. I tell you what, should we talk, should we, should we start here with the Vintage Roses? Uh, Pat, Mark, whoever wants to speak, and let, let's discuss these and we'll go through each one. So this is your Vintage Rose, it is beautiful. Yeah, this is um, like a, a gorgeous vintage looking fabric. Mm -hmm. um, I've done the quilt, so it's a little bit different. We've got a center on point to start with. Yeah. And then we've got some blocks around it, a little bit of a plique. So just really interesting and a really interesting border to do as well. Um, lovely hearing you speak, Pat. And I, I tell you why I love you um, when it comes to everyone's. I should have just ended it there. I'll tell you why I love you, Pat. <laughs> is because no, but um, I genuinely you've taught me a lot about sewing, and I really love working with both yourself and Mark. But with, I know whenever you bring us something, you're so conscious, you, you take so much joy on teaching the education side, you always try and teach us something different in the quilt. And there is so much going on. Just hearing you speak about the applique designs, the different block works going on, the layers of interest, there is so much we can learn just from a technical stance here. It, it's, a, it's a quilt that uh, it, it teaches you as well as well when you're making it. Yeah. And it, it's... It's, it's, we haven't done a quilt like this before with a, a center on point. It changes the look of a quilt completely. Mm -hmm. And then it makes it different the way you piece it together as well. And then we got to the end and I just, it just needed an interesting border as well. So it sort of just kept developing, didn't it, as we went along? It started in the center and just grew yeah. and grew, didn't it? So, yeah. yeah. Lot, lot of maths, lot of maths involved in this one. Love that. <laughs> All right, really busy for that option. So that's your first option. Second option here, it's bright and beautiful. That is the name, but it is bright and beautiful. Very modern, contemporary. Uh, that would look good in any home. Really like this one, and it's a real it, celebration of colour. It, it would go, as you say, anywhere and for anybody. Yeah. It, it, it's uh, male, female. Um, someone going to uni if, when they go back and that sort of thing, um, or just a, a young child maybe to pick a colour, find a yellow and that sort of thing. What you, what you both do incredibly well, and this isn't easy, is to source the right fabrics for the right, and we've discussed this in the past, for the right quilt. Mm -hmm. And something I know you can't appreciate at home, and I always describe as a presenter, I feel it's kind of my job to be your hands. But the quality of fabric, you always bring us beautiful fabrics. And I'm getting up close and seeing the different designs. It just works so well with this, with this quilt. Yes, they do. It's a woven fabric. It's really soft and gorgeous. 
but it's lovely to work with and it's lovely to quilt as well. Um, and the black sashing around it, it's it's off centre. It's the way you put it together, which we'll see during the course of the hours. The way you put it together will make it your own, apart from there are some rules, obviously, mm -hmm. which I shall be uh, butting in with. Okay. <laughs> um, but you don't have any sashing to match or anything. It's it's a, a, a great quilt for somebody who's never made a quilt. Three, three people could make a quilt. Uh, that particular quilt, and all of them would be different. Nice. What? What? And that's the real joy of it. Bright, beautiful. We love it. It's busy. Everything is busy. Uh, we're going to go over to our <laughs> final option for you. Uh, this is uh, Inside Out. I see. I love this too. And this is an example, Pat, of one of your quilts where, depending on the angle, whether you get up close or step back to see the design as a whole, you get a different interpretation. So it's nice. It's a very clever design, kind of like an optical illusion. Yes, that, that's exactly what we wanted. It's 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 a very simple block. It's just half square triangles, but it's the placement of the light and dark that gives you the overall shape. So that is another example. They're, they're three totally different style quilts, but they really show you how patchwork can be very traditional, very contemporary and very design based as well. So it's just it's just an ex another example, but very easy to make as well. That one is. I love all three. Each one, uh, each option, I think, has its own personality. And uh, there is something for absolutely everyone on the show. Can we just take a moment to appreciate two things? The price is incredible. You're saving 15 pounds. You've got your flexi payment of 24 pounds and 50 pence. There is an option for anyone out there. And also, if you do make a purchase on the show, and we knew this was going to be busy as a one-day special, you could potentially find your name in the draw for the big bundle for our international quilting event that we're running at the moment. And you could be walking away with a big prize as well. So it's just an added uh, thing here. I've got to tell you as well, there's a finishing kit. And I think the prices on the show today are incredible. With the uh, finishing kit, just going to pick this up. You've got beautiful wadding, and then you've also got your backing there as well. Now that is obviously designed to go with this bundle, the one day special, so you're getting everything you need there. I mean, 30 pounds and 99 pence is very, very good. You've got your calico backing, you've got your 80-20 wadding, which is always popular as well. 385-841, your item number there. Um, now. If you just wanted to go for the patterns for these quilts, we can see what a talented designer pad is. So maybe you've got a lot of fabric at home in your stash and as uh, sewers, I know it's easy to build up your stash and you just want to go for these patterns. You're getting all three patterns in this booklet. One thing Pat and Mark do so well with their booklets is the explanation. So let me just show you here. If I just dive this up. But you have got that ring bound booklet so this isn't like a one page pattern, you're getting pages and pages and pages of instructions on how to do it. I mean, considering you're getting three distinct patterns in there of this quality and the amount that you're learning, the different blocks, the different techniques, $25.99, saving £10 is a very, very good buy and that's something you will keep and you will enjoy. So if you do want to pop that into your basket, $25.99 your price there, 239415. Now, there are going to be uh, lots of items actually throughout this one day special and what we're going to do each hour, we'll bring out some uh, different focus just so you get a look at everything. If you do want to get ahead and see what we might be maybe showcasing tomorrow in our one day special hours, you can always jump onto our website. Do have a little look on the website, uh, lots to enjoy there. So just having a little look myself, what tickles your fancy? We've got a lot. So you've got, uh, we've got the totally patched, the throw size log cabin quilt kit, 59.99. Oh, the mugs. Now the mugs are always busy, so don't miss out on our mugs. We also got cushion pads in there as well. That cushion pad will be handy with this cushion kit. So you're gonna make this beautiful cushion cover uh, this is called Enjoy Today, and it is actually a nice cushion kit that works with our one day special. So it works with the rose uh, option in the one day special, but also just as a cushion standing alone, there's a lot of lovely techniques that you get to enjoy. I mean, the actual fabric is 
lovely. Really nice fabric, nice design. You're getting your instructions. And you can see here, barring the actual cushion pad inside, you get everything that you need. And I've got to say, the unique selling point with Totally Patched is the fact that everything is pre-cut for you. Tell us a little bit about this, Pat. Um, this sort of just grew out of a bit of cuteness. I wanted a, a gorgeous cushion. Um, we wanted to give, we don't do many one day specials. In fact, very, very few. And we, we like the whole show to be as special as it can be every hour that we're on. And this cushion, I just think a little bit of embroidery yeah. and some squares of patchwork very simple but i absolutely love this cushion nice 22.99 your price if you do want to get hold of this very very busy for this option uh 377.784 and you have been shopping ahead for that oh what we want to start looking at 20 percent of the stock's gone that's 20 percent of the stock that we had anticipated uh, anticipated would last the full 24 hours for the one day special now mark this is a bag i could see you modeling quite uh, handsomely most certainly i could take that when i go down to the post and post my le letters and parcels yes yes i love it it's uh, obviously complements the bright and beautiful quilt wonderfully and everything pre-cut i mean a bag of this quality for 24.99 that's an exceptionally good price it, it's it's a it's a price point that we wanted to make it available for uh, everybody yeah you see, everything's pre-cut for you. I'll tell you why I say that, Mark, and this is an old story, but I remember uh, my wife, going shopping with my wife, and she took me into a shop, and she picked up an ordinary kind of tote bag, and it was 30 pounds, it wasn't lined, it was very, very bland. I couldn't believe it, and I was saying to her, you know, Ho-Chanda, you get bags like this that are beautiful <laughs> for, you know, something like $24.99. You cannot compare. And also, you get the enjoyment of, of making it, which is why we're here as crafters. Exactly, yeah. I mean, ev every person's bag will look different because, as I say again, all the squares will be in different places. That's nice. And I like that. It's making it work for you. So you're getting all of your fabrics pre-cut, which you can see here. Look at all the wadding that you're getting as well. It's a nice bag and it's a good, I like the size of the strap as well. Uh, we've got to move on. So, and of course you're getting the uh, pattern there as well. Pat, Mark, would it be okay if you get set up for your first demonstration? Is that okay? Certainly, no problem. Yeah. Brilliant, we'll let you get set. Uh, as we do that, we're just gonna show you our, our next item here. So this is nice, we have seen it before, but uh, it was very popular and we're proud to be able to offer it to you again. Here we've got your totally patched throw size, uh, throw size log cabin, quilt kit it's 45 by 45 we have got the uh, actual quilt the finished quilt in the studio here I mean that is beautiful two flexi payments of 30 pounds if you do want to pop this into your basket lovely colorways uh, you can see earlier on when I, I discussed how well Pat and Mark pick fabric to suit a certain design and this showcases that wonderfully it's a really nice fabric lovely design it's engaging it draws you in I do like the color palette with that one as well two flexi payments of 30 pounds 451259 now I do believe that Pat and Mark are ready uh, Pat what are you going to be showing us uh, I thought we'd start with the vintage roses and we'll do one of the blocks out of there to start with okay. so uh, with, this is a twisted star block, um, which you can see. Can you see okay, Mark? Yeah. Okay, right. Um, you get, you've got to do four of these in your uh, quilt, and they all come pre-cut, as you've said, yep. nicely in our bag, all our pieces. So I'm just going to do one of them. As always, take out the um, pieces and put them out in uh, position as on the photograph. Then you can't go wrong. Just keep putting things back where you had them from. So that's exactly what I've done. I've laid out my pieces for one of the blocks okay. in front of me. Um, I've done a little bit of pre-sewing because uh, we've got a lot to get through, as always. <laughs> so uh, these sections I've already joined together, but I'm going to show you how to do it here. Um, they're three separate triangles. So what we do, you exactly where you pick them up, fold them over like so. And we're going to stitch this seam here. It's important when you move it that you remember this is the seam because once you've picked it up, you might do this one. So just make it sure it's 
on the on the your surface, whatever, and then fold it over like so. And we're going to stitch this seam here. Yeah, uh, and you Pat, like that Pat, I'm so sorry. I've got to interrupt uh, you. I'm really, really fine. sorry. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna be very surprised by this, and you'll realise why I've had to interrupt you. So the vintage rose is technically sold out. No way. Ridiculous. <laughs> You've actually broken records this hour. Oh. I mean, and I know how much oh, we had this is stock that was meant to last 24 hours. It sold out <laughs> in 15 minutes. Now, we can bring it back on extended delivery. <laughs> so we did already have contingency in place, but we thought this is something we might trigger <laughs> tomorrow. We never thought we'd be saying this within 15 minutes. So technically sold out. It is back on extended delivery. <laughs> you only have to wait a week. Worth it. At that price, it's worth it. Um, but <laughs> we better get not demonstrated not, it not. because it might sell out again. It's, uh, it's really busy. Okay. Wow, Mark's just fainted, so, you know, <laughs> we'll carry on without you. <laughs> Am I okay to carry on, yeah? Of course, of course. Okay, okay. So we're going to st stitch this seam, make so sure they all line up. I can't get over that. <laughs> make... I, think, I don't think I just used the camera to get back up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just make sure all you, your edges are in line. You're going to stitch down this seam here. Nope. So quarter inch seam as per normal, and away we go. So just stitch your seam, don't pull it, let the machine do the work, yeah. you just do the steering as per normal. And then open it out and just going to press it towards the um, blue fabric in this case. Yeah. Um, and press away from me. Okay, okay. can you see? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can do that. I, can't, I, I want one of your monitors. I like to be able to see what you can see. <laughs> it's handy. We're going to set you up a little <laughs> yeah. studio there. Yeah. No room, no room. <laughs> so pop it back in place where you've had it from. Now we're going to join the large triangle to the two small triangles. Okay. So over it goes, like so. Uh -huh. We're stitching across here. Right, I've just got this to tell a... everyone, Pat, I'm so sorry, uh, but this okay. is important because um, half the stock of the extended delivery has gone. It's absolutely, oh the vintage rose is <laughs> flying. So uh, it looks like it's going to go again. And you have been warned. And Pat, if it does sell out again, we might need to demo something else. I'm sorry. Uh, that's fine. That, uh, I'm fine. I'll just do this then. And yeah, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe move on. <laughs> right. So I'm stitching this edge. What's important here is not to stretch this edge. These are bias edges. So no pulling it like this. None of that. Oh, no. Just stitch it nice and slowly, take your time, and then away we go to the end, let the machine do the work again. Then we're going to press it, we're going to press it towards the large triangle, because you've got a seam here, you want to yeah. press away from the bulk. Okay. So good advice. Same as always, like yeah. so. Always away, away from, from the bulk. Pat, like did, that. Did you, when you are getting ready and designing this one day special, did you think in a million mm -hmm. years we would have sold out of it in 15 minutes? Honestly, no. I, no. <laughs> we, we couldn't choose which one was our, our favourite out of the three. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, they're, and, all, and that, they're three lovely, lovely quilts. Yeah, and yeah. we are limited stock on the extended delivery for the vintage rows. So, everyone, you have been warned. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you, everybody. It's a beautiful we, quilt. As, thank as, you. <laughs> As we, well, as I said, one day specials don't come around that often for us, and we really, we really put a lot of work into this one. You can see it. Um, yeah. um, and as we, I made them. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. That, yeah, that, that's, that's lovely. Then you get to the next one. Yeah, that one's lovely too. Yeah. And we honestly can't choose between them because they're all very different, but they've got their own characters. So. Uh, there we go. Pat, it's sold out again, I'm afraid. Vintage Rose uh, has gone. It's sold out for a second time. So as it stands now, that option has gone. If any do bounce back, I will let you know. <laughs> but a Vintage Rose, very, Thanks. very popular. We have got two other options. We're going to let Pat, can we let you reset, Pat? Is that OK? Yeah, yeah, okay. reset. I'll be, We're going to do that. I'll We're going to have to. Um, okay, OK. This has taken us by surprise. We knew it was going to be busy. Uh, and if any do bounce back at the vintage rows, I will let you know. And all I will say is at the moment, we know 
that there are quite a few in baskets, which is absolutely fine. If you want it, please check out. I'm not trying to force you into that by any means, but if you do want it, please check out, because if it jumps out of your basket, I'm going to tell everyone, and then it's going to be fast as fingers first, so there is a good chance you will not be able to get it back into your basket. I'm not trying to scare you, but just saying how things are going to happen. Uh, okay, so Vintage Rose as it stands now, you cannot get hold of that option. Bright and Beautiful, though, and we've still got two other options. Bright and Beautiful is such a lovely modern contemporary quilt. And what I like about this one, it is truly unisex. So, And also, it's not governed by, I think it will go for any age category, as are all the quilts. But, you know, certain quilts you think would suit certain people. But here with this quilt, it's a real catch-all because you can, if you wanted to give this, say, to somebody in their 20s, they would enjoy it. If you wanted to give it to someone in their 80s, they would enjoy it. So it's just a really nice quilt that appeals to so many people because what it does, it celebrates colour and you've got a beautiful woven fabric that you're playing with. And what you can't appreciate at home is the actual feel of this quilt is stunning. But can we just take a moment to appreciate? And I think um, the, t the team, we're, we're all, sh we're, we are shocked, but we're not shocked at how busy we've been. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the price. And it was a price when we were first, we call it prepping, when we were uh, doing our prep for uh, a show. So for each show, uh, an hour before each show, the whole team come in and we kind of prep and we go through everything. We couldn't get over the price. I mean, $48.99 for quilts of this magnitude, this quality, everything's pre-cut for you. I mean, imagine just the labor hours to cut all of that fabric. Everything is pre-cut for you. It is a beautiful fabric. Um, so you cannot go wrong here for $48.99. And your first flexi payment today, and we send everything out to you, have a look at your first flexi payment, £24.50. For quilts of this quality is ridiculous. Uh, I think we're going to get back to Pat in just a moment. That's your bright and beautiful. Uh, and we've also got the inside out as well. So whichever option you want to go for. Fortunately, Vintage Rose is gone. I will tell you if any bounce back. We send none of bounce back. Don't let, it, don't let it bounce out. If you've got it in your basket, you're lucky. Do check out. And that's your inside out, which I think is such a beautiful quilt too. There are no bad options here. Whichever quilt you go for, you're going to absolutely love it. Okay, uh, I think Pat has reset. So what are we going to take a look at now, Pat? Uh, we're going to take a look at Inside Out, which I think is... <laughs> I think they're all lovely. <laughs> I, I, I've never they're all, they're all very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really speechless, but... Just, right. just a quick one, Yanis. The, uh, the Bright and Beautiful is probably the easiest one to do. Yeah. Out of the food grills. That's not this one. We're inside out on yeah, this one. Yeah, I'm just saying because he was talking about that one. Yeah. Um, right, so what we've got, um, when you open your kit, as you'll see on the counter there, yeah. um, there, there will be um, some dark triangles. There'll be some light squares. Uh -huh. Some dark squares the same size. And some um, just eight smaller light squares. Yeah. So really simple really okay. really easy and the idea of what we're doing is we're making a half square triangle which we do all of the time but it looks so different in different ways um however you use them so um the quilt behind me which i think you can just see can you mark that you don't need to go yet if you don't want to okay. can you just see it a little no nope. can't see uh, it at all can okay. you move up no, <laughs> no. Um, i'll show you um what you the basic the basic skill you need to make this, and then you're away. Okay. Uh, beautiful colours, lovely, bright, and just just really, really, really they nice. They are lovely, lovely colours. So what you do is you um, draw a line. Oh, I've got my ruler. That's my own one. Sorry. I wasn't expecting to need things at this <laughs> stage of the day. Um, right, we're going to draw a diagonal line across from corner to corner, point to point, like okay. so. This is the most difficult job you've got to do. Right. Because this quilt, so really good. Mm -hmm. You put it right sides together. Now you've got um, eight light prints and eight dark prints. Is that right, Mark? And you just mix them up. And this is what you're saying with this with this quilt, Pat. The, yeah. the the effect is really drawn from playing with the light and dark. Yes, mm. uh, exactly. It's just just the uh, light and dark, and you want to 
mix them up with you, you're going to make two units every time you do this so like next time put your red with a different print like some blue prints yeah. some greens so just mix them up as you go along and you make all your units up first and then you get to lay them out and play with where you want them to be um and there's no right or wrong mm -hmm. they and they're very the 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 red this fabric's called shirtings and it's like yeah. a little it's a sort of cute name that quilters have for a fabric and it means right. it's got little prints on like you know like you'd have on a shirt a little little print rather than great big ones so, so, so that's small volume prints are known as shirtings yes i'm are. learning See, I said, every time i work <laughs> with you pat i learn something new <laughs> yeah shirtings um and i just think they sound cute anyway don't they shirtings yeah. it sounds nice um so this is our um these are stoff fabrics which we love 100 percent cotton um designed in denmark made in japan Beautiful. I mean, um, that's a good combination. Designed in yeah. Denmark, made in Japan, you know you're going to get yeah. beautiful fabric. Yeah. And then we're going to do something beautiful with them, so it's a win-win really, isn't it? So I'm stitching a quarter of an inch either side of the drawn line. Lovely. Like so. so there's my line and I stitched a quarter of an inch either side. You can't really see because it's I'm on a, a light on a light, which is pretty oh, rough. We can see that, we can see that. Yeah. Might put some purple thread in next time. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna cut across that line. Yeah. And that gives you two units that look like that. Well that's see? very pretty. And we actually really nice that deep red against the sort of clarity of the light shade works so incredibly well. It does. Um so that that is the basic thing. So all all I would have done that you haven't seen me do is cut it in apart and press it towards the darkest fabric. So here, like the next one here is a, a green one. The next one's a blue one, yeah. and you just work your way through your pile of fabrics okay. until you have got twenty six. I think I don't know. So you cut on the line. You cut on the line, yeah. and then press. Um, once you've done that. You need, and you've got all of them, so you've got all of the ones that you need for your quilt. What you need to do is to lay them out. Now, yeah. in the pattern, as per normal, I've put some um, little rows. So this is row one, row two, row three, and row four. Okay. And all you have to do, you're not trying to make it look like mine, you're trying to make it look just the light and dark yes and but you see it see pat we just yeah. we've got it in the studio just to want to show okay. everyone the this sort of finished example just to give uh, the effect when you're seeing it a distance now i've got to tell you with the inside out quilt half the stock's gone we're not even yeah. halfway through the show we've sold out the vintage rows half we sold out the vintage rows twice the extended delivery went there yeah. as well inside out half the stock's gone busy for the bright and beautiful it's it's just a busy show. <laughs> Day off tomorrow. <laughs> You're going to be busy. Oh, You're going to be you. busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, what do we do? So what would you yeah. like? Where should we go uh, next? What would you like to show us next? <laughs> show the, the bit on the bottom. Um, so I was sh showing you the rows. Yeah. Which there. Right. Um, and I've got a rose worth of fabric here. And right. all you have to do is follow the light dark plan here making yeah. your rows look like this so if and this is four rows you do the four rows and then you do another four you turn them around and you put them on the bottom that's yeah. exactly what you do now if mark can we slowly go to the quilt and i'll just show you exactly what where i am can you see that oh there nice. you go yeah yeah right so what we've got here is uh -huh four rows of the quilt so this right. is half of the quilt yeah um and then we'll do exactly the same not the same colors mix up your colors yeah um and i've got my next row here now um and so i'm going on to um this row again i'm, I'm going to start in at four and these will go down here and i'll follow my lights and darks i can't see i'm backwards and upside down here that mm -hmm. that'll be going like that there and then uh, my next row will go here. And all I'm doing is making sure my darks and lights are in the same place as the rows on the pattern. Right. Yes, is that yeah. clear? Yeah, very. Right. 
And you've got the picture on the box as well. Yeah. Yeah. Picture, to look at as well. Yeah. Pictures everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to join my row, start joining my row now, mm -hmm. and then we'll get the gist of what I'm doing sort of thing. So pick them up. I've placed them out in front of me. And what I did, and this is this, I'll oh, tell you my little tip in case oh, you no want to know. All right. Yeah. I put them together and I, I picked them up in a pile. So this was at the end of my row. I picked it up, put it onto the next one. I just put them like that, like if it was there, I go like this, like this. And then I put a pin in the end that I know I've got to, I've got to sew. Ah, so that's the, good. Yeah, because once you've got them into your positions, I don't do it all at once. I just do them one at a row at a time. Mm -hmm. um, but once you've got them like that, you've got to move them to your sewing machine. Yeah. So um, it's best just to pop a pin in. And then I know that I'm going to stitch this side always. So okay. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to stitch that, put that onto there. And I'm going to join those together and go to my machine. I'm not going to move my squares now. They're in position, and I know I'm always going to sew this edge here. Right. Every time I pick them up. That's a good tip, by the way, pinning that there, so you don't get lost. Yeah, it's you have to like. It's really easy to twizzle them round, isn't it? Mm. Like you know, they go upside down and you know what have you, and you don't want to do that. So there, I've done that one. This is where I am. This is my row, joining it on. And I just keep going all the way across my row. Mm -hmm. This is a, re a repetitive block, but just done in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. It's a half square triangle, but it's just keeping your lights and darks like there. I. I know that I, I needed my V to go down there, uh -huh. which you can see, you can see them on the pattern. Yeah. And then you, you you just, you don't even have to remember it, because mm. I didn't. Uh, I just do it, turn it round, look at my row um, to get, get it how I want it to look. And if you get end up with like too many reds together, just swap them over with another one. And, and I'm a bit random myself. I don't plan this sort of quilt very much. I'll put them all together and then go for it and uh, it's a it very satisfying looks... it's a very satisfying quilt to do to see it come together yeah because it's because it's so easy it, it's you can see it's taking can you see me there yeah, yeah that looks good. Love yeah. It. yeah so you can see it's already starting to take the shape mm. of what you know i want it to do so what happens when we come to here i to make sure i'm doing it right <laughs> Um, no, it's this one. No, it's this one. No, it's this one. <laughs> no. No? No, no. Uh, that's in the middle. That's in the middle. In the middle. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, there, that's yeah, yeah there we go. Perfect. Can you see the, the edge is starting to come back down now? Yes. And the yes. next row will do the same. And Lovely. all I've done is a very, very, very basic thing. A half square triangle and then... Just turn your blocks around and look at them. And when you're placing them out, if you're not sure, as you look at it, just squint at it. Mm -hmm. And it comes, it comes, like, if they're laying all out together, and you because they're not joined together, they, they might look a little bit strange. Yeah. But if you just squint at it, it sort of brings it all together a little bit. Well, that's interesting. Looking at the quilt as a whole, if I squint at yeah. it, then all of a sudden, you yeah. the darks suddenly come to the foreground. So when you look yeah. at it and you give it a little squint, this is in the studio just doing it. it it's a clever tip. It's, a, yeah. it's one of those things you don't think it's going to be as effective until you do it. And you're like, wow, OK, that's dramatic. Mm, it is. And it, it's, it just lines it all up and makes it come together. So, beautiful, uh, beautiful quilt. Um, Pat, would you mind if we did a quick recap? Uh, just to get rid no. of some housekeeping. <laughs> And then um, I was wondering, because we've had a few emails about the cushion, would we be able to okay. see the cushion in action? Enjoy today? Certainly can. Brilliant. Yeah, we'll do we'll that. Do it now. Uh, thank you so much. And thank you, actually, to everyone who's emailing in enjoying the show. And that really is the benefit of being a live channel. We love hearing from you, studio at hochanda.com. Okay, so uh, we've got two options remaining with the one day special bright and beautiful inside out. Those are your options. But when you consider 
all the fabric has been pre-cut for you. I mean, look at the inside out. The amount, I'm so sorry, Holly. I know you're setting up on the inside out. Uh, sorry, bright and beautiful. But look at all of this fabric's been pre-cut for you already. So you don't have to worry about getting mud in cutting and measuring. Inside out, you are kidding. Two thirds of the stock of inside out. So it looks like there is a danger inside out could sell out this hour. We've already lost vintage rows. And that's your inside out. We've also got uh, bright and beautiful, which you're seeing here. There is no bad choice. Uh, you've got an, a third of the stock of uh, bright and beautiful is gone. When you consider these two quilts, I mean, these are your choices. They are not bad choices. I love inside out. I love bright and beautiful. The only thing that would sway me is if I make it for myself, you make it for someone else, because maybe you think, well, bright and beautiful would suit somebody you're making it for, or again, inside out. They're both made with beautiful fabrics, and that's something it's a given with Totally Patched. Everything's pre-cut for you, which is another sig uh, signature of Totally Patched as well. Uh, what I would say, if you're gonna invest the, the time and money into these beautiful quilts, you wanna finish them properly, and we have got a finishing kit. With a finishing kit, you've got a beautiful, this, this wadding is incredible. The 80 by 20 wadding is stunning. So you're getting your 80 by 20 wadding. You're also getting your calico, and it is a very, very good calico backing. 30 pounds and 99 pence. If you were to put that in your basket with the one day special, you can then split the price. So you can get a flexi payment uh, across both. And it would mean, I think your first flexi payment, we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna update that and see, but it's very, very simple. So once it's on your basket, your finishing kit and you've got your one day special, uh, we'll show you actually how easy it is. This is the website, just click. You can obviously talk to our call center staff and they'll do it for you. Uh, so suddenly that 30.99 comes down to 15.50 as your first flexi payment. Obviously you are gonna pay your remaining payment in four weeks time. 43.95, but that included uh, your PMP. If you're already a Freedom member, it's 40 pounds today for a quilt of this nature is incredible. So just something to consider. <laughs> We're approaching 40% of the stock for the finishing kit. My goodness. We're busy. Now we're going to talk about patterns. So we sold out the vintage rows, but you can still get it in pattern form. And the good news is not only getting the vintage rows, which is here, but you're also getting your inside out and you're getting your bright and beautiful. So all three, 80% of the stock has gone here. 80%, My, I mean, this is a record-breaking launch from an ODS for Totally Patched. Uh, I, th I actually think it's the biggest, uh, it's the biggest show you've had, opening show that Mark, uh, you've had for an ODS. We are very, very busy. So if you do want to get a hold of that, $25.99, your price there, two three nine four one five. Uh, we were going to talk about the cushion, and we're going to see that in action now. I think Pat is set. Pat, how are we getting on? Yeah, I'm ready, thank you. Okay. Well, just calm down and do this lovely calm cushion then now. That's what we need, Pat. <laughs> That's what we need. Uh, right, as always, you get your kit, everything in, pre-cut. Mm -hmm. um, all cut, ready to go, and uh, beautiful. Now, okay. there's two parts to this cushion. The one is the actual background to the... Um, stitchery and then there's the stitchery okay. so i'm going to talk about both if i can if i can't i might do it later i don't know yeah, okay. <laughs> right now what i wanted to do the uh, the stitchery is a pliqued just stitched onto the background mm. and we've got all this beautiful fabric and i didn't want to cover it up with a piece of a plique so imagine this is my plique i'm putting it here i've got all this fabric underneath, all this space, could have been these squares. And I just didn't want to hide them underneath the applique. So what we're doing is something a little bit different, is we're making rows of uh, squares that are going to form a frame round this piece of calico. And then the applique will go on top and you're not wasting beautiful fabric in the middle. So that's the plan. Mm -hmm. and that's the way it's going to go <laughs> so plan. it <laughs> it tells you on your pattern uh, you have um 
you've got a few more squares than you really need um, and you've got to make sets so we've got to make two can you see this mark okay um four rows of eight so this is one two and there'll be two at the bottom okay. so we need four rows of eight and we need eight rows of two so two 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 right uh, like that and then what we're going to do we're going to join these together okay so I'm just going to show you, you can see why I'm doing this, so we're not wasting it in the middle, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure, Yannis? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm following. <laughs> I think you're in shock. I, don't, I think we're all in shock. <laughs> so when you put them together, when you, when you join your rows together, yeah. press all your seams in one direction. So the top row is all pressed to my left probably your right okay uh, and the next row is pressed to the opposite direction yes so that when you put them together they all nestle in and you do the same with your um all of them going down as well okay uh, so That's i stitch cool. my two together um which is going to go here like that and i'm going to press it i always press as i go along because you always get a better seam finish yeah. so press my two away from me and like something you, you teach us is to press it, give it a good press, no. don't just iron it. Correct, no mm. ironing, pressing, mm -hmm. like that. So that goes back there, this one goes onto here, right. I'm picking it up, stitching it, one seam's going one way, one seam's going the other, and I'm going to stitch my row. There's, there's no set pattern for these squares, they are just completely random, whatever you pick up to put down and sew together. Well, that's nice. That means that it's going to be an original cushion to you. I, I love the combination between the patchwork, the blocks that we've got as a border, and then your center sort of image with regard to uh, enjoy today. And it's a nice message as well. I think this is words to live by, enjoy today. Yeah, that, that's that's where it's come from, really. We're, uh, we've all got to enjoy the day, and I think um, I've been wanting to do a cushion similar to this for a while, I've been thinking about it, uh, but you always say to me, how do you choose what you're going to do? But mm. this fabric just just led it to the a bit of stitchery in the middle. And I'm not a, I'm not a embroiderer by a long way, but a little bit of stitchery we can all do. It's just a bit of, of back stitch. It's not, not hard. It's like red work. Um, but it's not something I often do. But um, I, I really enjoyed doing it, and I really enjoyed the the look of the finished item. And what you can see, all I've done here is stitch eight squares of fabric together. And yeah. just look how beautiful they look. It, and this is patchwork. This is proper, old-fashioned, traditional patchwork. Yeah. Uh, and it just looks amazing. Like, you don't always have to be, you know, fancy-dancy and put in all the, you know, little different things in something nice and simple and you could use you know once you've got your pattern you could use all your scraps up doing this sort of thing um, Good, and yeah. just give a little, little message inside that's going to relate to who's it who it's for so now i'm going to stitch these eight this eight section onto our calico in the center so this is the smaller piece of the calico you get okay yeah. you get two pieces of calico obviously one's for the um, to go, what Pat's doing now, and another piece uh, is for, for the stitchery. stitchery. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, tell you the that half Sorry. The, no, I was going to say half the stock of this kit cushion, uh, the cushion kit rather, <laughs> has gone half the stock. It is a beautiful, beautiful cushion. I mean, this to me, this is an heirloom cushion, and I don't say that for the sake of it. Genuinely, it is such a beautiful cushion. You can see that standing the test of time. Really like that. It's a feature cushion to have pride of place in any room. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's just lovely. It'll go in any room. And uh, I didn't do it like you've got the complimentary things, like we've got the bag in the bright and beautiful. I didn't, you know, you haven't got to walk around with your bag wearing your quilt or you haven't got to hug your cushion with your quilt. It's just... You know, they're just they're just other items you can make because things look. Mark's laughing at me now. That was such a lot. Uh, if you just imagine, just imagine Yannis with his bag and then the quilt over his shoulders. Well, it's Why funny you say that, Mark. 
Got the bag right here. That is a swanky bag. I would happily rock. I would rock this bag. We will just flash the details if you do want to get hold of this bag. Uh, obviously, compliments the bright and beautiful quilt wonderfully. But it is a beautiful, beautiful bag. You're getting all the wadding. You've got all the fabric there as well. I, I've. I really like this. And I think another good example of something that is truly unisex, everyone's going to enjoy it. See, I have to say, you've brought us such beautiful things this hour of, for the one day special. We have. We, we have really tried hard. We wanted, we wanted it to be special. And, and it, it has been hard work, I've got to admit. Um, and it, just coming up with different ideas that suit the fabric. But you can see that sometimes you think, how can I use this? What shall I do? And you yeah. all, you, you know, it can look beautiful in a quilt that's bold and dramatic and contemporary, but it can look stunning as a quilt, as a bag. I think uh, the pattern of the bag I've used before, and I usually wear the bags out, don't I, Mark? They're very handy size. You can get an A4 folder in, and they're a handy shape to just throw on and as you noticed already Yanis the handle's great as well yeah I don't like something that's going to dig in my shoulder I did you know I did pick up on that you've got a nice wide strap so it's yeah. going to fit comfortably around your shoulder as well I, that's one of the things I, I, uh, I did notice actually when we went to it you put a lot of attention into everything that you designed Pat well I try my best mm. <laughs> right so you can see this how this will build up so we just nice. put another one here we put our top and bottom, uh -huh. and then we go to our embroidery. Yeah. So if I stop this now, okay. and then I can t just talk you through the embroidery, so Please that do. Yeah, <laughs> if people aren't sure, they yeah. they can just see nice. how simple it is. Well, this is kind of best of both worlds because you're going to get the enjoyment of building up your your main sort of foundation of the uh, cushion cover with beautiful piecing, mm -hmm. but then you've got the enjoyment of going in with a bit of uh, embroidery as well. And I've noticed that you've You've actually added embroidered detail. So I know we've got our center embroidered image here, but you've actually added a little bit of embroidered detail into the squares as well. It looks like a, is that like a sashiko stitch? No, it's just a, it's just a quilting stitch, but oh, okay. it, it, is, it is about the size of a sashiko stitch, uh, Yanis, so you're I'll be honest, Pat, I, was, I was just trying to impress you with my knowledge of the sashiko. <laughs> well, it worked, you, you did a good job. <laughs> But I've done like I've just done cross uh, yeah. like stitched across the edges and um, just to you know link the two really. Yeah. So can you still see me? Yes. Great. Right. Okay. <laughs> so what you've got in the for your embroidery bit, you've got another piece of calico that's bigger than the one that goes in the middle of the quilt, and then you've got this piece of stabilizer. Now the stabilizer is does what it says on the on the packet. Yeah. It stabilizes the fabric. So one side is um, a little bit bobbly, which makes it gluey, mm -hmm. and you can stay put. So what, what you do first, you need to trace your design. So you've got a sheet with your design on, yeah. and you trace it off mm -hmm. really roughly, and just use this as a guide. I mean, you can just, you know, with all leaves, can, your little uh, buds can be bigger. You can put more on whatever you want to do, yeah. put more around the outside. Uh, so it's, it's just a guide. So you trace it off, and then you put you put. There's two ways of doing it, and lots of people prefer to stick their stabilizer on now mm -hmm. and do their stitching. But I don't. See, I'm always different. Aren't I? <laughs> uh, I prefer to do my stitching and then press it, and use the stabilizer then before I put it in the cushion. So I didn't use my stabilizer at the time, okay. but you can if you want to. Right. So it's, that's a, a personal preference. And it, it's just that I prefer to hold just the fabric than the stabilizer as well. Yeah. And if you are an embroiderer, you can put it in your embroidery hoop and do your normal um, stitchery that you put, up, put on it. But it literally is a back stitch. Nothing else, nothing technical, nothing difficult. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> so if I go, I'll just go, um, I better use my blue if I'm going to go around my cloud. <laughs> uh, so you'll have to make sure you can see me here. Yeah. Okay. No, we can see. So I'm, I'm coming up from behind. Right. 
onto my line. Now, this is your cushion and these are your lines. And if you're not right on them, the world won't end, will it? No. Nobody will ever know. You go back and then you come forward. So as you can see, we've got a little gap between the thread and the needle. Yeah. So I've gone back and forward. Is that okay? okay yeah. Uh, and then we do our stitch. Don't pull it too tight. You don't want it to start pulling up. Just it see it needs to just sit on the top of the fabric. You don't want a pucker. No. It definitely. No way. Nobody likes you the pucker. <laughs> you need to go in where your last stitch was, mm -hmm. and then you go across, and you are. Filling in the line with a back stitch. Very, very, it's very relaxing to do this. It's very calming, beautiful. Yeah. And you just keep going all the way round, filling in, go back to your stitch before in the same hole if you can. All right. And then keep going across. And you see, I, I like to do things that are, you know, they're not not too difficult you know we all want to have a go we don't want to uh we don't want to do something you know with like 27 embroidery stitches on we'd yeah. be here all day yeah it's so, <laughs> so effective you, you know what what you're with with the embroidery that we're doing on the cushion it's beautifully <laughs> effective it's elegant you don't need to overdo it no and so you just keep going you put your message on you could even put a name underneath if you wanted to um and then green some buds some little knots and your pictures oh, done as you can see so perfect and i'll show you the finished the quilt here uh pat yeah. mark i'll let you flip the camera around so we can see you both and say goodbye properly but what an hour uh the brand new launch of our one day special being very busy we've been focusing on the cushion immensely busy for this uh it is a beautiful totally patched enjoy the day pre-cut full cushion kit you're getting everything you need wadding backing feature fabric the only thing you need to do is obviously put the cushion pad in inside but look at everything that you are getting for that price beautiful fabrics as always uh you get that pre-cut for you 60 percent of the stock that is 60% of the stock that is meant to last 24 hours. They're very busy there. We have got Pat and Mark who have been joining us. There we go. Now, it's a question that viewers have been asking. You can be on. This is serious. This is an in-depth probing journalism here. Okay. Has Mark had a haircut? <laughs> Mark has had I a have. haircut. Who, and more importantly, did you do it, Pat? Rotary cutters? <laughs> I did it. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah. Uh, Mark, very nice haircut. You should be proud. I mean, is there, is there nothing that Pat can't do? <laughs> Beautiful quilt. No. Cut your hair. You you're, look... you're never going to go back to the hairdressers. <laughs> he, he did look a bit worried, Janice, I'll tell you. You know, yeah. all those curls, I was cutting them all off, and there was a great big pile of hair, wasn't there, Mark? Yeah, and he, he did. He did look worried. <laughs> no, you've done a great job. Nothing to worry about. We did have a, an email in from Julie just saying that you both look so happy. And you are. <laughs> and you also work, you work beautifully together. And you really do. I think as a couple, you work wonderfully together. And I think Totally Patch, family-run business. Should we give your daughter a mention? Because obviously I know she's a big part yeah. of business as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's actually come socially distanced working this week. She, the boys are back at school. So she has been coming, uh, has oh, come into work because we got a lot to cut in today. I can imagine, and you're going to have a lot more after this one day special. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love working Thank with you guys. You. I think I'm going to be working with you tomorrow at four o'clock for final calls. So I look forward to seeing you then. Uh, I don't know what okay. we're going to have left because everything's absolutely flown out the door. Pat, Mark. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're going to be back at 8 o'clock uh, with Paolo. I know you're going to have a great hour. Uh, thank you for watching. Plenty more, though, coming up here at Hochanda. So the lovely Pam and Emma are up next with Culture's Trading Post. After that, uh, Totally Patched will return with our phenomenally busy one-day special. And then you've got some more favourites on the way. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. 
At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. I'm Ali Reeve, I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join a Chanda Freedom today. Hello everybody and a warm welcome. I've had such a lovely day here at Hochanda uh, and I'm always looking forward to working with the wonderful Pam and Emma because you guys, you're so nice to work with. You get Aww. on so well together as well. Yeah, we do. Um, and true family run business. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely yeah. Yeah. 
Your brother's with it as well. Yeah, silently. You might see him mostly. one day. You might see him one, one day. One day, get him in. Yeah. Or at least just have his picture maybe on the table. <gasps> That's a good idea. What about a Simon I'm not doll? the dynamic. Simon doll? Like Simon. Pa we, well, we got, we got Pam and Emma. We could do a Tim doll. Yeah, it's, a do. Tim. Oh, Tim. So it's a Tim. I thought it was Simon. No, it's Tim. No. Tim. <laughs> I, I've been saying Simon for the last two minutes. You must have thought, who's he talking about? Tim, yeah, I'm so like sorry. That's okay, that's okay. So we Tim. don't we could, have a, we could have a Tim doll. We should have a Tim doll. You're not wrong with a thought of that. The yeah. only trouble is, he he's going to have a skirt. He couldn't wear a skirt. <laughs> We can give him a kilt, a How, really long one. Say, quilt, uh, kilt, we could do a kilt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so anyway. we've got a great show lined up, yeah. some beautiful things. <laughs> one thing to remind you all, we are currently in the midst of our international quilting event, which means every time we have a quilt show, we're going to add another prize into our mega prize draw. One lucky viewer is going to win this. You make any purchase on the show, we're going to pick one viewer at the end of each hour and put their name into the draw. I will show you the bundle, so this is everything that you're getting. Oh, there is just so much going on there, it's hard to appreciate how much you're getting. Now, I've got to say, the prize for this hour that we're going to be adding into the draw, this is a lovely festive quilt. The, the fabric is gorgeous. Mm. It's it really stunning, nice. isn't it? Really? So that is going to be added to the drawer. You're getting all this gorgeous fabric in there. Okay, so that prize will be added into the mix. We got some really nice stuff on this hour. So uh, I'm, I'm getting quite a spring Easter vibe. That's it, totally. Yeah. Yep. We're going to start here. Now, this is a cabin quilt with our Easter bunny. Yes. It's right behind you. Yeah. It's oh, just, behind oh you. well, that's cute. It is. That's kind of the yeah. That was my theme. My aim was to just be really cute. <laughs> that I, is lovely. I really it like is cute. That, yeah. I re I love the colours, but then the little block work around and the character there. So this is your design, Emma. Yeah. Do you know, I really like that. Mm -hmm. Love this. You can see your, your, your mother's daughter with your, yeah. your joy of the flowers there as well. Yeah, I like a daisy. Yeah, yeah you've always liked daisy. I, I called her daisy, like daisy before she was born. I knew yeah. it was going to be a girl. Well, so you were calling her daisy before she was born, and then you called her Emma? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, she's like that. Well, look, right at the end, it's Daisy, Daisy, we'll call her Emma. I like both. Yeah, yeah, okay. That'll be our little nickname then for you, Daisy. Daisy. You can call me Daisy. Yeah. I won't necessarily answer. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Got to tell you, we are busy for this, so over 20% of the stock, mm. we've only just started looking at it. Mm. Wow, it's fun. Yeah. We're having a Who busy that? I love well, it. I, oh, I think well. everybody. I think so. Yeah. Do you know what's nice? Every time you guys are in, I see if you when you've designed something, Pam always looks so proud. <laughs> yes, great. Of course I am. She's my biggest fan. Show <laughs> doesn't work both ways, isn't it? <laughs> as as mum should be. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> So look, that's your first option, $34.99. It is a stunning quilt. Uh, if you do have any questions or you just want to say hello to Pam and Emma, we would love to hear from you, studio at hochanda.com. Your item number for this fantastic uh, Easter Bunny cabin quilt is uh, 756668. Now we're going to go on to our Hearts in the Log Cabin wreath quilt kit. Air, oh, we like this. Now we've got all this wonderful fabric. I have got a wreath and you can actually just see it over here. So this is mm -hmm. the completed project. That's nothing, that's very pretty. Just a cute little wall hanging yeah. or topper, yeah. We, we like that. On the table, table topper, mm. yeah. Be I mean, as table toppers go, that would be beautiful. Mm. Twenty-four ninety-nine is your price there. I like the... Um, the way that the log cabin is built up, it's yeah. not, it's not, it just works. And actually, it looks yeah. different. The further you step away, you're getting a different feel. It's yeah. just stunning. Yeah, it's a really interesting variation of a log cabin block. But yeah, putting it together in that different way, interesting. Mm. So mm. we've looked at this for, mm -hmm. what, a minute? Yeah. Would you be impressed if I told you that 10% of the stock's already gone? Wow, thank you. Yeah? Well, yeah. it hasn't. Oh. 20%. Oh. Good. That yeah. would be great. Yeah? No. No? What? How does 30% sound? I like the yeah? sound Yeah? You like that? Yeah. No, I can't do 30%. 40% okay. of the stock's gone? No! I know! 40%! Wow. I'm glad it wasn't any higher. I was, we would have really milked that line. Yeah. Uh, but look, 40% though of the stock. Brilliant. Very busy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it but it's is stunning. pretty. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're nice little projects, aren't they? Everything you both bring, and you're, you're both so talented in your own rights, it's original, they're fun projects to make. Uh, I think, I, I love it. 
Mm, nice okay. little pack. Details are on your screen there, $24.99. It's a great price for something that really does look so good. 923774, your item number there. Now, this is cute. Uh, just before we go to the next one, we've got a bundle for you. If you do want to go the patterns for the first two, so just the patterns for the first two, $15.99 at your price there, and you'll get the patterns to make both of those. So, so you're not getting the fabrics, you are just going to get both of those patterns for $15.99. But you can't go wrong. And one thing, when it comes to patterns, you're both so good at, when you write your patterns out, they're very easy to follow, mm -hmm. and you're very conscientious uh, mm -hmm. to give all the information we need. Yeah, Try and get it right, absolutely. There's quite a, there's quite a few pages in those yeah. two patterns because you've got applique and patchwork. They're not yeah. just one page. No. Someone I can't remember, I can't remember who was telling me that they're telling me a story that they were in America. They bought a pattern. It was one page for ten dollars, <laughs> mm -hmm. and most of it was do as desired. So quilt as desired. Oh. You don't want to hear that in a description. No. As desired, you're going to tell me in the pattern. Yeah, how, how to do it. it. I mean, yeah. I can understand that with actual quilting, because we put that in, because yeah. that's something that you choose afterwards, but what, not when you're making, making it. Not making it. No. I totally <laughs> agree. Yeah. No. Okay, let's have a look here. Yeah. This is our next option. Now, this is fun. It's, it's, it's playful. Have we got a finished example of this? Yeah. this oh, of course we do. Yeah. I'm never in doubt. So this is our Cats About Town quilt kit. One thing I can guarantee is Ho Chanda is home to a lot of cat lovers. Yeah. Oh, we've got, we've got, a, got a pussy I've cat. Got a cat. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's going to be mine when we what's, finish. What's your pussy cat's name? Fluffers. She's got a few names. Fluffers. <laughs> she's, yeah. a, she's a naughty black cat. Oh, she's gorgeous. I, I love her already. Have a look at the com the completed quilt. It's stunning. So if you are a cat lover. Oh, these are really cute. Oh, so there is a lot going on here. Yeah. Mm. And it embraces, you know, you talk about the cheekiness of fluffers. I think yes. you channeled that into this quilt. That is what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. <laughs> it's very much. She's mm -hmm. very naughty. I might bring a picture now again. Please do. I've got some pictures of her doing naughty next things. Time, next time, you've got to show us fluffers. But uh, I, l I really like that. And it's nice colour mm. tones to it. Mm. And you've got, um, yeah. do you know what it reminds me of? Really classic, you know, in the newspapers you get the little uh, cartoons yeah. and they're sort of um, oh, yeah. satire, satire cast yeah. cartoons. Yeah. It's got that feel to it. It does, doesn't it? My cat it's gets in my, um, my crochet basket. Yeah. Wool and throws the balls out about if I'm not watching what Top she's right doing. Hand. And then she, then she gets the nest and goes to sleep in it. Yeah. I think that, look, you've got fluffers right there. Yeah. Has she yeah. ever driven around in a taxi? Oh, all the time. Okay. Yeah. Well, this this is this quilt basically tells the story of fluffers. Yeah. Uh, Forty nine ninety nine is your price for your quilters trading post uh, cats about town quilt kit seven three three four nine seven your item number and you have got two flexi payments as well of twenty five pounds if you do want to split the price in half. So half now, half four weeks time. But I like this, and I know there are a lot of cat lovers out there. So even if you're not necessarily a cat lover or don't have a cat, if you know somebody who has a cat, what a lovely gift to make them. Mm. We talked about Easter. Yeah. We got some Easter baskets. Yeah. These are lovely. Mm. So yeah. a lot of us have been spending a lot of time in lockdown uh, mm. at home. If as a family or if you're not going to be able to spend Easter maybe with uh, your family, yeah. what a nice thing to do to make this and if someone's doing a little egg hunt at home, it's just yeah. they're just nice things to have. Yeah. So you've got four little options to choose from. Your large blue bunnies, you've got your large green bunnies in there. Let's have a look at the large blue. Oh yes, it's a really nice, nice basket. Mm -hmm. Within this, I'm just going to show everyone because you've got the fabrics. This is what I was going. You've also got your your stabilizer. Oh, it's not mm. stabilizer. How do you describe that? It's called Decaville. It is a stabilizer. It's an iron-on stabilizer specifically for for lightweight bags. Oh, okay, because mm. it gives it the structure. Yes. Yeah. You're not yeah. going to get a floppy it basket. Up. Yeah. It's not too stiff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just it's kind of nice. Gives it a bit mm -hmm. of play. Yeah. Fourteen ninety nine your price there. That's for your large blue bunnies. Then we've got a large green bunnies. And these are, this is something you're gonna keep and bring out every year. It's yeah. very, very sweet. Yeah. Like this. So fourteen ninety nine your price there for your large green bunnies. Cute fabric. Oh look. Oh they're fab. You've got the you've wearing got the, the little hat on the face. Bunnies dressed as chickens and chickens dressed as bunnies. <laughs> it's really oh, cute. There. <laughs> I like it. Brilliant. Okay. And then we got the small blue bunnies. Just to show you here, that's your small blue bunnies. So you're picking whichever option works for you. And I like the green inside, the contrast of the green inside, that's yeah. nice. 
And then lastly, we've got our spring flowers for you. And this is a, ni this is a nice fabric. I know, mm. isn't it? Yummy? I like that. It's so mm. bright and bold. Fab. You're, I, I always like it when we work together. You, you're passionate about your fabrics. You get excited about your oh, fabrics. I love yeah. covered fabrics. Love so fabric. I've, I've got an awful lot at home. Yeah, we like it. <laughs> uh, Fourteen ninety nine. Your price there. Seven 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 six three five. Your item number. Uh, now next, you do this so well, character. Well, for instance, Pam and Emma sitting on the table with you. I think. And can we just take a moment to appreciate uh, Pam as the Easter Bunny? <laughs> Every she's time Pam comes in, uh, Pam doll, she's she's a different character. Mm. And uh, Pam, if you just turn her around, because she's got a little his secret behind her. Careful. A sparkly <laughs> bunny legs. tail. Yeah, because you know you've got to. It's like too cute. I love it. You she's need got your less eggs than shed earlier. Look at the whiskers. <laughs> you need your own animation series, Pam. <laughs> We'd watch it. I'd like to watch that. She doesn't. Yeah. Sure, she I love does. it. She does. But make them. Look, what you're getting here is so. We have got the Pam, uh, Pam and Emma dolls, but we're focusing on the bunny now. This is a very cute bunny. Yeah, she's For just a cute little bunny. Eleven ninety nine. Are you kidding? It's That's a great price. I mean, price. literally, she's a fat quarter. The fabric fat quarter. to make her. Yeah. I love her. Isn't she fab? And you love the pattern to make her, so you can make as many yeah. as you like with your spare fat quarters. Fabric. Yeah. And think all different fabrics you have. Like we had yeah. um, a one day special finished at four o'clock or six o'clock today was K Facet. Oh, so imagine yes, a K I've Facet. You'd have a real oh, funky yeah. doll. Uh, you really bunny. Would, yeah. You also bunny. get the pattern for the bear in, in with the kit as well. So it's bunny and bear. Sweet. We're able to make, you get the pattern for both the bunny and the bear. Yes. For eleven ninety nine, And we're getting the fabric in here as well. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want, you didn't want to make a bunny, you could yeah. make a bear instead. Well, that's, but that's it's Easter, really, so. really yeah. good. I mean, considering we're getting the fabric, we're getting the pattern for eleven ninety nine. I really like that. Uh, two 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 eight seven five. Your item number there. So we've also got the blue ears. So the only difference, pink ears or blue ears. There's your blue ears. Uh, again, though, if you did want to make uh, the bear rather than the bunny, you are getting the uh, pattern for both the bear and the bunny in this option. Two 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 eight seven five. Your item number there. <laughs> Tell me about Heidi the Hen. She is magnificent. <laughs> wow, well, I'm making up all the things for this show and I'm thinking, what can I do Easter? And Mum said, why don't you do a hen? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going through the fabric and I found those fabrics and I thought, oh, yeah. That's, what That's cool. Wow. <laughs> Isn't she fab? <laughs> she is incredible. <laughs> So we're looking at uh, the uh, Heidi the Hen kit, and I do say kit because look at the amount of fabric that you are getting with your Heidi the Hen. Oops. There we go. Yeah, you've got An four fat lot. quarters, look at that. So I mean, think how much you would pay just for four fat quarters. I mean, beautiful, it feels beautiful fabric. Beautiful fabric. Uh, and then you've obviously got your instructions as well, so afterwards you can go on and make as many of these mm. as you like. Yeah. Like a whole flock of them. Yeah. The prices are so good. Yeah. Nineteen ninety-nine. Your price yeah. there. A whole. I love it. A whole flock of Heidi's. Yeah. Fab, wouldn't it? Yeah. One in each color. Fill, yeah. fill the house with Heidi's. Yeah. Why not? Uh, three six one eight four three. Your item number there. She's fantastic. And then we've got to talk about someone very special. <laughs> this is Becky. Let's have a look. Hello, Becky. Beautiful dress. Is she pretty? Becky. Yeah. So this is Becky, 1199 with Becky. Now, at 1199, I would imagine we're just getting the pattern for Becky. The pattern, you're also getting a tail. Oh, and it's that's a beautiful tail. Isn't mm. it lovely? She's got it on if you turn around. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, Becky, would you mind if we showed everyone your tail? Okay. Just She's show. got one. There you go. There's her tail. <laughs> Look, such a soft tail. Um, I like, I really like Becky. Becky is kind of a nod back to beautiful dolls of the past. Yeah. You know, when you look back yeah, to sort like of those. the early 1900s and the wonderful yeah. dolls, that's the kind of film. Dolly, with her little dress, yeah. yeah. We like Becky. So if you want to make your very own Becky bunny, details are on your screen there, 11 99 your price. You're just getting the pattern. Well, I say just getting the pattern. You're getting the pattern. I didn't want you to think you're getting fabric. But what a pattern. And of course, you're getting the uh, fluffy tail as well. 497 365, your item number. Right, we're going to jump onto the website as we head to our first demonstration. Let's have a little look. Really easy to get ahead and see everything on the show. There's lots of goodies to discover. So do have a little look 
and see everything that we have. If you do have any questions, we'd love to hear from you as well, studio at hochanda.com. Right now, though, we're going to head to Pam and Emma. Uh, what are we going to take a look at first? Well, I thought we'd do Easter Bunny in the cabin quilt. Lovely. And I'm going to show you, for anybody who's not done it before, I'm going to show you quickly how easy a log cabin block is. Okay. So, but this is a random log cabin block. So you, you've seen on the sample that the, the blocks are all different. So because it's made with a charm pack, which you're getting in your kit already cut, you're going to take your charm pack squares and you're going to cut them into lots and lots of little strips. Oh, I've done one of each colour here, well, one of each colour that I chose. Yeah. All different lengths, but you've got your guide in your pattern of what to cut and how many. Right. And you can do that out of your charm pack. You're also going to use some of the charm pack for um, the applique. So you want to be doing the applique first, but that's first in the pattern. I had these in order and then I've just run for them up, up in the I? air, haven't you? I can work that out in a minute. Okay, so you're going to start <laughs> with your central block, which actually, in a, in a completely standard log cabin block, it tends to be the same size as the width of a strip. But you'll notice this one's yeah. bigger because it's a slightly different log cabin, but not a lot. Okay. So that's your centre square. And you're going to add your first strip, which is the same size that way, to any side of it because this is not particularly directional fabric. But we've got in our diagrams to pop it on the top, so... There we go. So all you're going to do is flop it over right. and sew along there with your quarter inch seam, like that. Okay. And then just press it straight back. And the pressing is so easy. But I want to show you, for anybody who's not done patchwork before, this is mm -hmm. how you press with patchwork. You put the, the bottom fabric right side up, the top fabric like that, grab hold of the edge, press it straight over. Nice. And that opens your seam, your fabric up as far as it will go. If you press from the back, you can end up with a little pleat or a, a fold in uh, the fabric okay. and then your block's the wrong size. So if, if you're wondering why I'm showing you how to iron, because you go in, I've done that before, that's why. It's just right. you always iron from the top and you that's iron good. on this one so that your seam goes to the side. You don't need to iron this one open. Nice. Okay, so and that's by that pressing one. properly, we're reducing bulk as yep. well, which is important. Get as flat as you can. Um, mm -hmm. we, we do long arm quilting, and if we get f quilts that have got little fabric pleats in them, if they're too big, the machine can push them when you're quilting, so that's not good. You don't want that no. happening. Just got to say, for this option, we are over 40% of the stock, and when, I think we can all appreciate this is a special quilt. So <laughs> if you're looking to uh, adorn your home, thinking ahead to Easter, what a beautiful thing to have as a hanging in a room, it just suddenly, it's festive, it's fun, it's bright. You've got a real character there as well. And there are so many nice techniques that we're, uh, at the moment, Emma's just explaining how we're building up the blocks. But if you look at all these different techniques, you're gonna be learning and enjoying and exploring one project, you cannot go wrong. And don't forget, everyone who makes a purchase this hour, uh, you could be in line to be entered into our mega bundle prize draw for our quilting, uh, our international quilting event, and that prize is something you definitely want to try and win. Uh, we have had a technical sellout as well. Oh, Pink Ears has gone. Oh. oh, what? So, Pink Ears, if I just oh, grab Pink Ears, Pink Ears has so you have been very popular pink ears. So pink ears, you're getting not only the pattern for the rabbit, but also the bear, and you're getting the fabric as well for 11.99 is incredible. Mm, uh, still price. got blue ears, but pink ears has gone. There you go, you're a very popular girl. Uh, blue ears, we're over 50%. Wow, wow. Okay. Well, it's a good choice, it's perfect. She's Great. the best bunny. Really good Easter present, if you don't want to do yeah. the chocolate line. I think, yeah. Or, I think you, you... or both, really, because I would have both. Pink ears or blue ears, I know what would happen. We'd get them home, you'd make them with good intentions to give them another home, and then you'd end up keeping them. Yes. Oh, I would, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and then you make them up in different fabric. <laughs> yeah, for somebody else. Yeah. Um, totally. I like that. Yeah. Pick some other fabric from your stash. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that one, I don't like that one yeah. much. That one, lovely bunny. And she does look fab in all sorts of fabrics. So once you've made that one, you can make as many as you like in other fabrics, and they look fab. Mm. If you made a patchwork of old scrap, just sewed them together, I think that yeah. would work quite well. I haven't done too. that yet, but I think that would be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, mm. one day I might do it. I've never got time. <gasps> okay, right, so what I just want to tell you now, because it's so simple, I like to follow the pictures in my pattern, so I've given you little photographs all the way through of how, ooh, how to put the blocks in order. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah, you could, just about. There you okay. go. So you can see that I've got pictures there. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to follow them in order, so I'm going to start with these ones here. So I've got that first piece on, and I know that I need to put the next piece there, so I've got that there, flip it over, sew it down that side. So I've done that. 
quickly. There you go, I've ironed it the same. Now, this is where you start going round in a circle. It's a cob log cabin tends to go in a circle. Right. The wreath quilt is different, but this is kind of the standard way of doing it. So we get the next piece, and we know that we put that one on first, that was second, so this one should go along the bottom there. Mm -hmm. So once you've got those three pieces on, so sewing it again, flipping it, you then get to the easiest bit where you can kind of stop looking at your picture because now you're going to start only sewing your strips on the side that's got two joins. Mm. So this that, is a really good tip. Yeah, so you're never going to get lost. It's so easy. Yeah. I've heard you in the past you've said this. And yeah. I, when, you, when you've said it, it's just a eureka moment, something yeah. clicks. Yeah, it's just so much easier. So you can start just put at building it up, that one. And then we go, there we go. So now we know that we want to put this next strip on, and that's the one there because there's two seams there. So there we go, straight on there. So just always looking for the two seams, yeah. you never two go wrong. Two seams. Because yeah. I even I go, um, oh yeah, two there seams. You go. There you <laughs> go, seams. straight on there like that. And I'm just going to keep building. Okay. Then you don't have to machine, do you, Emma? No, the so machines much on the wrong side of the table. <laughs> I usually do them for her. Yeah, uh, but I thought she's made me redundant. No, so oh. there we go. There we go. That one's that one. So there it is. There. But you, you've seen people with a machine. You don't. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it does well, a straight. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to sew a straight line. It's a straight line. All quarter inch seams. Yeah. If you don't do quarter inch seams, you'll find your your next strip won't fit on as easily. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay. That's yeah. to stretch it. Isn't it? It's a good. It's a good beginner. Um, block that is to do. I always used to teach those as a beginner yeah. class. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm, it's it nice, but to I'm very traditional as well. Yeah. It, it really is. is oh, and it's yeah. so satisfying. Yeah. And they build up pretty yeah. quick as well. I find them really fun. Mm. If you're finding they are getting a bit bunched and they're not, you need to be sewing your seams. When we say a quarter of an inch, it is a scant quarter of an inch, and you will hear that term. And it just means it's almost slightly less of a quarter basically because fabric when you're folding it over there is actually a little millimeter of fabric in the fold that you're losing mm. so the scanter the better but not too scant else your block will be too big and then it won't fit yeah. so it's, it's a practice thing but as long as you've got it within a quarter of an inch i think you're all yeah, right really. it shows you how accurate you are being yeah. and, and you soon learn when you've done a few of those yeah so it will make you feel better i'm very happy mm -hmm. with that block but let's measure it and it should end up five inches and I'm a tiny bit out but yeah I'm happy with that that's good yeah. it's a good yeah. block that'll do yep and that is that is how simple and you're going to be doing them randomly so when you you're doing it for this quill mm. I basically have all of the two and a half inch or whatever they are they're all different widths in a pile and I just grab the next one and if I don't like it I swap it over for another mm. one but I make them all up completely random mm. nice and if you do a nice scant seam and oh, your yeah. block comes out a little bit too big then you can always trim it off if you do yeah. two um, bigger seams too tight too tight and it's too small you can't trim any off it you can't make it fit harder with all to the make it bigger easier to make it smaller yes yeah, yeah. I think worth to live by I'm uh, just going to show you yeah. here mm -hmm. that you've got uh, this is the quilt that we're looking at here you know he talks about the fact that it's, it's a very traditional block the uh, log cabin block but look at the fabrics that Pam and Emma are giving you so it's beautiful uh, so, well, Easter spring-like fabrics that play with the actual overall theme of the quilt so beautifully and this is a lovely composition so it's fun it's engaging it's playful you've got that wonderful bunny in the center uh, nestled within that wonderful border of your log cabins as well so it's a really nice quilt to actually make and I think not only is it going to be enjoyable making it, but when you do hang it up or if you give it as a gift, it's going to be very popular indeed. Thirty-four ninety-nine is your price there. Seven five six 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 eight your item number. Right, so we've done our border. <laughs> we've done our border. Our poor Pam and Emma, we've been hassling you for more stock, haven't we? It's yes. been busy. <laughs> we just yeah, I'm just explaining to Mel. I can get more. It's okay, <laughs> yeah. all right. Yeah, well we've done, yeah, you've done all those blocks, you're literally just going to sew them round into strips yeah. and pop your border on and then you're done. Obviously you've made your applique beforehand. And I thought now I'd, I'd show you the other log cabin block, which okay. is the one that the hearts in the log cabin wreath. Yeah, because that's a bit different, that's isn't it? Slightly that's slightly nice. different, it's a little bit more work, okay. but not difficult. Because I don't do difficult things, mm -hmm. I haven't got time for that. You do fun things. I do fun things, yeah. yeah. I do cute stuff that I like. Yeah. Right. So for this one, you're going to leave your two strip. You've got one strip of the center block fabric, which is the green, uh -huh. and one strip of the background fabric, which I've actually sewn the wrong way up, but we won't worry about that. Okay. And you're going to sew those two strips together. Now, these are all cut the right width for you in the kit, so you don't have to cut those. 
So sew it all together like that, one long strip. If you saw the earlier show today, you know that the best way to do that is to put them together face to face, pat them along and then pin them because then your strip comes out nice and straight. We don't want right. banana shaped strips. No. no, we yeah. want the fabric to go through at the same speed, top and bottom. Yeah. So once you've got that, I, I knew suppose, I needed my cutting. I suppose if you had a walking foot, it'd be good to do. I don't okay. have one of those, never oh, have had, but uh -huh. people do use them and yeah. they are good. Well, we see them here. Yeah. yeah. I use a walking foot a lot. I do Very handy. I'm too okay. old for that. <laughs> You're never too old. Too old. <laughs> what? Shh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm working. <laughs> So what you want to be doing is, is making up, and this is the quickest way, instead of doing two little squares, it's the quickest way to make up these first middle bits. So it's literally, that's my favourite word today, literally, uh -huh. line this up, one and a half inch strip for anybody who wants to know. And you're going to cut as many as it says in the pattern that you need to make one of those. So I've just shown you how I do that. Lovely. Okay, you're going to be, oh I can move this board because I don't think I'm going to need any more ironing. So you're going to make up the central little block of your log cabin and these are log cabin tulips, I call them. Mm -hmm. So you're going to start with that and you're going to, again, get the pattern out because again I've got a little pictures for you for the orientation because orientation is the key with these blocks. If you don't get them right, the right way round, you're going to have a problem. I know this because I've done it. Yes. Right, so this is, gonna, this is the sheet I always use. Once I've made a couple, I don't tend to use the pattern again, but this one I always use. So this is your cheat sheet. Mm -hmm. So you know that the little diagram tells you you want to put the, the green at the top or the coloured at the top and that one at the bottom, and you need to sew your little background fabric block yeah. upside down the right way up, doesn't matter, <laughs> <laughs> on that side. Sew it across, press it open, and you're going to end up with one of those. Lovely. Okay. Would you mind if I just gave everyone a quick update on the bunnies? Please, go ahead. Is that okay? I'm yeah. not bad at interrupting you. Is that yeah. right? I'll no, that's promise to be quick. Fine. Uh, so I'll show you pink ears first. That's one option. Uh, pink ears was the first to sell out. Now you are getting the fabric, which you can see here, the little eyes, uh, the bow, everything you need to make pink ears, and of course the pattern. Eleven ninety nine your price. Uh, pink ears sold out, but is back on extended delivery. So it's two weeks. So two weeks we'll get it out too. So, but good news that we can get hold of uh, more pink ears for. You. And pink ears are not alone because we've got blue ears who also sold out. Um, oh. Blue ears again uh, can be brought back on extended delivery, a two week extended delivery if you want to get blue ears. But when you think about it, the fabric, the pattern, everything you need to make this fantastic bunny, all you need to do is add a little bit of stuffing inside and you're golden. 11 99 your price there, 222875. So don't miss out. Okay, sorry about that. No, important. You don't want to be missing out on bunnies. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. You're going to start making up the strip sets that go around the edge, but because they're these tulip shaped, they're not just sewing strips on, you've got to put the points on them. So for, again, for anybody who's not done this, you've got your strips, and you've got, uh, uh, sorry, you've got all different length strips. I'm going to show you the shortest one, okay? because that's the first one you're going to be adding. And the little square, you do need to cut lots of these little squares, like I said, so that's why it's nice to cheat on that one. Mm. And you can do this of two ways. I like to mark my square diagonally personally. I just like to. But you can either do it by your eye, because you're going to be sewing diagonally across that square. So because it's such a tiny square, you could do it by eye. Or, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I don't. Mm. Or you can fold it. And I sometimes do this when I'm being lazy and finger press it mm -hmm. and you've then got that marked oh, line yeah. down the middle. So I have done that on these. But I always find the easiest way is to mark it with a... I tend to use a pink fabric marker on the white. Yeah. And then you're going to use your cheat sheet. Okay. And you're going to line up your fabric and make sure you get this diagonal the right direction because if you don't, you're going to have a problem. So it's got to go that way on this one. And it tells you exactly how many of each strip set to make in which directions. Oh, that's good. So sew along that marked line. Sometimes you sew yeah. on either side of it. This time you're going to go straight along that marked line because they're such small little pieces. And it's nice we have got that cheat sheet that you can refer yeah. to as well. Yeah, this, you keep I, it by you, don't you, this is the best it? sheet mm. for this, yeah. this block. So I've done that. I'm going to sew along there, which I've done on there. We're not going to save these. We try and save as much fabric as we can, but because these are such small pieces, unless you want to use them for applique or something like that, you, I'm not going to. I'm going to throw them. To be honest, they're so small. Um, so I've just cut about a quarter of an inch from the edge. 
You don't need to measure that. Do it by eye. As long as you've got a bit of a seam allowance. Cut don't it off leave the them on either. Some people leave them on and it makes a mess later. It does. Uh, don't leave them on when no, you're folding them back. No, it's good advice. We are approaching a limited stock for this beautiful quilt that you're seeing right here. So that is your hearts <laughs> within the log cabin. Uh, very, very busy for the, qu uh, the wreath quilt, quilt kit. It's not easy to say at this time of the evening. Uh, <laughs> 923 774, your item number. But it is very, very pretty, and I, I like. It appeals to me on so many levels. The actual mm -hmm. design just works. Yeah. The colours really do bring out that design, mm -hmm. and then I just love the little detail in the centre as well. It's mm -hmm. it's a lovely thing. You've got your borders, just everything about it, lovely. You've done a good it's job. Right on my street, that I do love hearts. One of my first quilt projects that I did at a class, we were doing different strips in the quilt. It was like a uh, row of the month, mm -hmm. and every single row had hearts in it. My teacher was like, "You like hearts, don't you?" Like, yeah, like I really hearts. do. <laughs> <laughs> Mum had birds and all sorts on yours. Oh, I did, right. yeah. yeah. Ironing these is, is exactly the same as we did before, but you're going on a diagonal, but you want to push your iron along that seam, along straight along the seam, because you don't want to stretch it. So no. don't try and push it that way. Do it along the seam. Yeah. Little tip there. Carefully. Okay. Again, mm. a lot of you are probably going, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you don't know, we've got all levels of yeah, crafters exactly. watching us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Those new to craft. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to get, go with my second sheet now. So that's your cheat sheet for making up all these little strips mm -hmm. and making them up in the right direction because some of them go that way and some of them go that way. So I only need one of those. Mm -hmm. So your second cheat sheet is this one and this is for making up your blocks. Right. Just so you get an idea of what it looks like. There mm -hmm. you go. So that's making, putting the blocks together, but that's your, that's your first strip there along there. Brilliant. Oh, there we are. There, sorry. Fine. I'm like... Where am I pointing yeah, it to? Got that. So you can see that it shows you how to put the strips. And again, I use this because it's just so much easier. We're all visual people is what I'm yeah. trying to say. So I've got my block of fabric, my first one that I've just made. And uh -huh. I know that this strip goes there. So I'm going to sew that straight on. Right. And there it is. And I'm going to show you exactly down. the same as I did before. So we've got that first one on there. Mm -hmm. and because this is made slightly different, I'm going to show you how I did it. I've got all sorts of bits here. Second one goes on the top. Same as the picture, and it goes on that side. So you're making a tulip. I think that looks like a tulip. Yeah, it does. Okay. Mm. Third strip. Ooh, so we've done that one. Ooh. Now, Hearts and Log Cabin, we are limited stock, so you'll Ooh. see green on the screen. And uh, one thing I can tell you is we cannot get hold of any more stocks. So once this is gone, that is it. Yeah. It has yeah, gone. Twenty four ninety nine. your price for your hearts in your Log Cabin wreath quilt kit. And... Technically sold out. If it is in your basket, wow. please make sure to check out. If any do bounce back, of course I'll let you know, and it'll be fast as mm, fingers God, first. Emma, I'll okay. let you get set. Well, I'm going to show you the last yeah, one do, strip. Of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got that one. Last strip goes on top. So you're not working around in a circle on this block. You're you're working like that. You're doing it as you're told yeah. in the paper. So mm -hmm. you're going one and one and one, but you need to make sure your points go in the right direction. So that's where your diagram comes in. Because sometimes when I'm putting these together really fast, I get a bit lost. So there you go, that's your finished block. And right. you'll find that you make one, I think four, the corner ones are the bigger, so you're gonna make extra strip sets, but that's your main block. Perfect. Okay, that's how easy that is. Lovely, and of course you've got full instructions mm. uh, yeah. and step by step, and we've got the cheat sheets mm. with the quilt. So uh, very, very popular, that has technically sold out. If it is in your baskets, do check out, because if they bounce back, there is a good chance someone else will nab it from you. Something else that has been very busy, sold out already, back on extended delivery, we've got our bunnies. So here, this is our first bunny. Now the only difference between options is the colorway of the ears. So here we've got our pink ears uh, bunny. But what a beautiful little bunny. I mean, as bunnies go, very, very sweet. So a little gift for somebody, or if you just wanted to add the bunny in a room to uh, cheer up a room. Now, what I love about this, well, actually, there's a few things I really like about this. Price is incredible for $11.99. You're getting the pattern not only for this beautiful bunny, but you also can turn the bunny into a uh, bear as well. So you have got the options to turn bunny into a bear. And you're getting, if I just pop bunny down, the fabric. So you're getting everything you need barring this stuffing. You just need to stuff your bunny. But look, you've got the little bow, the fabric, everything there for eleven ninety nine is very good value for money. Twenty two eighty five your price, uh, your item number there. Uh, eleven ninety nine your price, and we are over seventy percent of Pinkies extended delivery. Whoop whoop. 
Uh, pink ears, rocking it. There you go. Woo, look at me. Okay, that's pink ears. Now, pink ears are not alone because pink ears has got a buddy. Uh, and this is blue ears. So Blue Ears, again, sold out, but back on extended delivery. So if Blue Ears is something one, uh, one that appeals to you, eleven ninety nine dollars at your price. Once again, you've got the pattern to make both the bunny and the bear. So, I mean, just alone for the pattern, you're winning, but you get the fabric in there too, and you even get the little eyes as well. Eleven ninety nine dollars your price there, 222-875, your item number. Okay. How are we getting on? All right, well, I've had to do a new demonstration now. I'm sorry. That's uh, all right, that's all good right. Problem. It's because you're so popular today. I know, it's just so brilliant. It's a good problem to have. Good problem, I'll say. They're, they're worse problems to have. Oh, yes. They really are, yeah. Right, so I thought I'd show you how easy those Easter baskets are over mm -hmm. the top of the machine. <laughs> so machine. It likes so, to shout when you yeah, turn it Yeah, it really on. does. <laughs> you're going to get two fat quarters of this Easter fabric. So one's obviously the bag outer, one's the bag lining. And it says in the pattern how big to cut. You need two pieces basically. So you need a piece that you're going to be putting that, it's called Decoville, mm. um, that stiffening interfacing in. And you're going to iron that onto one of those pieces. Okay, and you can see I've done that. There are instructions in the pattern how to iron it on. Um, very, very specific. I got that off the website of the manufacturer and it says to iron it on and then leave it for 30 minutes. I will tell you I don't do that because I hadn't read that until I'd made it. And I don't find you necessarily need it, need okay. to leave it for 30 minutes, but you can if you like. Um, the nice thing about it is I've got it creased because I've had it packed up, but it, it does iron once you've got it ironed on there. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was making bunny ears and she's got that Decaville in her bunny ears and I went to iron it on the back of one of the ears and realised I got it upside down and I'd ironed it to my ironing board. Oh no. And I went, oh, no. So I pulled it off the ironing board and went, oh no, the ironing board's fine, it's not sticky at all. And it was stuck to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled it off my hand and was like, and it's stuck in the other Comedy Woman. sketch. I know, you didn't tell I, me that. I managed to get it on the back of the fabric and it stuck really well. I'll give it a quick press on the eye. After all that, it's stuck. still stuck. Yeah, wow. so I was really impressed with it. it. Yeah, do. Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. Uh, just before we start, I've got yeah. to go about pink oh, ears. He's gone. Technical sell out for a second time. Wow. Pink ears. Now remember, pink ears and blue ears, they're brought back on extended delivery. It was a two week wait, but I think that's it for pink ears. So if you have got pink ears in your basket, please make sure to check out. Mm. Sorry. That's all right. There you go. That's amazing. I know, popular. Well, again, I think she's fab. Mm -hmm. Fishy, whatever. <laughs> right, so we've got that place on there. We've also cut out a strip for the um, of the outer fabric and a strip of the, the, the um, interfacing as well. But you're going to put those aside because they're going to be the handle later. OK, so I've done that. You're going to take your pattern piece. Now, my, mine hasn't got any information on it because this is my rough making it up pattern piece and I haven't got the real one out. But you're going to cut your fabrics and you're going to, it will say on the pattern, fold there. And that's where you cut it. So I've folded my interfacing or my lining fabric in half and I've placed my pattern piece on that piece on the fold and I've cut it out like that. Right. And you're going to do exactly the same with your bag outer fabric. Okay. But do make sure, I always like to do it with a nice fabric on the outside just because it's pretty and I like to look at it. Probably easy if you do it the other way, but make sure when you put the pattern piece on, if you do that, that you've got your interfacing all the way around. I've given yeah. you a nice big piece. Okay. Line it up with the top. Um, you can either cut it with a rotary cutter and then trim out the corners, or you can cut it with scissors, whatever you fancy. I'm going to cut it with scissors because I'm less likely to cut my fingers off on air <laughs> with scissors. <laughs> a bit stressful. It won't hurt doing it with the scissors. No, not at all. And I've, mm. I use my best sewing scissors and the, the interfacing is absolutely fine with them, she says, when she finds them. So I'm going to cut these really quick so they won't be perfect. But again, it doesn't really matter if you don't get them absolutely perfect because it will still be a bag. Yeah. So. This is just the easiest thing and I thought if you're going to be making a few of these for your, your kids, your family members, friends, you don't want it to be overly complicated, you want a nice quick easy project. So I think this one is really good for that. You're right, it's a nice quick easy project and mm. I think once you've done one, then it's the kind of thing I would look to either use some of my stash, get some Decaville, uh, and then go on and make some more. Yeah, and I made four in the time it would take me to make like one and a half. Well, if you can't have a, an Easter egg party for collecting Easter eggs up, you can put um, Easter eggs and bits and pieces in them to oh, give them as a gift. Just give it's a, a great little gift. What a nice yeah. way if you get an yeah. egg. 
Because you know, yeah. with the packaging, yeah, it's just it's a bit boring getting as yeah. the package comes in. Yeah. Especially like nice big egg, yeah. take them out, put them in yeah. the basket, and leave them outside someone's house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. But I think mm. nowadays, isn't it disappointing when you buy an Easter egg and you, you unwrap it and there's nothing in the egg? Mm. When did they stop doing that? Well, now because you know what it's. Boring. Try and make the packaging look. They put it on the outside to try and make it look bigger. It's all yeah, packaging. Yeah, you've got more stuff, but you haven't got anything inside. Yeah. It's really boring. But you've got your little <laughs> basket if you do that as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. That, as a gift. And is it just me or uh, Easter eggs? Uh, the Easter egg chocolate seems to taste better. It's the best tasting chocolate of the year. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I like there it. is a particular mm. one where they put little chopped up nuts in the chocolate in the egg. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> I won't tell you who it is because they're all good, but. <laughs> <laughs> You'll tell me after the show. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. I was shocked. I bought it and went, oh, this is the best thing Lovely. ever. Didn't tell me that, did you? I did. It's did, been a long time ago did, and you've forgotten. Did she share any of her Easter egg with you? Pat? She can't mm. eat too much chocolate. It's not good for her. She's old. Oh, bless you. Right. We'll allow you to eat some. Uh, now, I've got to tell you, we've got th four different options with regard to the baskets. And uh, I do like the fact, so we've got the bunnies, large and small, and then we've also got the flowers in there as well. So, spring... F Ooh! Now, this Ooh. is interesting. Spring flowers, limited stock. Wow, it's very classy. It's very I pretty, think. that. I like it's great that for one. adults who don't necessarily want kiddie bunnies. It's got yeah. purple in it as well. I like a bit you like a bit of purple. Oh, I do. <laughs> yeah, we like that. Okay, so there we go. Limited okay. stock for that option. Mm -hmm. Being Drink. a busy hour. Oh. Uh, and blue bunnies, large blue bunnies is approaching. Apologies, small blue bunnies is approaching limited stock as okay. well. Wow. Well, do notice that I've got a different lining from the from the outer than you will have in your kits, literally because I use what I've got left. Okay. Okay. So you're going to be folding it right sides together and just sewing up the two sides on both the outer and the lining. Yeah. Now, I didn't sweet. think we'd get this far on this demonstration, so I haven't pre-done that. I thought I'd be doing the other ones a bit longer, but we sold out. That's um, good. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to do that. Oh, I don't like your machine. And it's not used it's to so this weird. machine, this is mine. Uh, oh, this is your so weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although I've broken mine. So. But it's, <laughs> it's, uh, we, we do get used it. to our machine. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like getting a new car, isn't it, when you get a new machine? Yeah. I've got a new machine. Have you? Yeah, I've got it from here. Mm. I've got to use it on. Which one did you get? Uh, from Franklin. The Franklin Whisk, I think they're on tomorrow, aren't they? Okay, they are on tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've oh. got it for doing my um, machine embroidered um, landscapes. Very which nice. we'll be having on in a I love seeing months. the smiling face when you talk about the machine. Oh, I love yeah. machines. Yeah. Oh, don't ask me how many I've got. <laughs> Listen, this is your passion. You're allowed. Yeah. Uh, got to tell you, we've had another sellout, so the flowers mm. have technically sold out, I'm afraid. Uh, the option with the basket of the flowers, the spring flowers, that has gone. Uh, we still have the small bunnies, but I know that's approaching limited stock. Then we have our large bunnies in green and our large bunnies in blue. Right. One thing I am doing, oh, I am doing a backs and forward stitch at the ends just because I'm going to get to the point with you, definitely on the outer, that when you're trying to put it together, because this is quite stiff, it does try and pull its seam apart. So I do like to unlock um, stitch the ends. Okay. There's a little tip for you that's not necessarily in the pattern. But there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we ask My mum used to be able to do that automatically. Um, she was a shoe machine. This she was, yeah. Really fast. So it just came, yeah, naturally. Oh. Right, so you've got them both, both lining and outer, then sewn up. So you're, you are, you can press your seam open if you like, and I have been known to do that. It won't stay open very well because this stuff is really firm, but you don't have to. You're going to be easing it out now, both corners, mm -hmm. so that you've got that closed. So that's making your, your bag corners, really. Right. Line it up as best you can and sew it okay. along there. Um, Jolly easy. Yeah, really easy. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about when I went to get my car, saying all cars are different. <laughs> I went to collect my car. I had a brand new one. It was very exciting. It was a while ago now. Yeah. From the garage, and it was the same as the car I'd had previously, just a newer version. And the little lad said, we're really sorry, but the handbook hasn't come with the car. We'll send it on. But do you want me to go through all the, the extra bits and pieces? And I'm like, no, it's a car, isn't yeah. it? How hard could that be? And I got in it, and they're all watching me, because, you know, women in a car shop. Yeah. And I got in it, and I'm like, where's the handbrake? There's no handbrake. <laughs> I don't let the car go, because I can't find the handbrake. Oh, no, there's no way I was going in there and asking, because you feel really stupid. I managed to find a little was flappy thing. Oh, it's a flat, yeah, the flat, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And then I found I couldn't move the car seat, so I'm up with the... the, the, the against up the glass. <laughs> <laughs> this is really 
embarrassing. So I managed to drive around the corner and pull it into a supermarket car park and just sit there and go, right, I've yeah, got to figure work. this out. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> and I think you should, you, you could have your own sitcom. So it works out, we're going to do an animation series with your characters, the doll, <laughs> and then we're going to do a sitcom with them. Okay, that's fine. We're good at doing daft things, but we're Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you some stories of when I made a fool of myself. Oh. <laughs> There's a few of them. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of a wobble there. But yeah, so I've done both sides of that. And you're going to do, in theory, you do exactly the same with the lining, but you actually don't. You are going to do the same pulling out, and you're going to sew one side completely across. Yeah. But not the other one. But not the other one, no. no. Thanks, Mum, for filling that in. There. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to have something to do, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm usually machining. She usually makes me do it, but she's not trusting me to so do it. What's happened? How can you do I didn't think I would be sewing, so no. <laughs> I didn't do much sewing. I think I did this is to all the that. people who did. say, do you know how to sew? Because I didn't get that question, because Mum does most of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she does know how to sew, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Or being your daughter, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not that she ever took much notice of me when I told her how to do things. I watched and then said, no, I'm going to do it my own way. <laughs> and then I went, oh, it was probably not the right thing to do, but I'm not telling Mum. No. <laughs> You've got your own style. Uh, so, we've had a very busy hour. I'm just going to give yeah. one more update. Yeah, so go for the, it. Uh, the small blue bunnies has now gone limited stock. If you want to do it, I mean, I, I do. Do you know what I like with small blue bunnies? Is the green inside because you kind of get the illusion. The outside's the sky, and the inside you've got the grass. Yeah, yeah it's nice. There we go. We are limited stock for that option. I'll just turn that away. Okay. okay. All right. So I've actually not sewn very far at all along there because you've got to turn this bag through that hole. But I did find if I didn't sew it at all, it was really hard to turn it through and sew that later. I might get a chance to show you that. So I've left a big gap, but I've just sewn the, the sides in. Okay. Now you're going to take your bag. I, you don't have to sew these off because they'll go on the inside of the bag and nobody will ever see them. But it hurts me not to. Turn your bag the right side them. out. And this right. is where you're thinking, I'm crumbling it all up, but you can iron it, so it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. So push it all out. Ooh. I should have had you doing this because this is for you. Should have done. I should. I never thought of it. No, I would have done if you'd have been doing it the other way around. <laughs> I would. Next time. I like to get her to do things when I'm working. She's seriously <laughs> not going to get a lift home soon, are you? I'll drop you <laughs> off at your sister's and I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> My sister lives up the road. <laughs> oh, right from here? Yeah. yeah. Oh. We've already popped over, haven't we, to say hello? Yeah. <laughs> like that. Right, bag. There we go. Yeah. You're going to... I found that this way was the easiest way. You could do it the other way around, and it would seem like it would be easier to put the lining inside the bag, but actually I it find isn't. it much easier this way around to get mm. it all right when you're sewing it. Okay. Yeah. This just takes a little bit of fiddling right. to get your seams lined up. You could put a pin in there. You do. <laughs> you could, you do. Um, and get it all level all the way around the top. Right. Um, I'm going to put the pins in so they point upwards, which means they stab you when you're going round, but it's much easier when you're actually sewing. Okay, I'm intrigued. All the way round. Right. Oh, this one's... Oh, good bag. Good bag. When I was making them, it didn't behave at It's a treat, doesn't it? Yeah. It's behaving Should... for live TV. Yes. Yeah. It's behaving itself. It's better than we do, eh? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You do find it, sometimes it will slip a bit. It, as long as you've got it in the, both pieces in the seam, it doesn't really matter, but mm. perfectionist. If you can do that so you've got your throat all the way around, it's much easier. Most machines do, Most don't machines they? Most machines do, yeah. It's yeah. like your arm bar or something, isn't mm. it? I don't know. And then you're, you are going to sew all the way around, about a quarter of an inch from the edge, all the way around. You don't have to leave a gap for turning because we've already done that. Okay. Ooh, there we go. I take the pins out when I get to them. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing is this Decaville, you would think it might be hard to sew through. It's actually not. It's perfectly fine. I am I have a real bad habit of breaking needles. She thunders over the moment. I then pull oh, the fabric a bit actually naughty, naughty, and bend yeah. the needle and it snaps. Yeah. And my machine just doesn't like going over two thicker pieces of fabric okay. anymore. It's, it's getting a little is bit Is this a machine that you said you out. broke and that's why you have to borrow your mum's? Yeah, <laughs> I need a new machine. Um, if you do find, because the fabric underneath has got that interfacing on it, it won't stretch. I've found here that I'm just getting a bit of give on here. So what I'm going to do, and this is a little tip for when I find this is happening, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to go back to the seam where I started, and I'm going to actually sew the other way up. Okay. A little bit more fiddly, because you've got this part of the bag in the way, so you've got to hold it out of the way. Mm -hmm. 
But what, that, what happens is the teeth underneath are actually pushing the fabric usually a little bit faster than you're pushing it through in the top. So what it does is it takes out... I can't reach the pins there. It takes out any sort of extra fabric. Yeah. It kind of sort of almost gathers it up out of the way smoothly. Okay. Yeah. But it does slip a little bit, so... There we go. So now when I was at school, we were taught we had to pin tack a machine. We weren't allowed to machine without it being pinned and tapped as well. Oh, okay. So you didn't get that. No, yeah. life's too short for that. It is, I've never done it since, I tell you. So <laughs> I've done that all the way around. <laughs> mm. So I'm turning it through that hole. Again, you're going to have to scrumple it right up to get through that hole. Yeah. And I've just bust that seam, but it doesn't matter because I can't yeah. stitch, it up again. stitch that up again. Yeah. Um, Nice. You're doing it very quickly. You would take a little bit more time when you're doing that. Okay. I like to make sure the corners are pushed out before I push the lining in, and then you're okay. Now, that's very neat. Isn't that cool? This seam, I always do this on, on the sewing machine because it's quicker. Okay. You can hand stitch if you want. You can, you can, and it would be neater. And you wouldn't see it, but well, I'm going to do it on the no machine. No one's going to really see inside, are they? That's what I always think. It's going to be too full of, it's going to be too full of uh, Easter eggs. Yeah. So, I've po poked that in, and this is where having those side seams is a little bit easier because you've got a half seam to just pull the fabric through. Mm -hmm. um, she says, as they all pop out. And I just top stitch straight along that. In fact, one of them, I think the purple one I forgot to do, so <laughs> that one's not done. It's really bad. <laughs> there we go. I always machine mine together like that in the bottoms of bags. It was. Sorry? I always machine mine in the bottoms yeah. of bags. I haven't done a very good job on that because I brushed it, but you take a little bit more time and make it neater. Oh, that's all right. Fine. So that's now ready. Now, because this is quite firm, as we've said, it yeah. likes to be like that. And you could leave that with a little rim of the interfaced or the lining fabric if you want. But I didn't want to because your lining's a bit tight then. It's not quite fitting. So you just fold it over. And top stitch it. And top stitch it with yeah. your sewing machine. You're going to have to top stitch it if you're going to fold it like that because mm -hmm. it needs to hold it down. I haven't seen this made before. No. Oh, well, this is nice to see it. It's a nice easy make as well. Sorry? It's a nice easy make. Yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. I like that. Okay, I'm going to leave it there because you can see what you're going to do all the way around the top, like that, and that will hold in place. Now, if it is a bit crumply, you can iron it, and I'm going to show you how I make the box. Shape okay. a bit Got better. about three minutes. Three minutes, brilliant. I'm not going to show the handles, you can work that out, yeah. it's in the pattern. Okay. <laughs> oh, that take that three minutes. Either. Right, these are not very flat because they're where the seam is, so I what say, I do... Don't iron it on that side of your board. Oh, thank you. No, I won't iron it. I probably would have done. Yeah, I'm in a rush now. <laughs> I could see it happening. <laughs> yeah, you get a very green iron, I've done it. <laughs> so, i am push that seam out as best as I can, and you can just iron it. Be sure not to go past the corners on the bottom edge. Yeah. Okay. Pop it out, do the other side. I suppose if you go past the corners and you'll distort the shape. Mm. Yeah, you're going to get creases where you don't want them. Mm -hmm. And then do the same on the other two sides. Okay. I'm mm. doing it really quick. I took a bit it took a bit longer when I did mine. But That's okay. There we go. I'm not giving you so much give time. You an idea. And that gives you a nice crease along the bottom. But what I didn't do is put creases up the sides because I wanted it to be kind of round at the top. Yeah. And the other thing you can do, if you're finding that it's got a bit creasy on the side from all that turning, you can iron it from the inside and just iron it round. Oh, no. Nice. Roll it round. Yeah. yeah, that's lovely. And it actually takes out all those. You can see it's a lot smoother now. Perfect. There's that pretty edge. So there you go. That's your bag shape. Make your handle, pop it over, put your bows on, done. Thank you so much. I enjoyed this hour. I really enjoyed this <laughs> hour. Have you had a good day today? Yes. Yeah? It's been a mad day. It's been busy. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Accidents when we were driving here. Oh, no, not with you guys, though. No, 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 no we were okay. Oh, we ran, just okay. Missed almost ran out of fuel. All that kind oh. of stuff was all good fun today. <laughs> you got here safely, <laughs> we and did. we're glad you we had. We were a bit late, but we yeah. were here. Oh, we're good. Here. Uh, now, if we want to follow you on social media, how can we do that? Quilters Training Post. Yeah, have a look. Yeah, on most of them. And would you like, obviously, viewers, if anyone who's bought anything, to post pictures of their mm, links to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah we oh, love yeah. it. Good, so yeah. please make sure to do that. Um, mm. This is what I think makes Hochanda such a special place because we have such lovely companies who are part of our family and really nice family businesses mm. as well. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the show. We've had sellout after sellout after sellout.
uh, this hour. So I know there are a lot of you who have bought something you're really going to enjoy, and I can't wait to see it, whether it's this beautiful Easter bunny quilt. We've got the hearts in the log cabin wreath in there. There's a cat uh, quilt. We've got the uh, so much. We've got the bags here. We've also got the bunnies. We've got the Heidi the hen and Becky uh, the bunny as well. So it's been a very busy hour. Thank you so much for tuning in. When are you both back? Next month. Okay. On the twenty something or other, I forgot to look That's it up. Okay. You meant to, didn't you? But we were too busy time. looking for fuel. Oh, and so can you not. can you tell us? You know, do you know what you're going to no. do there? No, not yet. All right. No. You'll not be busy clue. designing. Well, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what Pam's going to be arriving in five weeks' time. <laughs> love know. the Easter Pam, though. <laughs> Absolutely love that. Uh, thank you so much for accompanying. Big thank you to Pam and Emma, as always. Uh, don't go anywhere, though. Just around the corner is the one-day special, and it was very, very busy earlier on. So Totally Patched are here with their one day special. After that, you've got uh, Folia favorites and then the return of Totally Patched. That's gonna be a repeat of the one day special hour. Lots to enjoy here at Hojanda. Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Tula Pink is a fabric designer, a quilter, and an author. She works closely with Free Spirit Fabrics to develop multiple fabric collections every year and is best known for her dark sense of humor, a flair for hiding animals within her designs, and her bold, unique use of color and pattern. Join me on Hochanda, where I will be bringing you a wide selection of wonderful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer shows on Achanda. Sam and we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company, Sam is my sister and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different but what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. 
The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chandler. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftoscope. And indeed, the International Quilting event continues here at Hochanda to celebrate, of course, that tomorrow is the International Quilt Day. Now, for to celebrate that, what we are doing since yesterday is every soft craft show that we have, uh, we add every quilting, sorry, not soft craft, quilting show, uh, we are adding a beautiful bundle to a giveaway. Now, this giveaway, well, it will be announced on Sunday at in the 11 o'clock show towards the end. However, to qualify, what you need to do is just check out your baskets during a, a live show of the uh, quilting shows in which we int introduce them with that beautiful intro of the quilt international quilting event. Now, in this hour, what Pat and Mark are, have given is, of course, the understanding the basic template techniques of patchwork, and that's going to go into that big bundle which you you, if you check out your baskets during this hour, you will be eligible to enter that competition. Right, Pat and Mark, how are you? We're good, thank you. Good, thank you. I, I heard that, uh, well, you have <laughs> caused quite a big of a stir at launch uh, with one of the beautiful options selling out, but uh, twice. Mm -hmm. But I believe you have got some news, right? Um, we have got some news. We can do a few more, not lots. Um, but the fabric, it will all come from the same range, but it will be slightly different. Like, we'll, it might have to be like one blueprint instead of another blueprint. So the colours will still be the same, but the prints will, may have to vary. So, so it's still you'll get all the different, the same amount of fabric to finish mm -hmm. that quilt top, the 52 by 52 inches, of course it will be at the end. It will be all those beautiful tonal ranges, but maybe mm -hmm. the prints will be slightly different. That's right, yes, yeah, Perfect. and we can't do any more after yeah. this, we really can't. Well, <laughs> you know what, uh, we know that it's going to go, so, uh, you know, I would say <laughs> to everybody at home, do check out your baskets, if that's the vintage rose is your option, which it will be the one, the same pattern you can see here, the same top color, colors, the patterns will vary slightly, but it will be from their same range. Now, let's talk about the other two other options for the one that is special that we have got for you. Now we have the uh, this side out here. You can see that. Now, is this the one that you were demonstrating, Pat, in the uh, first hour? Yes, I did a very quick demonstration. Um, I was in a bit of a shock then, <laughs> so <laughs> so it didn't go quite as planned. But uh, it wasn't yeah. as smooth as normal. No. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I did part of a demonstration, but very very simple. A simple half square triangle block. That's all you have to know to make the quilt. And it's the way you put your lights and your darks that makes it uh, the design that it is, which, I mean, it's a lovely design and it's lovely fabric as well. Um, and and they're all totally random, the half square triangles as well. Yeah. So That's it is a complete mix and match as well. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Actually, that is probably my favorite. Uh, now, this option of, well, all the other show, uh, this option is three quarters of the stock on. I don't know what you are going to do tomorrow morning. I genuinely <laughs> don't know what you are going to be doing. Uh, I hope you have got some dance number or maybe something else because. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're practicing all the time just in case, aren't we, Mark? Not dancing. <laughs> right. And then, of course, the last option that we have got is the bright and beautiful, which I believe this is the one that you are going to demonstrate for this hour, Pat. 
Yes, I am. I'm going to uh, work on that uh, just to explain how very, very, very easy this quilt is and how it's beautiful. If you touch it, I don't know how close you are to it, but it's a lovely soft fabric. Oh, yes. Really nice. It's almost yeah. like brush cotton. It is, yes. Yeah. It, it's, it is it's, a woven. it's a woven fabric. Yeah, but it's, it is, it's, it's lovely so to nice. stitch. It is feels really. so nice. And I love, actually, I have to say, that it's a little bit of a... Can you say, like, I haven't seen something like this from, from you. Uh, and I really kind of, th I love it that you have embraced that kind of brightness and kind of blockiness. Yeah. You know, it feels very much that these could go into a teenager bedroom or in my bedroom as well. So it's that sort of pattern. <laughs> aren't, aren't you a teenager, Paula? So, sorry? <laughs> Uh, aren't you a teenager? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I was one teenager a long time ago. Anyway, <laughs> look, uh, so if you want to go for the bright, uh, beautiful, uh, right, uh, 48 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are saving 15 pounds, and of course, you flexi buy in two payments of 24 pounds and 50 pence. Now, whichever option you are going to go for, you are going to finish. Is it all of them 52 by 52 inches, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So then the finishing kit you have got here is uh, perfect for e any of them, 60 by 60 inches. You are getting your traditional calico and your wadding 8020, right? Yes, that's right, 8020 and... Uh and the, and the calico, yeah. Absolutely. Now, approaching half the stock has already sold. So if you wanted to go for this, please add it to your baskets. Also, this, this is the other thing. If you add it to your oh, one-day special basket, you can then flexi buy this as well, in which case that 30 pounds and 99 pence would get a split into interest-free payments as well. So now, if you added that and one of the one-day specials, is it 40, the first payment is, it's 40 pounds the first payment and then the second payment as well unless you are a freedom member and no, no if you are not that is if you are a freedom member if you are not a freedom member become one because then you pay past this on top of that uh, 385 uh, 841 is your item number right now if you wanted to say well i love both well all three of these patterns but i want just the patterns because they have got masses of, of, of fabric at home now this has uh, it sold out at 6 p.m but it's back now the quilt and pattern collection you are getting all three it will be dispatched uh, in a week's time so it is the 26th of march so not that long to wait at all 25 pounds and 99 pence is the price and then uh, you have you're saving 10 pounds now Pat, you, you have been doing patterns for such a long time. You know, you put it them to the really so much information and detail. And look at that. So if somebody is, is an advanced or beginner, does it matter? No, I mean, the processes are all very simple. It's just the way you put your pieces together that makes a difference. But the, I try to give what I always give, a photograph for everything I do and um, good instruction as well. And if anybody gets stuck, they can just drop me an email and I can try to help them. Try to get back as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I hear from my producer, it's like, that is really good on email. <laughs> so you have at home the security oh, yeah. of receive. Uh, you know, if you have got any questions, you can always email a pad for more, more help. Right, uh, now, if you wanted to go for the patterns, 239-415 is your item number. However, you will find everything on the website, including a lot more. Now, I have to say, I mean, I, I think my producer won't like me for saying that, but well, maybe she that will. Uh, the fact that there is a lot more on the website that we are featuring this hour. Uh, which will be uh, celebrated tomorrow. We will be focusing more on that tomorrow. However, shop ahead while there is a stock because you, you know, already we had had a couple of sellouts. So if you don't want to miss out, there is only one way to do it. Have a check, look at the website and check out your baskets. Now we have this gorgeous, uh, oh, look at that. Is the beautiful cushion here. Enjoy today. I love this embroidery uh, pad in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I don't, I don't often do embroidery, but I just thought it's, it's quite simple, very attainable for anybody. And uh, look, I think it looks lovely. 
It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> yeah, and I love how it, it goes really well with the colors around it. Now, if you want it, if you are watching at home, three quarters of the stock has gone. If you want yours, you know what to do. Check out those baskets. 377-784 is your item number. £22.99 is the price with the £3.50 saving. Now, then, I'm going to save aside here. <laughs> I shall, shall I say here? It's much taller than me. I mean, you can... <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're wearing the bag. Yeah, I am wearing a bag. Well, I, you know what? It's a big, beautiful bag. So, I, you know, it's, it's really, really fancy. I, I love it. Now, what was the concept behind this bag, um, Pat? Well, it's a bag I've made before, and it's so easy to use, easy to wear. It, it takes an A4 folder, which yeah. a lot of people need, um, and it's just comfy as well. And I wanted to use the bright fabric in something other than a quilt. Um, and I think this will become my new favorite bag, I think. I, and you know what? I really love as well how it kind of talks through the bright and beautiful quilt. It's, it mm -hmm. has got that kind of uh, elements. I don't know. I think it would be really lovely to have this in the same room and maybe behind the door or something like that. This is ready for, I don't know, magazines or something like that and then take it away for shopping. It's just one of those ones that you want to display it as much as you it. Now, uh, now, one of the things I will say is uh, do check out your baskets, but also Pat and Mari, uh, do you want to get ready for the demo? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Perfect. We'll and now I'll give the details of the uh, pre-cut full bag head, uh, 15 by 33 inches, uh, 693196 is your item number. Remember to check out your baskets. We have had already sellouts galore uh, in launch show, so I just don't want you to miss out. And then we have the lock having quilts is that one behind me, isn't it? 20% of the stock has already gone. Uh, you can see here that you are getting the, the calming lock cabin quilt. This is what I need, lock cabin, calming cabin. It's one of those ones that is just stunning. Now, I believe the lock cabin is the block here, and usually it has that kind of center in here, the fire, the red, but here you have got the stars inside, which are absolutely stunning. I love the composition of the big cross in the middle, how they kind of go in the side. I think this composition is one of the best ones I have ever seen with a cabin, a lock cabin, because it's just, the way that it works is just a pattern within a pattern within a pattern. And I find that magical. And of course, the softness of the colors as well. Now, you, as per usual with Pat and Mark, you are getting all the pieces pre-cut. And of course, you will end up doing a 45 by 45 uh, each top quilt. Uh, now, then, you, of course, you will have to finish it. Maybe you can go for a matching uh, finishing kit. Or if you would just... Um, you have got the elements already at home. That's up to you. £59.99 £99 is your price or two payments of £30. That's how if you want to, uh, you know, flexi buy it. 451259 is your item number. Now, we have an update on the one day special. You remember that vintage rose that, that Pat and Mark tried to, well, they bit about it back? Well, it's gone again. So that's it. I believe that's it. Uh, you know, uh, poor Pat and Mark, you know, because they were, they, you know, Mark is going to be cutting a lot of fabric, uh, but that's what, this is a great way, there's a great reason to buy from a Panamark and the Totally Patrick brand, because you are getting everything pre-cut, so you can just do the sewing, you don't have to worry about cutting the fabric. Right, I just want to make sure that everybody does check out their baskets for their preferred options, uh, you know, we already had one sell out this hour, we had, I think, three in the previous hour, so make sure to do that. Right, um, Pat, are you ready for the demo? I'm ready. So take it away. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Is it dancing now then or sewing? <laughs> sewing. <laughs> sewing. Okay. Just enough to sew. Just enough, just about <laughs> enough. Hanging on. Okay. Right. So uh, this is a bright and beautiful quilt. Um, absolutely bright and absolutely beautiful. Uh, in your kit, very simple. This, an absolute, somebody who's never sewn anything could make this easily. Okay. You've got, can't go wrong, you've got two sizes of fabrics, one rectangle, one square, one rectangle, one square. And then you've got some sashing, some short okay. sashing strips and some longer sashing strips. 
and you join them together, you put four squares and four rectangles in each row and they have a sashing strip in between them. Now, if can you see that, Mark? Yeah, uh, yes, yeah. we can see it. Uh, in the instructions, um, I've got pictures of my rows, but you can mix your colours around to any way you want them. They don't have to be like mine. They can be like the, the row I'm going to stitch. I haven't looked at this. I'm just going to stitch it as I want to sew it. So you can see we've got four rectangles, one, two, three, four, and four squares, one, two, three, four, in each row. And okay. eaten between them is your sashing strip. So it's up to you how you mix them up. You can see here I've got two rectangles together. Then down here I've got one and one on the end. So it really doesn't matter. Whatever whatever you think, you know, how you want it to look is fine. So um, I've, I've put a row out here so I can uh, show you how to work with it. Um, so pick up. You don't put a, a short piece on the ends. You put use that for your long pieces you've got in the box still. So you just put them in between, not at the beginning or end of your rows, but it tells you all this in the pattern. Um, so you put them, oh, it's so, it's so lovely to sew with, so I'm picking it up. Um, I'm stitching my sashing in between. Uh, so I've got a square and a sashing. If anybody's got um, somebody they want to get interested in sewing, this would be a brilliant kit to, uh, of course. Of course. to, to get them interested because it's a great colour. Like, you know, patchwork can be very traditional. It can be very, um, you know, pale. Yeah. Or it can be bright and exciting. Pastel, I think you should say. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um or it can be bright and exciting. So um, this was just lovely. So I'm, I'm going to put another square on and put it on. And I press my seam towards my sashing, not towards the uh, printed fabric, towards the sashing. But every time I do it, so line it up, keep it nice and straight and stitch a quarter inch seam. I'll stitch quickly yeah. because like, I literally am just stitching uh, straight lines. Yeah, um, I mean, with the stock going so fast, you will have to stitch very quickly. So it doesn't... Okay. I'll, I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing very well, actually. Considering all the manic, uh, you know, uh, yeah. launch at 6 p.m., you are doing very well. <laughs> Thank you. We had a man. We were going to sit down and relax for you know forty minutes between shows. Yeah, it was. Had to do some calculating. We did have to do some yeah. calculating. Absolutely. Well, we are grateful that you could find some of the vintage rows. Uh, now, I think maybe one has bounced back. One has bounced back. So if you are fastest fingers first for the vintage rows option of oh no, it's gone now. See, so no, so. so. <laughs> Oh dear. Someone heard you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Good. By the way, if anybody has got any questions for Pat and Mark, uh, you can email us in at studio at hotchanda.com. And, you know, about crafting, about, uh, you know, sorry, don't ask about vintage rows, so if there's more, or what they had for dinner. Well, I mean, you know, we can answer it, maybe, if you have had dinner. <laughs> no, not No. <laughs> Oh, well, the producer says she hasn't had dinner either, so I have. <laughs> so otherwise, my stomach will rumble. <laughs> oh. So I'm pressing again towards my sashing every time. Okay. And you can see, you know, just how quickly it goes together and how easy it is and how beautiful it looks. You know, it's just. A nice way of showing off the fabrics, showing how just gorgeous they are. So I'm going to put my next piece on. I'm about halfway across a row, and there's only eight rows in the quilt, is there? Seven? Don't know, I can't see the quilt. Six. 
How do you be count counting on this? <laughs> Six. Six rows. And then, uh, once that you kind of, when it comes to quilting it, c can you quilt it any way you want? Uh, maybe doing <laughs> echo uh, quilting or something like that? Or it has to be the way that you have done it? Oh, no, no, no. You can be do exactly what you want to do. You could, um, like this has been done, um, it, you know, just going across the pieces to keep them in place. I've got a, I think there's a close-up. Yeah, I'll get this piece of paper. Can you see that? Um, you can see how they, it's just done in a very contemporary way. Yeah, I love that, uh, I have to say. You could do, um, in the ditch, you could do, you could put shapes on it, you could do hearts or stars or something all over it, entirely up to you. Uh, but it, it is lovely to quilt. I have to say, um, Mark's mum, my mother-in-law Brenda, she quilted this quilt for me and said it was a delight to quilt. So, uh, Thanks mum. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, right. and then sewing that bed as well. I mean, and, and this is like, uh, also I would imagine that once that you know how to have the instructions of these, you could replicate it as well if you have got, or if you want to swap different fabrics around, you could do that as well, bits and pieces. Yeah, certainly. And what a lovely um, pattern to use as a, like a, like a memory quilt, let's say, where you've got like pieces of, you know, shirts or children's clothes or that sort of thing. Um, because you could showcase the fabrics um, from something that you treasure and then you'll have it forever and ever and ever. Absolutely. But I think that's, we should all be doing that as well, I think. That sort of thing. Yeah. So absolutely. as you can see, this is literally all you do. You join the rows. Um, and I'm sure people don't want to watch me do this, although I say that and they go, we don't, we like to watch you, Pat. I go, mm, yeah. So I would just continue my row and then make all my rows um, and, and join them together with my satin. That's all there is to it. That's gorgeous. And that's easy, actually, very achievable. Uh, remember at home that you have got two different options now for the one day special. The one that Pat was demonstrating was bright and beautiful, which is, I think, a really good way to maybe introduce yourself into quilting now or piecing and then quilting. Half the style has gone though. And remember, this is the style that should last uh, 24 hours. One option has sold out twice, well, three times, in fact. Now we have got half the stock remaining of the bright and beautiful. I think this is a phenomenal one to start off if maybe you want to do something maybe for the you know the teenagers or maybe male oriented. This is a little bit different from your traditional uh, more pastely tones of the quilting kind of range of beautiful kids. Here you also are getting what I love is this the fact that it's strips that you are sewing together. I love the thinner elements. I love the squares. I love the fact that it gives you the freedom to go geometric in the quilting. This can, has been hand stitch quilting, but you could do it, you know, machine stitching, you could do your stitch and the ditch if you wanted, or kind of whatever rulers you have for quilting as well, you could incorporate them. I mean, you could, I kind of thinking, maybe do quilting like kind of different, maybe um, a flower in here, or maybe different elements in there, maybe a sun in here. You can then be creative if you wanted to, or if you want something striking like Pat has done, I have to say, I adore that kind of lines in there that are a little bit random. That is, of course, the bright and beautiful, which you know, just let me remind everybody, Pat and Mark cut every single piece for you. So you don't have to worry about cutting the fabric wrongly or getting not enough of that fabric. I mean, I am only have been quilting or patchworking for about a year exactly. And one of the things I have learned is how many times I choose a pattern, I don't have enough fabric, how many times I got it wrong, the measurements, and I have got it, the piece that it wasn't wrong. This is all taken care of for you, uh, for you. So the only thing that you need to do is have a sewing machine, or if you wanted to do it by hand, you could, but do the sewing, which is the one the bit that is just so pleasurable. The other option we have for you is, of course, the, uh, the inside out in here. Now, this is a more traditional pattern. However, what I love about this is that it has that striking nature for it, that kind of chevron-like. 
It's a really fabulous pattern, isn't it? Now, again, you are going to get every single piece to create the quilt top for this one. £48.99. If you are thinking, what's the finished size of this quilt? Well, it's 52 inches by 52 inches. If you want to go for the one day special, you have a £15 saving, whether you split them into uh, two payments, interest free, or you put one off payment of £48.99. Now, if you wanted to finish it, because remember, this kit, what it gives it, it gives you the top, uh, but it doesn't give you the finishing, like the, the wording or the backing. Now, we do have, Patamark have created this gorgeous uh, finishing kit, which I love, because with one transaction, you will get everything you need. It's 60 by 60, which means that, because of course, you need that extra few inches around it to make sure that you kind of have enough backing and enough wording. It's a perfect size. The wording is 80-20, and then you have got the beautiful soft calico for the back, £30.99. Remember that if you add that to the one-day special and you flex it by the one-day special, then you only pay £40 if you are a Freedom member today, and then the next month you will pay £40. Now, if you are looking at the patterns and you are loving them, we have a kit that is actually just the patterns you're all three patterns the vintage rose the inside out and the bright and beautiful pattern now these ones you are going to get all three it did sell out early it's back on extended delivery it will be back it will be dispatched from the 26th of march which is just a week's time you still have that 10 pound saving and 25 pounds and 99 pence for all three patterns remember the patterns are included each of the pattern is included with the matching kit however if you want to maybe you have gone for one of the one day specials and you wanted the other two patterns this is the way to do that 239415 is your item number uh, scrap bags we have two options for well two different uh, scrap bags now it's a different item number so it's not kind of but the first one is uh, actually just bear with Let's bear with. Uh, now, a scrap bag. What we are getting in here. Ooh, I wanted to open it. But basically, they are large pieces of scrap bags. So you're going to get a meter in total of beautiful quilting cotton uh, fabric. And then you can bring them up into life. Now, one of the things I was looking at with that bright and beautiful quilt is the fact that you could build built you know you can get that inspiration of building those little tiny squares and then sashing them and then creating that kind of beautiful pattern you could do that something with a scrap bag 1049 is an amazing low price oh oh i give him permission to open it it's like go on i cannot do it nicely i'm just you know i go for it uh sorry pat and mark i'm really sorry I just, uh, Look at that. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. They are big pieces. They are really big. Ooh, ooh, nice. So we have beautiful pastel corals in here. Obviously, contents will vary, uh, but you can see the sizes of these fabrics that they are not a small size. So you could have, for instance, here, I would think, well, this is about 10, to 10 inches, so then it's 10 inches by 10 inches, so you have got enough there for a lot of different things. Uh, then you have, oh, the, the, I love that. And of course, contents will vary. It's an assortment sizes. It's just a scrap bag that you will have a lot of different patterns in here. And these are great. I, you know what I think they are great also as mojo busters because then this is kind of thinking oh I don't know what to do so you start thinking oh I like these two together so I'm going to start oh I like this so I'm going to start combining this or binding or then suddenly you're thinking oh this would be a lovely present for a ba little bag uh, or tote bag so there is a lot of different ways so look at that how many elements are there in here right you are going to get at least a meter uh, and here they are larger pieces that is the details are on the screen six seven three zero two eight ben floor manager ben is looking disapproving and my ripping and it's like she's like you could have done it a bit nicer uh, 10 pounds and 49 pence is your price um then we have these as uh, the smaller pieces so it's the same amount of fabric but into smaller pieces now if you like for instance patchwork if you like uh, applique especially applique this could be perfect for you english paper piecing as well that would work really really well if you want to do things that are kind of those 
smaller, uh, you know, kind of elements into different things. This could be fabulous. Uh, 10 pounds and 49 pence for a full meter of quilting cotton. 551326 five, is your item number. Now, one of the most beautiful traditional uh, quilts that I have seen in a long time, I remember when it came out, was this beautiful kind of linen um, finish, uh, kind of called, it's this word. And this one is the Hopeful Star. I loved it because it was different. It's, it's, I imagine, you know, being in the Wild West under the, uh, you know, I went once to the, what is it called, uh, you know, <laughs> Um, Yellowstone under the canvas and it was a, it had like these beautiful tans with a fire log uh, you were like you know surrounded in, uh, in by nature and they had these quills that sort of thing it's just sort of it has got that wild west kind of element to it but really traditional colors as well this is why I'm so fond of this one now you're getting the top quilt top and the binding 43 pounds and 33 pence 33 pence would be the first payment and then you can split, uh, you know, you can uh, pay the same amount and the next month and then. Now, we are 30% of the stock gone. You look at the saving here, uh, there, there, more or less the same, uh, 65 pounds saving uh, you have got. Uh, now, if you want 63, uh, now the finish size is 63 inches by 50, 73. So it's a very large, it's a proper, Quill, you know what I mean in terms of like a double bed or something like that. You can put it over the top and just and it, the colors also are that sort of neutral tones that will blend in very well. Uh, five one four eight two two is your item number, All right? And then we are going to have a quick look at the cushion here. Love this one. Uh, this is a uh, give a hug. I love that. I love that. Now I will say a uh, give a hug especially nowadays is a very special thing isn't it um it's only very very few people we can hug at the minute on in my case this one person and you know and it's the fact that you can you know kind of feel that this is the cushion that you get hug it i i sent my mother a quilt i made um, a kitten cushion cover and she that's that's the her paula cushion hug so whenever she misses me she kind of grabs it and squeezes uh because this is to remind her of me uh 21 pounds and 49 pence is your prize you are saving three pounds two two eight eight zero four i think it's a fabulous pattern i think it's a fabulous colors again it's a perfect present for somebody right that's uh, that's the counter done but uh pat are you ready for the next demo i am ready Fabulous, thank you. Uh, we're going to talk about the um, bag now. Um, it's really, really simple. Um, everything in your kit is per normal look. Cut squares, uh, nice lining. We had a bit of a discussion about the lining. Mark, I said it needs to be light because he doesn't know that, you know, we lose things in the bottom of dark bags, don't we? Yeah. But yeah, but if your lining is nice and light, then you see better. You didn't quite get it at all, actually. Um, and then you've got all your pieces of wadding. And it honestly, it's the simplest bag I have ever made. Um, wait, it is. Don't look like that much. Fact. In fact, it is the simplest I have ever made. And what we're going to do first, when you get your, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> when you get your um, pieces. You're going to join them together in a random effect, entirely up to you. It tells you how many squares you need to join together. So you need 12 squares. That makes a the handle. The base and the back of the bag tells you what you need. And the base and the sides. And they're made separately. And I know I probably won't have time to get this constructed tonight. But I will carry on tomorrow with it because it's so easy. It's unbelievable. Okay. So the first thing you do is, uh, as I tell you, make up your pieces into the measurements it says. So it's like four squares long or 12 squares long or four by this. Just following the picture and everything that I've written. So when you do that, it's best to, um, I'm going to show you how to deal with one side of the bag and the handle because the handle's easy too. So I've made up my rows. Can you see those nicely? Yeah. Um, and I've pressed, all I've done is I've pressed the seams opposite each other. So this row goes to my right and the next row goes to my left. So we're doing them alternate so that when we put them together, 
we nuzzle the seams up to each other and they uh, lock into each other there. And if you put your, your finger in your thumb like that, one one side, one the other, you can feel that they're locked in place. So uh, that's what we're going to do all the way along. If you want to pin, you can pin. So I'm just going to stitch the bottom piece on now. And this the, the technique we use now is exactly the same for each of the pieces apart from the handle. That's why I'm going to do the handle um, as well to show you. So um, I, 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 I can't wait to use this bag because it just feels so nice. It does feel very nice, very yeah. soft as well. I love how you have the proud, proper long handles as well. I mean, you cannot see it, but it's, it is nice. And, and the handles, the fact that they are wide, it also is good because on the shoulders, they sit really nicely. You know, you can think, well, I always say you can put a proper bag of uh, potatoes in here and, you know, carry it along. <laughs> Yeah, you go and buy, you know, potatoes and carrots and things like that, right? And they're heavy. Yeah, you can put anything in. And it's, you know, it's, I've, I've made this bag before, as I said, in like ages and ages ago. And it lasted me for years. And I used to do just that. I'd walk around to the vegetable shop and put my vegetables in. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. Or folder when you went to college yeah. and that sort of thing, wasn't it? Yeah, my folders, everything. It's a really handy very handy bag so this is one side of the bag as you can see there okay like so so the next thing you do which is a little bit unusual is you put the bag piece onto the lining so this is our lining and you put the bag piece onto your lining like that okay. Um, pin it in, pin it in place, and now you quilt it. So you quilt it before you actually make the bag up. So you, or you know before you join the pieces together. Now you can do this by hand. You can do any design you want on it at all. I've just done a crisscross uh, down all of the um, squares, down and across. So I'll just start that. I won't finish it because it's a bit boring to watch. Um, but I'll just show you uh, what to do. Okay. So I would pin this in place and it does stick quite nicely to the wadding actually, the 80-20. Um, so pop it in place, pin it in place. And I usually lengthen my stitch length if I'm quilting. So normally I think I'm on 2.4 and I might lengthen it to 2.8 or 3. So why, that's- Why is all, that? All the because you know how sometimes if you're machine quilting yeah. and you're you want it to feed evenly through the machine, uh -huh. um, it's better to take a little bit bigger stitch oh, because if, if they're if they're tiny and it doesn't move, you'll end up with lots of stitches on top of each other. But it's if you extend your stitch a little, like it's it's like for anything, like a cushion or anything, um, it just gives it a little bit more chance, let's say because machine quilting isn't easy. Um, and this is a good thing to practice on because it's small. But um, I don't know if you've done any machine quilting, have you, Paola? Yeah, I have done a little bit of quilting, but I had some issues quilting. Like I love piecing together and creating yeah. patchwork and things like that. But quilting wasn't my problem because I don't have a walking foot. But that thing, yeah. this is why I was saying that your top tip, uh, now I want to try that because I think it will make all the difference. Yeah, um, it, it isn't as easy as people think, um, machine quilting, uh, but it's worth persevering with. And, and to start on a project this sort of size, yeah. that you, you've just got this bit to do, then you move on to the next bit, you move on to the next bit. So it's, it's a good thing to do, but just extend your stitch length a little bit and it makes it more move easier through. Do you need a special foot for this? If, it depends on your sewing machine. If you've got a fairly modern machine, uh, like I haven't got the walking foot on my machine now, um, but you, you, you can use a walking fit, foot, but if not, just an ordinary foot. And go slowly as well. Don't try and rush it. Take your time and relax doing it. Because when I'm machine quilting, especially a quilt, I get really uptight and my shoulders go up around my ears and I'm like, getting all tetchy instead of enjoying the process. Um, okay. Now, you, you'll just see, I've got to the end here and I've turned the corner. Can you see that, Mark? Yeah. 
I've turned the corner. I'm not coming out and I'm not going to stop. This is another tip. Um, you do as long a line as you can. Yeah. And then turn it as little as you have to. So rather than come out of your machine, oh. if you can up here now. Yes. Right. So we'll just do that. Yes. Quickly. I know what you mean. Yeah. That corner. Yeah. And then you stop with your needle down. Turn again. Yeah. And now you start coming down here. That and then you'll sense. gradually work your way all over yeah. and it just makes it easier than stopping and starting all the time. So that's your little machine quilting lesson. Extend your stitch length um, and you sew and you can just quilt with normal thread. You don't need to buy quilting thread. Um, normal sewing thread, um, same colour top and bottom and take your time. That's the absolute key to it. Don't rush it and don't pull it. Let it slide through the machine. So I just keep going all the way over, all the way over. Um, so that might get done by some quilting fairies in the night. Oh. And uh, we'll see some more of it tomorrow. Fabulous. So, we'll look forward to that then. Uh, but I do want to show you the handle. So do you want me to do that now or do you want to come back to me in a second? Uh, we can do a quick recap and then we can come back to you for the handle. Uh, right. And of course, the, it is all about a one day special as well. Uh, the details are coming up. Remember, one of the options, uh, the which was the Vintage Rose, has already sold out three times. Now it's gone. We have got the, the Bright and Beautiful, which is the one that Pat started, demonstrated at the top of the hour. It's the beautiful as well. It's very Mondrian like it's a very kind of these artists with the squares and the colors and the brightness in here but you also have the other option which is inside out the one that you can see in the screen bright and beautiful could be the perfect first project for your quilting or it could be the one that you have waited for you have done a lot of quilts and you're thinking I want something different something that is vibrant something that is striking something that is modern something that is perfect for teenagers something that allows me to be very creative if I want to in the sorts of quilting patterns that I do on top of that quilt. That is bright and beautiful, but we have also the inside and out. I love this pattern because, again, it's a traditional pattern, however, taking into kind of, I think, a little bit of modern striking features in there. This is the sort of pattern that looks like you could hang it up in a country cottage or in one of these really modern love conversions. You know what I mean? I mean? With a leather sofa, this could be really cool. This is a sort of uh, item that the way that the colors have been put together, the way that the pattern works together is phenomenal. You know what? I'm going to do one thing that I should have, but look at the size of it because it's not a small chevrons. It's nice large pieces, which mean also if you are, um, you know, like kind of you want a, an easy project in terms of sewing together, it's not a smaller pieces. They are larger pieces. Remember that talking about pieces, the everything comes pre-cut for you. So all you have to do is follow the instructions in sewing the beautiful patterns together. Now, whichever option you go for, the top quilt will be uh, 52 by 52 inches and the same item number, you just have to choose whichever option you want to, 658611. And of course, with that FlexiBuy option means that you open a FlexiBuy and of course, you could add the finishing kit to that basket. The fin and then that would be the, the first payment would be 40 pounds which is less than of course the one uh, the, the one day special on its own one of payment 30 pounds and 99 pence gives you 60 by 60 inches of the wadding 80 by 20 that softness of the cotton that polyester content making it more durable and then you have the calico as well which is the soft calico that of course Pat and Mark always use for the backing so you know that you're not going to need anything extra you have got the finishing kit ready to go three eight five 5841 is your item number. Now, of course, we have featured three different patterns from the one day special, not only the inside and out, the bright and beautiful, but also the vintage rose. Now, Vintage Rose as a kit has now sold out, but if you want to go for the pattern itself, we have uh, the trio of them in one kit, in one book. It's also sold out earlier. It's back on extended the 26th of March. That is the delivery, uh, the, the dispatch date, but you will get that beautiful instructions. I would say one thing, I love that this is white, so I would not make my notes in here because I always do that. 
I always do my own notes about how I have done something or how I would like to, or maybe just a pattern suddenly kind of thing. Uh, 25 pounds and 99 pence you're getting, uh, you know, it's the, the price approaching 20% of the restock of that extended delivery. It works out at eight pounds per 56, 66, sorry, uh, per pattern. Now you are saving 10 pounds and you don't have to choose which pattern. You are getting all three patterns featured in the one day special options. You want yours? Uh, well, check out those baskets. 239415 is your item number. Pat, you have got about just under 10 minutes, I think. Okie dokie. Right. Uh, we're going to talk about the handle now. Um, you can see all comes pre cut, even this long, thin piece of wadding that Mark loves cutting. <laughs> <Don't> uh, <know. laughs> yeah. um, but the beauty of this is once you've got like let's say you buy the kit you'll know what you're doing and then you can start collecting your bits of wadding that you might throw away keep them because you'll you'll have something smaller items to use them on so that's a good thing so your wadding needs to be bigger than your um, backing, which I didn't say last time, but it does just in case it moves. Uh, so you put your wadding on the table, you put your lining facing up, and then you put your patchwork facing down okay. on there. Yeah. Um, like so. And we're going to stitch down both sides, but not the ends. Okay. And while we're, while we're here, can you see that on camera mark? Yes. This? Yeah. This is... Um, a badly pressed seam and I've left it so you can see because I just whipped this out earlier um, and it's what if we stitched it like this you get this twisted seam and that sometimes happens in a in a patch in a block so if you can always go back and press it down because if you get a twisted seam you'll always have a little bit of a lump in whatever you're making so even I can do a twisted seam <laughs> so I'm gonna stitch down the sides now quarter of an inch that's all straight lines right down the side this is going to make the handle it's a really good way of making a handle really easy i like you know, you know i like easy if i can and yeah. but it's you know if this is the need to complicate our lives unless we have to So keep going, and then I'm going to do the other side, but just the long edges, not the short edges on the sides. And you can pin this, I'm just doing it for speed like this, um, but you can pin it. I think I know where you are going with this, but I'm still I'm doubtful that it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's going to work. Of course it's going to work. I know, is it? I, of course I know, but... Yeah. yeah, it's so, yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not just this bit, it's how it's put into the bag as ah, well. Of makes course. It, to make it strong, yeah. it gives it strength the way it's put in. Because sometimes the bag is the weak, the handle is the weak part of the bag. Um, but the way it's put in, yeah. I'm just going to put my foot down really fast and get this out of the way. Quite satisfying actually. Yeah, very satisfying. Whipping my foot, whipping my foot out. Yeah. Right. Then what you have to do is trim off your wadding, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, it feels wrong, doesn't it? Every single time. Yeah. So I'm just going to trim the edge of this wadding. I'm taking it level with the um, the patchwork. And the reason um, we do it afterwards, as I said, is because if the wadding moves yeah. while you're sewing and then it's in a little bit at one point, then it, uh, it's, you know, if you haven't left just a, just a little bit, a couple of inches on a big quilt, but on something like this, it just needs to be about um, half an inch either side. So I'm just going to trim, trim off both sides. I won't bother at the, doing the bottoms yet. This is very quickly done, isn't it? Yeah. This is very quickly done. Quickly in a bad way or quickly? Because, no, quickly because you haven't got much time. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've done it this 
traditionally, though, look. Oh, yeah, but I mean, normally you'd take more time. Yeah, to prepare. yeah. So now it looks like this. So we need to turn it through yeah. so it becomes a gorgeous handle. And this isn't the fastest of things to do. Oh, I, I, I see. Ah, now I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Help. Yeah, so you've got to pull it through. And what happens is, um, because you've left your ends um, open, obviously you can get it through more easily. But also, um, they get, you don't turn the edge of the seam because they start to look, um, they start to look, you know, if you like turn the edges here, yeah. over neaten them you're you're adding bulk and we don't really want any more bulk than we need so um i don't turn the edges under but i sew them into the seam as we join the bag and that way you get a nice strong handle and um, i usually do two two rows of stitching so i will be able to show you that tomorrow at some stage hopefully I can't rush this process, Mark. Mark's looking at me as much as saying, come on, hurry up. <laughs> I can't. You, oh. you can't rush turning anything. This is where you need like a, a, a part of a wooden spoon. No, oh, I see. To push, it. Through, to push it through, see? Yeah. But I've got I've got a hole at the end, so it wouldn't work. No, but you... Oh. <laughs> Some part of it, you oh. oh, you got it now. You've done it. You're in now. You're done. Well, uh, yeah. It's a long handle. <laughs> <laughs> Wadding, everything. Yeah. Dead with. So what I do then is I give it a gentle press and then I quilt this differently. So I'm just going to do this end, save you, save you waiting. So I'm just going to take this, open out the end and give it a press like so. It just feels so comfy, even here. And then what I do is I just stitch either side just to give it, gives it more of a, I'm going to say a professional look, but yeah. I'm not. I'm not finished. Yeah. Professional. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of. I like that word. And then you are a professional kind. <laughs> so like you do one side, and the difference. Um, this is quite a good example actually. Doing a bit of it, you can see the difference it makes. Yeah, Just it a does. row of stitches. And, I mean, just look at the difference between this bit that's stitched yep. and then the bit that's that not right. stitched. It just finishes it off, doesn't it? It does completely. And I'm sure that it kind of also reinforces them a little bit as well. Yes. That's yeah, fun. it does. I mean, you could put more rows on if you wanted to, but I just like it with the, uh, you yes, know, you could put a design, yeah. anything. Then that's you'll chop the ends off. And then we'll put it in the bag tomorrow, I promise. A prob uh, that's really good of you to promise uh, to do that. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you so much. Uh, now, of course, I w have got some news as well about the inside uh, out option of the one day special. That's the one, it's now limited to stock. Now, remember the vintage rose has sold out. You know, we brought it back, but it did sell out. If you do not want to miss out on the inside out option, please make sure to check out your baskets. There is going to be repeats during the night. So if you are watching this during the night, you may, it might have already sold, sold out. So make sure to check out your baskets. If it allows you to do that, then you will have to. Uh, right, of course, Pat and Mark, we would like to say a goodbye for t tonight. Could you turn around the, the, the camera? Yeah, turn the camera around. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, the one that is special, while well, we are waiting for the turn of the camera, uh, now the two options that we have got left is inside out but remember this is the option that is now limited stock if you want to go for this please do check out your baskets otherwise you will miss out and if you I think it's a fabulous kit but so is of course bright and beautiful both of them are 52 inches a square um, you know you will have all the fabric in there that you need to do the top you have got that flexi buy and if you want to add the finishing quilt uh, kit that of course gives you the wadding and the calico you can do that uh, now of course that uh, the details I believe are uh, no, they will be at the bottom of the screen so that means that you can then add it all flexible just pay 40 pounds today 40 pounds next month and then you have got everything that you need to do for the one day special now Pat and Mark what are you going to be doing tomorrow morning at 8 then aside from Sleeping. the bed <laughs> 
Well, I don't know. If the inside <laughs> out's uh, limited as well. Yeah. But we'll find some a few hints and tips keep everybody uh, keep everybody awake in the morning. Yeah. And we've got well, we do have the cushions. Well. The cushions are really gorgeous. Um, now, of course, that could be an option. Yeah, and we've got things that you haven't seen yet as well to come on to the other shows. So uh, keep watching all the time because we've got different things in each of the shows tomorrow. Fabulous. And now we will see you then bright and early at uh, 8 a.m. Of course, that will be 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, now, uh, now, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very thank you, much. Thank you. And have a good night and rest uh, because uh, enjoy your dinner as well. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, a little bit late. Even for the Spanish times, this is a bit late, or at least for yeah. me anyway. <laughs> you know that very well. <laughs> right, good night. Thank you so much for joining us and for this fabulous demonstration. I love Pat Omar because, uh, you know, Pat always, always is full of inst inspirations. Now, one of the things I would say, though, is not only this is fabulous kids but also they are very very busy the inside out now is going to probably go uh it's very very limited in the stock so if that's the option that you wanted to go please do check out your baskets and you will get it otherwise you will miss out if you don't want to miss out there's only one way and it's to say to pass and check out those baskets remember there's a flexi buy and remember that is we are celebrating the international quilting event which means that in every quilting show we are putting an uh you know a gorgeous a kid into that giveaway and to enter that giveaway you have to just check out your baskets during the live uh, hour the giveaway is absolutely massive I don't think this photo does it justice, to be honest, because there's so much stuff and so much amazing stuff. So make sure to check out. We will be announcing the winner uh, at 11, the 11 o'clock show on Sunday. And stay tuned for more here at Hochanda. like that music anyway for your favorites after the break then another look at the one day special at 10 and then pick for crafts at 11 yeah 11 yeah that's it Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon in the UK and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. If you watch Hachanda, you'll see us put together and decorate our designs to inspire you so that you can make your own crafting projects. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows on Hachanda. Please join us on Thursday the 18th of March at 7am to Sunday the 21st of March at 12 noon as we celebrate our international quilting event. As part of the event we are offering you all, especially our soft craft fans, the chance to enter our amazing mega prize draw. Place an order for any item featured within any live soft craft shows during this event and you will automatically be entered into the prize draw. Prizes will be added within each live soft craft show, so keep watching the shows as the prize grows. Everything could be yours. Good luck! Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hochanda.
Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. of a very, very fabulous uh, show ahead of us uh, because it's a folia and a folia is a, uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to introduce the company. I'm going to let the guest who knows all about it, Zoe, our Sony. How are you, Zoe? Hi, I'm very, very well. How are you? I'm very good. Now, uh, folia, can you tell us a little bit about the company? Yes, so it's a German company mm -hmm. and it started off as a, as a family, family company, which it still is. Uh, their ethos is to be more environmentally aware shall we say oh. um, environmentally conscious so you get a lot of papers that are recycled um, you know to try and keep down the carbon footprint but they also are very diverse in what they do so they will do they've got all the soft crafts but today for hills they've got the paper crafts and then they've got crafts that children can get involved with with parents as well so it's very much a family environment but these papers I was with, I was on a show with you when we first released them, and I remember a word that you said that I used time and time again afterwards to describe them, and that was elegant, because mm -hmm. these papers are so beautiful and yeah. so elegant, and we're so lucky to have them back again. Yeah. I know that they did very well, um, but Folia is, is a very good company for making really nice quality and making it. Um, affordable as well. It is. Now, of course, you have got the affordability. You can see it, of course, in the price. It's a pick and mix price. You're choosing any two of these beautiful uh, co paper collections. And whatever one, two you go for, twelve ninety nine is what you are going to be paying. It's a great price. Uh, now, of course, based in Germany, so that accounts for an extended delivery. It's a two weeks extended delivery. You know how it is here. We don't try to hide the fact that, of course, we have got international companies sending us up. Uh, 919461 is your item number. Now, in each pad, you have got 20 sheets in there, yeah? yeah. So it would be 40 sheets in total. But they are not just, I mean, look at the richness. Well, I mean, I'm going to, can I be here in the side? Because otherwise, I'm just, I'm just too small. I hide behind the elbow. Look at the richness of these absolutely stuff. <gasps> look at that and I love the boldness and it has like that cotton feel to it, it has it has almost like a fabric -y feel but it also has like a handmade paper yes. feel as well well while it, it does feel like that it feels you know it looks beautiful it looks elegant and it feels quite um I would probably say dainty and um you know quite precious it's not it's really sturdy and I've put it through it's it's um, paces. Paces. I put it through on with the die cutting machine and I've put it through so many paces to see if it if it works and it handles really well just like you would normal card and normal paper. 
Oh, look at that. I absolutely adore these prints. Uh, of course, the red one is one of my favorites. Uh, now, now, as you mentioned, die cutting it. So it die cuts the paper. Yes, yeah. One of my, one of my demos today, um, I've got some die cuts, so, well, so I've made some paper flowers with. I think behind the set, there are some samples as well of die cuts where I've used almost a create card style die to cut it out and cut all the intricate detail out and it's cut perfectly absolutely oh, i love that it's so we can die cut it as well now i'm gonna come in from the back in here so you can see the more natural tones as well so whatever one you remember you oh look at this this is luxury my mom would love this absolutely isn't it beautiful it is absolutely it's very regal it's like kind yeah. of a, a kind of these elements of papers that you would put you find at yeah, a palace you know that yeah. decoration as it's well so it is it's so elegant it's so classy nothing's over the top it just and it, they all coordinate in e each pack they all coordinate together so there aren't going to be any that clash with one another yeah. in each pack absolutely and so it is one of those where you want, if we could let the customer feel it, we'd really want them yeah. to feel it because of how it, how it feels. Absolutely, it does feel so soft and cut and it's just gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Remember, you're choosing any two from these. Anything can happen where, you know, like, oopsie doopsie. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Midnight Paula. They are calling me Midnight Paula. Uh, it does happen to be fair at midday as well and the first thing in the morning. So it's not, it's not, but you can see this is what you die cut as well. Yes, yes. So you can see that that's gone through, you know, a very detailed die yeah. and it's, it's kept its integrity as a, um, as a piece of, you know, yeah. paper or a piece of card. It's kept its integrity. It's not either stretched or torn or anything and you can see really nice clean cuts across all of the edges yeah absolutely by the way uh, the images on the website uh, they have changed the packaging so it will maybe be different in the packaging on the top but the colors and the pay uh, they will be the same so for instance when you go for colors of india you will have those purples and pinks tones in there and you have got even and, and so on and so forth but you can see in here for instance the colors of india those beautiful purples and pinks they're so um they are so regal as yeah. you said they really really are this they like luxury i yeah. would say these are really luxury papers and the other thing is that, for, well, of course, I'm going to love this one because it's red and gold. Uh, now, iris folding. Yes. It's absolutely a good idea to do it. But also, I'm thinking um, wrapping presents with boxes and things like that, decorating further. Yes, that would be beautiful. You know, if you're wrapping a present up, it would be lovely. If you're wrapping a small present up, it would be, yeah. you know, really beautiful. And then you get to keep the paper afterwards. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Twelve ninety nine is your prize. You choose in any two, or whichever two are your favourites. Nine one nine four six one is your item number. Moving on to the next, uh, the paper blocks. Now again, you have got uh, the basics papers. It's bigger than an A four. I have it's twenty four by. Th uh, is it for uh, twenty four by thirty four? Yeah. Uh, you, again you pick and choosing any two and it's by colorways what do you use it for uh, Zoe these are I would really say you know we talk about our essentials and our go-to items and these really are if you're wanting to make cards these are really your go-to items because you've got different patterns so you've got I think there's 10 different patterns but with each pattern you'll get a paper version of the pattern you'll get a card version of the pattern and you'll get a com uh, complementary or a coordinating plain card version yeah. as well so you can see there you've got all the you've got the details you've got the designs and then you've got the coordinating papers to go with it so you won't have any problems at all if you want to make a card and you want all your backing papers um all your matting and layering co coordinated it's all there in one book Absolutely. and with them being larger you're getting more for your money rather than it being a simple a4 you are getting more paper to do more things with Absolutely. And then of course we have the pinks as well in here. I love that some of them are double sided that you have got that possibilities in here. And and again this is for eleven ninety nine having two of these blocks it makes a lot of sense because also could be uh, you know, for those larger projects that you cannot find and you know, like A four is too small, this could be it. And I'm gonna show you the other up uh, the inside but you have got the blue option and then you have uh, got the yellow option and then finally you have 
the neutral option or the brown option. Uh, and now, uh, the, I'm going to show you some samples that uh, Zoe has made. Because, of course, these ones are perfect for die cutting as yes. well. Yeah, yeah, they work fantastically well, die cutting. They are cut. I know it sounds straight, but when we buy paper, I've, I've, I've learned this um, quite a painful lesson when I first started, that you can buy packs of paper and it might say A4, but it, if it's not made as yeah. well, it's not actually cut to the size, yeah. so it's not cut straight, yeah. so you'll never get a straight line. This is all cut straight, it's cut to size. Yeah, and it's, yeah. yeah <laughs> perfect quality. And that, with that, you can see that while I did all the, um, I did the matching, the matting and layers, yeah. you can also see I've got the quilled flowers done and the, the spiral flowers made as well. So you can see it's integrity, it's, it's yeah, good weight absolutely. and it's good quality. Absolutely. Right. If you want to go for this a bundle, uh, remember you're picking and choosing whichever two are your favorite colors for 1199090525 is your item number. Moving on to the exploding boxes. This is my favorite kit. Well, there's two because I love paper flowers. So this one is one of them. Uh, now you are getting both of them so you're getting the explosion uh, box in the kind of more bluish tones and as well as on the paints you are getting a lot here for your money as well i'm gonna say it posh um uh, foam pads as well uh, now you are getting the die cuts love those colors with the foil as well the gold in there you have the papers the spottiness as well in here you have got the patterns you have got the flowers you have got the cream and then you have of course the die cut explosion boxes in which you can see in here as well so you have all those elements so i believe you can make uh you know one box with the, each of these kids you have got the, also the instructions in here and you can see how you put it all together so very very nice and simple to put together everything really easily to do of course you have got two of them so you have got the uh, pink option or the coral option and then you have the a more kind of blue green option here um, this one is called party which is all what we want to do isn't it yes have definitely. a little bit of a party yeah definitely we do we're looking forward to the summer and we're looking forward to good times coming ahead Absolutely, they are. Twelve ninety nine is your price. A four eight four two seven five is your item number for both of them. Then we have got the stamp sets here uh, by Folia. So this is a pick and mix. In whichever option you're going to, you are gonna get a, a ink pad in each of these ones. So you are gonna pick and choose any two. So either summer, the happy birthday, or uh, oh look at that, save the date for parties in the patio for a few months, and then hopefully uh, back to normal. Oh, do you want to go back to normal? Desperately so. Desperately. 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 No, I think we I all do. I think we're yeah. all clinging on to I that mean, hope. I mean, one of the reasons I want uh, is for hugs and well, kisses not some. Well, yes, the kisses too, but hugs. You know, this is the thing that I'm missing the most: the hug, hugging everybody. Right. If you want to go for these beautiful stamps, I love them, and I think now is very much of the moment. Um, Eleven ninety nine, whichever two. Uh, so it's a quite a lot, in fact, because you are getting an ink pad, you are getting a, a big stamp, and then you are getting one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine. No, sorry. Yeah, nine. Nine, nine stamps in that one. And then in this one, you are getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you go for the happy weather, you will get eight. Then here, this is the home handmade, home handmade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the final one, which is hello. Oops. Uh, I love that one. Uh, forever yours. Oh, how romantic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stamps again. I can count apparently. I, I probably I haven't count very well, have I? <laughs> yeah. No, but it's, it's enormous amount because if you go for the two sets that have got nine stamps, you have got 18 stamps plus two ink pads. So that's pretty good for 11.99, isn't it? Very good. 749516 is your item number. Now, paper flower case. Now, this is one of the things that I adore. Paper flowers is this one. And you know what? I'll tell you one thing. It's uh, as somebody who has done it for, um, you know, one of my, well, actually, all, all three of my latest books are featuring paper flowers. One of the things that I will tell you is that finding the right thicknesses of crepe paper 
for paper flower is not easy and definitely it's really expensive. Now in here, in this case, you are getting the paper cage as well as the crepe paper, the 50 sheets by two and a half meter sheets. These ones are just phenomenal because you are also getting the, um, you know, the proper w uh, thickness as well of the wire. It's something really important to have the right materials and also you are getting the instructions on how to do them how to cut the, the material how to create those beautiful roses how to create those gorgeous daisies oh, I love you know what I will say if you have never done it it's one of those things that is super easy at home in my house I have got a conservatory I have got a big bunch of paper flowers I have made all of them and it's just so rewarding because they last I mean some of them are four or five years old one two six one two one is your item number 15 pounds or 99 pence and this will last a long like it will it will go a long way right uh, 15 pounds or 99 pence for this bundle and finally we have got the crepe paper uh, now, this is not the same one as before. This one has the iridescence, so this would be lovely. Now, for, I'll tell you why, for, uh, you know, making flowers per lessons also would be really cool to, um, you know, wrap in presents as well. Yeah, yeah, it will do. You know, or if, you've, if you make it your own box and you've put maybe some jewellery yes, that you've made, absolutely. they'd look lovely wrapped absolutely. in that. Absolutely. And the, with this as well, you know, one of the things I found out that you can actually sew with, so you could do like little bags for the handmade oh, jewelry with it. That I mean, just beautiful. either size. Yeah, you can do things like that. It's just size, and of course, it's iridescent. So you are getting the. You can see the ivory or white, and then you have got the gold in here. Then you have the pink. You are getting the blue, and you are getting the green. And you are getting uh, two of each. All right, ten in total. Uh, Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Zero five seven three five five is your item number. Let's jump ahead to the website, which we can see everything that we have got for this hour. Now, uh, of course. You can see the stamps, you can see the uh, beautiful block of papers. My favorites though, I think it's explosion box. I love, I love the paper flowers. I love a little, you know, five star reviews as well. Uh, right, make sure to check out your baskets. Uh, and remember that you have got all those different elements in there to have a look. Uh, now, of course, you can have the uh, elements in there. You can see the uh, different ways of all right, so you can see the iridescent uh, crepe papers with five star reviews. Also, we have got the seven day savers, the double sided tape, and of course, uh, Julie Hickey's beautiful mandala stamps and those glossy, they are absolutely gorgeous. Or the assorted paper card collection, A5, uh, you know, you are getting 65 pieces in total, right? With that, and uh, now, of course, we want to see that. How do we use all this? So, Zoe, take, what are you going to show? I thought I would show an uh, iris folded card today Fabulous. because it shows the, the papers and it shows yeah. how well they coordinate yeah. together, if that's okay. So, I've already got my, um, my template and I've cut it out. And then I've cut my papers down. I've cut them to an inch and a half wide and then just the length of the paper. And I'll just chop it down as I need to use it. So... Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to cover, I don't know if we can see that, can we see? Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. going to cover, because there's number one, I'm going to put the, uh, the yeah. um, paper over number one, and just go, so it's folded, so I use the folded edge Inside. up to the line, and then number two, I'll take these, and this really is a testament to how beautiful the papers are, how they all work from the one pad, and how you can get so much out of them. I mean, this is just one idea that you can do. Yeah. There's so many things that you could do with them. I'm really into my paper flowers, but I'm not. I'm not as um, as good anywhere near as good as you are. Oh, well, sorry, no, I don't say that. It's no, 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 fun. no. I'm not. Yeah. I tend to. I like my quilled flowers quite a lot, and I like my um, my spiral flowers. Yeah. Well, whatever you like, whatever it makes you happy, that's the important thing. Yeah. yeah. And this is all just from one pad. So you can see how well they all coordinate. Yeah. And of course, having that all those different shades from the same kind of family and range means that you don't have to think, oh, will these look good? Because you know that from the same pack is going to look good. Yeah. yeah, you are. You know that they're all going to work together and they're all of the same quality as well. Yeah. Put that there. Yeah. Um, and this one. And all it is, is it's just a matter of 
following the template. There's yeah. loads of different templates on the on the internet, loads of free ones. There are ones to buy as well, but there's loads of free ones if you do a Google search and there'll be ones on Pinterest and yeah. Instagram, Absolutely. all over the place. So I'm just layering it up. Yeah. So and following follow the pattern. Just the numbers there. Yeah. And just layering it up. Now this is going to be a flower, but you've you've got the one with the dress, haven't you? And the reason why you fold it is just so to give a crisp finish, isn't it? Yes, it's so you've got a nice crisp finish, um, and you've not got papers flapping about, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It, just, it feels more like fabric then. It does, doesn't it? It really because does. Because it kind of adds like kind of that effect. And you can see there. And of course, this is the reason why a lot of the iris folding, uh, you know, you'll have foam pads in there because it uh, both that adds for the fold. Then yeah. you have it like that. Oh, yeah, the beautiful flowers. And if I just are. bring in this one, and you can see there's one that I've done uh, yeah. with the beautiful dress. Yeah. And That's you can right. see all how those beautiful papers look and work together. Yeah. They just do, and they just complement each other, and they bring more out of each other if you know what I mean rather than being on their own yeah and then this paper this is just for the leaves and this is from the basics pack the okay, you yeah, know the ones that we've got yeah. further down so I'll just put this under here well they just they I mean I, I was struggling when I, when we first came to Hochanda with with these papers for folia I was really struggling and I thought my favourite was the purple, the pinky yeah. purple India collection. Yeah. But I, th I think now I like the red ones more, I think. Yeah. And within each one, you've all got, you know, you've got different patterns. So if you pick the purple one and then you pick, say, the red one, yeah. then you're not going to have um, exactly the same patterns in each. So the, there's a, vari a variation of patterns. It's not going to be, oh, well, they're using one, one pattern that's the same across six pads do you know what, do you know what i mean yes i do know exactly what you mean okay. this is filling up quite quickly yeah and and, and the other thing about iris folding is it's the kind of thing because you have the printed pattern there of course uh, and then you just fold it follow in it and yep. you don't have to think much you just have in the folded pieces and yep yeah it's very quite mindful actually very 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 mindful and you know it's something that I, when i, I I didn't, when I got the papers last time, I didn't do iris folding. I just didn't think about it. And I don't know how I thought about it yeah. um, this time. But I, I first started, when I first started crafting, it was with iris yeah. folding and tea bag folding. Oh, yeah, of course. Tea bag folding, yeah. yeah. So it's sort of, I'm going very much back to how I started. Yeah, it, it was, I remember, it was all the rage in the early 2000s. Yep. That's what it is. Of course, our like the voices in my ear who are, you know, they do a little bit. No, actually, they do craft. They are, you know, especially Holly. Uh, she's, she's like, you know, she's a junkster. She wouldn't. She, where you you were born in the early two thousands? Were you Holly? Yeah. Oh, she was born in nineteen ninety. Well, yeah. We, I'm giving out where your age. It's true. I made your thirty thirtieth birthday cards, don't I? She lo you look like twenty or something like that. <laughs> But it's funny, isn't it, uh, Zoe, how trends come and go with, in regards to uh, crafting, you know, like kind of... Definitely, things come and go, you know, stuff yeah. that you're making. Yeah. You know, I mean, I look back, I've still got the very first card I made. Yeah. That, that was a stamping card I made. Yeah. And I think I'll treasure it forever because it's, it's you know, it's where I started. Yeah. And yeah, these come and go. These, I mean, but these are... Iris folding's really simple to get, you know, you don't have to have a lot of um, tools or a lot of kit to get started yeah. you just need some paper and you know some of the pattern paper and some card and off you go yeah. um, so it's nice that you know this is you can still do stuff like this Absolutely. by the way of course uh, the folio colors of india collection uh, you're choosing two the most popular is the purple one of course it is the punjab <laughs> uh, that's the option low I, you know I, w I wanted to go now into a kind of uh, uh, I love that, the Punjab, it sounds, sounds like, oh, I, just, I, I don't know, you know what, no, I wanted to go to a curry house, because it kind of sounded like, oh, you're going to do with a curry. You want so, a curry for your tea? <laughs> sorry, 
<laughs> Sorry. You know why? I'll tell you why the association. Because we had the Punjab, uh, you know, the, the um, curry spices from uh, Punjabon, and I just adore it. I adore the sauces. And of course, when I saw Punjab, I was like, oh, there are sauces. I can go one to our home. I have got chicken. I can just throw away. <laughs> Sorry. That's just me. That's my brain. That is my, you know. Um, then we have as well, we have the deli, which is the black and white and neutral turn and turns in here. We have also, which one is this one? Kerala. Kerala, Kerala is a beautiful one with the blues and the, oh, look at that, Kerala. Oh, I've never been to India. Have you been to India, Zoe? No, I've not, no, no. No, I've I, not. I really would like. And then we have uh, um, Mumbai. Oh, I like the Mumbai. I, I, one of my, uh, their uh, cricket team is one of my favorites, the Mumbai Indians. Other, other um, you know, uh, T20 uh, t uh, teams are available for, yeah. Uh, oh, this one is, of course, is, you know, yeah. This is, um, you can imagine that I kind of like this sort of beautiful reds in there. Uh, you're getting two, so this could be one. Then we can go for the Punjab, which is the pinks, either pinks and the purples in here. So gorgeous, absolutely stunning colors. And of course you can see the foot. And then finally, uh, and of course, uh, Zoe, I suppose there is no reason why I couldn't bring my spritzers, especially if they have got mica over it and I've yeah. got even another color. Definitely, you know, if you want to spray over them, you know, um, if you're wanting to add color to them, yeah. because they've got like a feel of yeah. handmade paper, um, the, your colors, if you start taking your, your inks to them, they, it might make saturate yeah. the paper. Um, but you can give it a go. Absolutely. Know. And this is uh, this one is uh, the Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Yeah, I don't know if you, how you say it improperly, but Rajasthan, I say Rajasthan. I don't know. That, that's not the correct pronunciation. <laughs> What's beautiful about them is, though, on some of them, because a lot of them have been embossed. Yeah. But if you flip it over on the back, you've got a different side a of the embossing. Boss, yeah. Uh, let's have a look at uh, some of these ones that you are. So, for instance, this one, if you come in close, yeah, you can see it there. And then I'm going to turn it over. Can you see the difference between both of them? So you have got the more subtle and the more dominant, prominent as well. Which you could use your gilding waxes over. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, yep. Now, 20 sheets in each of those pads. I remember you're choosing any two, so you are getting 40 in total. Basically, it works at a 32 pence per sheet. Uh, now, if you um, if you want to do, you go for this bundle, 12.99. Remember, you make your own bundle because you choose any two. And it could be two of uh, the same one. Okay. So we're just getting right to the centre now. It's getting a bit difficult for you guys to see. But this, I mean, I've just, I've actually used one paper, this paper, in okay. the reverse, because yeah. the, that's the pattern on the, yeah. on the, the main side, but on the reverse side, you've got oh, glitter yes. in it, yeah. so I wanted to use a glitter. But this is one of the papers where it does look like fabric, and it feels yeah. almost like fabric, Absolutely. but it's so strong. When I wanted to, when I was doing this, and I, I folded all my paper, and I used my bone folder, and my bone folder, yeah. and my scoring board, it didn't go through. So it's really strict, uh, thick, strong paper. Okay. So it's um, it's very durable. Okay. Right. I'm nearly there now. Just two more. Did you used to do any iris folding? I did back a couple in the of day? times, and I remember, re you know, uh, I remember the. Um, with iris folding as well. That is, I remember thinking, why is it called iris folding? And it's not to do with the iris and your eyes, it's to do with the shutter of a camera. So is it? you use the old fashioned one, yeah, you have got the iris of the camera. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how Oh, I that's did. lovely. Yeah. I thought it was to do with the eyes. No, it's apparently no, because it's kind of a shutter, the shutter of a camera, so that kind of makes sense. That makes sense, that yeah. it really does. Yeah. No. I did, I did, I was like you for a, for a, for a, for a t some time, I did think it was, um, yeah, it was of the, the eye, but. Right, yeah. okay. Um. Now, it does not look, this is the magic of iris folding, you, it's, it's the reveal, that yes, is. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. you've never seen it done before, it's the reveal of it, yeah, at the end of it. And there's loads, if you go onto YouTube, 
because I've, I've checked myself if you go onto YouTube yeah there's loads of videos on how to do it you know and the same across all the different social media sites on Pinterest there's loads of different things there there's patterns for you to find there is free patterns on the internet there's the paid patterns as well okay yeah perfect and look at that Look at, ah, look at that. Isn't that just clever? Can you hold it? Can you hold it up a little bit? Yeah, there it is. There we go. We can, we can, yeah, <laughs> look at that. That's gorgeous. Uh, now, of course, that's Irish Walden Bird, of course, is using those beautiful papers. Now, whichever pack you're going to go for, you're going to get that monochrome story into here. Now, you can, you have got different options. You have got Delhi, that's neutral colors. You have got Roger Sun, which is uh, that kind of nude, um, you know, the sandy colors. And you are getting 20 uh, sheets in each pad. Now, imagine how many Irish Falling cards you can make with each pack. Um, you are using very small amount of paper, and this is another example of the gorgeous red, um, you know, the, this is Mumbai. This is uh, the Punjab in here. Oh, just, I, every time that I think of the Punjab, I kind of think of, of the car here. And I had my dinner, but it's just like, oh. And this one, of course, this is uh, Dali with the black and then in silver. And then, of course, you have them here as well. Twelve ninety nine is your price. Nine one nine uh, four six one is your item number for this panel. Right, and back to you, Zoe. So okay. you just finished the coat. Yeah, just just putting the little finishing touches on. Okay. Okay. And this is just saying to Mum, with love, best wishes, and thanks for doing, thanks for everything you do today and always. Oh, there we that's go. So gorgeous. There it is. And that's yeah. using a small amount of the paper, yeah. a tiny amount. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, with a little bit of mirror card in there as well. Twelve ninety nine is your price uh, for those paper pads. Remember, you're choosing whichever two you want. Thank you, Zoe. So what are we going to see the next demo? Um, I, what I was going to do on the next demo was I was going to, I can't make all of it because we haven't got the time, but yeah. I can go through the explosion box. Absolutely. That would be fabulous. We will go, be back with you in a second. Uh, but let's uh, have another look at the paper blocks that we have. Uh, larger than an A4 because they are 24 centimeters by 34. And uh, an A4 roughly is 29.7 centimeters by 21 centimeters. So this you are giving three more centimeters either way. Uh, that gives you a little bit of more play uh, play around area it also means that if you are covering a larger box this will give you that extra room as well 11.99 is your price 090525 is the item number and then you choose whichever one you can go for rosa uh, which is pink in spanish actually uh in probably in german as well i don't know i wouldn't know that uh yeah i might do uh then you have got grun grun so that's uh, grun not grunting, no, it's a green. Uh, then you have brown. Oh, I wish David and Brig were here because Brig um, speaks German, I believe. And then you have, of course, the yellow here, which is gulp, 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 gulp. Uh, the voices in my ear kind of speak better German than me, just let's say it. Uh, I have got terrible German pronunciation. Right, uh, now, of course, a pick and mix, how does it work? Well, on the website, you kind of come in and then you kind of go into the item number. So you can see 11, uh, so you can see the folio basic collections, then you can see all the different options. So, for instance, I'm going to go for pink and green. So I just like, you know, flower. Pink and green, add to basket, and that's it. That is just so simple and easy. Remember, papers are here. There are some of them are double sided, some of them are single sided. You can do your iris folding with them, but also you can die cut as well. And you can then, of course, do decorations for your cards. Now, the paper flower cake, that's my favorite. I just need to do this. I just need to do, put the flower in my ear. It's just like, it's a Spanish thing. It's very me, isn't it? There it is. I just love it. I love and of course that's like a poppy. You can create daisies, you can create roses, you have got instructions in there of how to create them. The thickness of the paper is really, really good in the paper bundle in here. You have got extra ones which are a more traditional weight and then of course you can give it that extra with uh, this extra curl in there. You have got the wire as well for the stems and you have, if I'm not mistaken, don't you get also the tape? 
Oh, uh, yeah, Zoe says got it, yeah, sorry. I was kind of thinking, and of course the book, like, which uh, Zoe has got it. We gave her permission, and don't you worry, it's like she hasn't just taken it. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price. One to six, one to one. Now, Zoe, I believe with this, we would be able to make so many flowers. I mean, do you have a number in specific? Yes, I'm sure that you can make, from what I've read, I'm sure you can make at least 11 flowers with everything that comes in the starter kit. In the starter kit, which yep. is in the box, which is not even considering this, is using this, you will be able to make 11 flowers. Which I have to say, 11 flowers for 15 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, as somebody who has bought this extra thick um, crap paper, I think it's a fabulous value for money. Right. Uh, so, you're going to be doing the explosion box, aren't you? Yes, yes. So, what uh, I'll do is if I just bring everything here. So, this is this is your box as you will, as you pack as it will come. And then when you open it up, you will have everything in here. I've already taken it out and you've got all the instructions. So, you've got the step-by-step -step instructions of what to take out and what each one is. And then you can follow them along. And because they're pictorial descriptions, then you don't have to worry about the language at all. But it goes through quite definitely how you do each one. So we'll start with, um, I'm not going to decorate all of it because I think we'll probably be here a bit too long, I think. Okay. But you've got the, the now this is the lid. Oh, yeah. So what, it, what you do is. Yeah, so we can make one box per kit, right? And yeah. we're getting two kits. So two yes, you're getting two kits, yes. But there's so many papers that come in with the yeah. kit you know so many so many papers come. leftovers we'll have yeah. lots of leftovers. i mean i'm not sure could you have a look in the that pack to see how many of the um coordinate like the papers you get uh right so i think you're getting eight eight that's brilliant so you can choose them between the eight papers and then i'm oh, no, sorry six my eyesight is terrible six <laughs> six <laughs> Oh, I, you know, I turned 40 last year and then it was just being, oh, my ear sign, my hearing. I didn't hear the instruction from the producer and she got <laughs> all upset with me. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, and my mom. <laughs> no, <laughs> last year I was 41. It was the previous year that I turned 40. But, you know, because it's it's Christmas mm -hmm. Day, it feels that it's the end of the year, so it's a little bit of a mix. Your birthday's on Christmas mm, Day? Yeah. Oh, you were the only person that didn't know in the whole world. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's my my father's um, birthday was on Christmas Day as well. Oh. Yeah. And my brothers and sisters were a little bit. Yeah. They they weren't very good with the present, shall I say? It yeah. was one present, and yeah. that was your birthday and your Christmas present. So I, I me and my mum always went over yeah. and above board. Yeah. Well, I, the, to be honest, my parents were always very good at making sure I had two presents or a big present. Um, so I can't complain about and that. And you've got a party every every year, you know, there's a big party. Not, not last year, last year was pretty miserable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think you had, that can be said for a, a lot of people. I uh, think... But no, I mean, uh, yeah, anyway, let's It'll not It'll be talk better about for this year, loads yeah. better for this year. <laughs> Yeah, well, the last, the, for my 40, I mean, obviously I had um, um, the, the, you know, Leone organized a surprise party another day, so that was oh. amazing. That was the most beautiful thing ever, so. That was lovely, that. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, some people were missing from that party, but yes, let us know. Mm -hmm. So with this, you've given all the instructions as to how to make this box. Now this is, you might seem like I'm going a bit over the top here with what, how I'm doing it, but this is how the instructions are and it's just a testament to how sturdy this box is. Okay. And <laughs> okay, so fall in there, yeah. And there's no reason why you couldn't really, you could possibly use some of yeah. them as templates. There isn't any reason as yeah. to why you couldn't use some of them as templates. Yeah, of course, the use templates and then we cannot replicate it time and time again. Yeah. yeah. But also sometimes people like, you know, you may not everybody is a experienced crafter that knows how to follow a template or, you know, no. you don't have a die cutting machine or you don't. No. Yeah, and this is perfect because it's pre die cut, pre folded, not to have to think too much. You yeah. just put it together and, you know, that's it. It's mo yeah, it's fantastic. It's great, you know. So there are all these die, die cutting machines and dies out there to make these sorts of cards. But what if you've not got a die cutting machine and you're not sure whether you're going to like the cards yeah. and the boxes? So this gives you a real good flavour of how to do it. So this is the first one, and all it's done is already die cut for you. You just have to push it out of the card, and this is going to be your main box where you start from. So you, what what you want to do is you want to valley fold all of these lines. Yeah. And then mountain fold the hearts. Yeah. 
because then it will fold up like that. Okay? And it gives you the dimensions of where of how big your card and your tape, uh, sorry, how big um, your card is that you cut out and how big the paper is to cut out. And then we just line them up. Okay. I love it. I love also the, the corners that are like little folded hearts as well. I know. And you get loads and loads of um, die cut extras or ephemera if you like mm -hmm. to call them. You Do get you always use glue or you, could you use red liner tape or tape? I would use, if you've got it, I would use red liner tape on the box lid, Ooh. certainly. Um, we do have actually, if you are looking for red liner tape, there yes. we have it, a seven day saver uh, we have here. And uh, now you are getting, uh, now you can see here different sizes, so I've tried to separate so you can see the different sizes. You are getting three rolls of each size, so you are getting the three mil, the six mil, the nine mil and the 12 mil. Uh, five meters in each, so you are getting 60 meters in total for 10 pounds and 99 pence with a saving of 27 pounds. 330730 is your item number. And it's great to have different widths of, um, of double-sided, isn't it? It is really good to have you different widths, yeah. I mean, with the red liner tape, there's nothing, I don't think there's anything stronger than red liner tape. Yeah. And so for boxes and construction, it works fantastically well. Um, and for this one here, I'll just, I'll just poke this out because this is actually a, a bow. Ah, okay. Now, if I was at home, I'd be taking my time a lot more, but when I cut out, when I pulled them out, I would have just snipped along where, yeah. the, where they're yeah. attached to the card. And then that. So this is a, a bow. So what you want to do is, yeah. you want to fold it over mm -hmm. and stick it down in the middle. So it's a good job I've got some red liner tape because this is really yeah. perfect for that. Mm -hmm. And there's two bows that come in each pack. So there is, there's loads, there's more than enough to do uh, at least one. And then yeah. you've got extras that you can use for the rest of your card making. But if you're wanting to make somebody a, an ex explosion box, or you, it's somebody's birthday, or you want to put some chocolates in for Easter, or what wasn't, you know, an, uh, another birthday or another time to celebrate, then these are great. Or if you want um, to give them, give one, I don't know, maybe at a wedding. Yeah. And I love, I love how, you know, a lot of the time I, I was thinking, for instance, my mom and my niece, uh, they like to craft together back in Spain. My mom has got, has a die cutting machine, but whenever she goes to babysit my, uh, my, um, my niece, she, she just doesn't take everything. She has to take a, a little bit. And this yeah. would be perfect for them to sit down and to kind of do Yeah, together. this would be really nice if you do have, you know, mornings where you get together with your friends or yeah. you will be getting together with your friends to do some crafting I, I used to have that where my friends would come to my house mm. you know and we'd ha we'd spend certainly the morning crafting yeah. these are great for then and also if you know somebody who might be into crafting or you want them to start into crafting then that would it would be perfect for them as well yeah. so it's really it's it's nice for all um, groups or all skill sets as well and they're not expensive, is it? Are you getting yeah. two in the collection or is it you're getting the two. one? Yeah, you're getting two. You're getting the both of yeah, them? Yeah, you're getting both. Brilliant, that's wonderful. Yeah. So I'll just put, I'll put that there. Okay. okay. So you've seen that I've folded that and yeah. I've just stuck these down. Absolutely. When you're doing it at home, obviously you'll spend more time. Yeah. Um, so that's the, fl there we go, so that's going to be the bow. Yeah. You can oh, yeah. see if I've got that in. That's yeah, that's but you're going to do going to be doing it in more time when you're at home and it does tell you what to do in all of the instructions but you want you would want to fold these and stick those ah, like I that see, yeah yeah so I'm, i'll just stick one or two on so you can see how it looks if you've got a uh, double-sided um foam pads if you've got the foam pads they do have some that mm. come in the pack as well there we go and you do get some ribbon as well yeah. So you can use these by all means, and also the ribbon that you've that you've given okay. as well. Yeah. So you're really given everything. Okay. Then obviously on the here you've got loads and loads and loads of um, um, yeah. bits to decorate yeah. it with. Yeah. So I'll just fold this again. 
So I'm doing it very quickly. I would take a lot more time at home. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then there's the next bit. So this is the first bit. And this is the, the inside of the first bit. Yeah. Obviously, at home, what you want to do is turn it over and you want to put something on there, there, yeah. and there, and there because that's the outside of your box. Yeah. But then you have this. Now, I've already put some, I've already stuck some card along here. Yeah. But what you do is, it, these, these will create little oh, pockets. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So these are like little pockets for you to put yeah. something in. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh. And then for you to put things on here as well, yeah, I'll just add a couple right. of things on. Yeah. And it comes together really quick. I mean, this is, I've thrown this together and I'd want to spend a lot more time on it at home. Okay. But you can see how it's made. And the instructions are fantastic. There's um, plenty of instructions and plenty of inspiration within the, within the box. Yeah. So then we'll just put that there. And we will just switch, split that there. So yeah, this is just sitting nicely inside the big one, as you can see. Yeah. And then we've got the box. Now, like I said, at home, you would put paper here. Yeah. And you would put paper there. But if we just fold it. Just, so all you need to do is, these are, these are mounting folds, so you just need to go along them and uh, really just, I would use your bone folder just to make yeah, sure that they yeah, score nicely. Good, yeah. Everything doesn't want to go in. Uh, there we go. Well, well. Okay, but then yeah, I've got, you've got all your bits to, to stick on just to, to finish it off and it's all been... Um, measured for you as well. Yeah. So all I'd want to do is put put some card along, paper along each of the sides, yeah. and that'd be really nice if you wanted to fill it with some yeah. chocolates. Absolutely, always chocolates. That well, who cares what the question is? Always chocolate is always the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, an engagement ring. Ah, yeah. that's a band suggestion. Uh, well, our uh, our Holly is already engaged. Uh, 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 maybe our M's, you know, could be good for her. Not this way. She's saying like she she wants she wants a proper, you know, that one me in a different country. Oh, she has expensive taste. Our Emily. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. I mean, I've done that very rushed, but you can see. Yeah how it works uh, yeah perfect and then if i take the lid off oh there it is it's there we go work with all the different elements you know and then it. you've got loads of different places to put some yeah. nice nice sentiments and put maybe a couple of things in there yeah absolutely the, the uh, uh, chocolate qu uh, coins i was going to yeah. say chocolate queens i don't know if there's ones <laughs> are available but coins are certain definitely are. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely right thank you zoe and now of course we have the colors of india we have a pick and mix for you you choose any two that you want uh now of course we have the most popular one is the one you can see and there on your screen is the pun drop in here and of course whichever option you are going to go for you have these kind of cotton beautiful handmade papers that you have the texture the foil printing some of them with glitter some of them with deep embossing which has like two different sides to it all coordinating in color tones so punjab is those pinks those purples the most popular option if you want to go for this do check out your baskets then we are going to mumbai and then it's the rich beautiful yellows and reds in here you can see that inspired by the streets of india the kind of well i never been to india but i imagine that it's a little bit like this and the saris and those gorgeous clothes that they wear somebody who has been to india i don't know ben hasn't even been to india either have you been? No. No. Ah, uh, she and well, Ben has been in his mind has been to India, yeah, and Venus. You know what? I uh, so have I. So let's go there. It's, it's you know, 
Anyway, uh, it's a busy apparently. Uh, uh, pe uh, Pepper, I was going to say. <laughs> Emily Pepper, Pepper in a penny. Uh, we were sh I was shared with her a, a beautiful house that it was, uh, you said Pepper House. And I sent it to her, it's like, where it is? And it was actually, I think it was, was it Mumbai? Oh no, Chennai, Chennai, what's Chennai, Chennai, Chennai. Right, here you have, this one is the Kerala, I believe it is. It is indeed the greens and the blues is the Kerala option, which I think is absolutely stunning. I think I, my second option would be the Kerala option. So I absolutely adore these blues and the greens. Then we have the uh, last option that we, oh no, sorry, we have got two more options. We have got the uh, Rajasthan. Uh, now, uh, you can see, apparently, it takes you 12 hours to go to Chennai. So that's, uh, that's from, from, it depends from where, from London, uh, from, uh, from Sunset, apparently. Other uh, uh, London airports are available when there are snow lockdown. Um, and around the country as well. I'm just saying London because there's a, uh, yeah. Um, oh. Just stop talking, Paula. Stop talking because I live in a hole. I did say I live in a hole. I mean, actually, that's why I <laughs> I'm so short. <laughs> There's an Emily, my producer. She's savage sometimes. It's like, is that why you are so short? I live, I live in an emotional hole of emptiness and no words can ever take me. Anyway, moving on from that, sorry, we're very happy here, we're laughing, we're laughing, I mean, at me, but, you know, we're laughing. Uh, right, uh, anyway, so we have got all this gorgeous uh, papers in here, absolutely stunning, gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful papers. Um, Right, remember to pick and choose uh, any two. You are getting 20 in each, so 40 uh, in total. Now, Zoe, you have about six minutes left. Okay, okay. So what I'll do is, if, if it's all right, just to go through the kind of the start of a f yeah, flower absolutely. and the book. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Okay, so with the pack, you get this book. This book comes um, with it, and this is your Bible. This is everything that you're going to need. Now, it's got it in a number of different languages. So there's, there's a section there and then here, and it tells you how to form the petals and how to pull and stretch the crepe because crepe paper stretches. So which, which directions to stretch it in. And then if you go through, this is going to be, this is quite important. So this is your flowers because you've got a gerbera, a poppy, a, ba uh, a, a rose, a chrysanthemum and a curcuma. So, you t so if we look at the gerbera, this is, says D1, and you want, it to, you want to cut your paper 35 centimetres by 7 centimetres. And that's, in, that's going to be in sort of one of your colours, say it's orange in this one. Then you've got it where it says cut 10 centimetres by 3 centimetres, and it's going to be that one. So you can see this shows you how you can cut everything out of the papers. And then D3 is going to be some green, and you cut that out 2 centimetres by 20 centimetres. It doesn't have to be direct, uh, exact even, but if you can get it to within something like yeah. it. So, once, so what I've done is I've cut the 35 centimetres by 7 centimetres. So this is for the petals. And what I've done is, if I go to the next page, where is it? Where's the... Ah, here it is. Yeah. So this is your, the, again, your pictorial tutor, tutors on how to do it. So it says that with the D1, which is the long one, you want to cut one centimetre strips down to about a centimetre from the end, and then you want to round them all off. So I, what I've done is I've gone along and I've cut them all different, uh, at one centimetre, roughly, you don't need to measure it. I've cut them at one centimetre, and then I'm just rounding these edges. So this is for the the shape of the flower of the, the gerbera or gerbera however you say it yeah whichever yeah, yeah. Uh, um so I'll, I'll finish doing that in just a second but then you've also got your two your d2 yeah which is again your orange and it says here it shows you it's just a matter of getting used to these directions so it says to cut every one to two millimeters and again cut down to one centimeter from the bottom and it does also show you as well, because it is important, with the, craft, uh, with the crepe paper, which direction to have it in. So that paper, that the, the picture shows that you want to have the sort of stretchy way going along yeah. the, there. So you want, to, you want to be cutting down, down the, the, the vertical one, so the stretchy one. And it does, it does make a difference because you will come to stretch the, the flower. I don't know if you can grab hold of one of those flowers, um, yeah, Paula, the, yeah. one of the gerberas. Yeah. 
or Gerber, Gerber, however you say it. Gerber. Gerber. Uh, yeah, they're absolutely. And I love the colors of this scrap paper, the intensity. Yes. Uh, they are just beautiful, the deep colors as well. And the fact that there's a thickness. And like, of course, oof, sorry, going downstairs. Uh, oh, no. And this is the beautiful thing. Uh, yeah, I'm going deeper into my own hole. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> we're going to go in here. <laughs> so you can, you can. see. <laughs> right. All uh, right. So I'll just I'll cut this off as best I can. Yeah. All right. So we have got <laughs> just about two minutes left. Okay. Sorry. So with it, you get. Um, the wires. Now these wires are really, really good because they're really nice and thick. So they're gonna, you're going to be able to start off really well with these. And it tells you what to do. So you start off with um, the first one, which is the, the thin one. Yeah. So I've got that one as my D3. I've got the green one in the centre as my D3. Um, and then it just all you need to do is just get your um, heating tool, your hot glue gun is always yeah. best. Yeah. And then you roll it. Yeah, so get it started. Ooh. So I just want to set it like that so it sticks. Yeah. I'm still a bit wary of the gl the glue gun after I yeah. glued my hair last night. Oh, it really did you. Yeah, I've had to cut my hair, pass my hair out. Uh, yeah, well, that's what happened as well with my, I had uh, uh, for years I had like a strand that was shorted and that was because I originally um got hot glue gun as well. Really? So I cut it and then I can never, and I just kind of kept cutting it. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad I'm not the only one. Oh yeah, I know it is. And the one draw recommendation I would say is just go through the awkward phase of letting it grow and then because otherwise, yeah. It stays there for a it's while. Just, yeah, I think I have it. Oh, we have got seconds to go. And now, Zoe, do you know when you are back? I'm back on the 31st of March and the 1st of April. Which I think that is in a week, uh, 10 days, so it's yeah. a Wednesday and a Thursday, I think. Yeah. Uh, not this week, the following week. Uh, now, of course, uh, we will uh, we'll look forward to seeing you. Do you Thank know which you company are you are? Going? Yes, it's for Couture Creations. Oh, fabulous. So uh, that's exciting always with Couture Creations. To you at home, check out your baskets. They are fabulous products, low affordable prices, especially those paper flower kits. They are really excellent. And of course, stay tuned because we have got, even though we stopped doing live after 10 p.m., we have got lots more coming up and I'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Stay safe and stay tuned to Hochanda through the night. Indeed, we have another look at the one day special after the break. Then Pink Frog Crafts 13th birthday at 11 and then at midnight, best of crafts to you. Excellent night. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet. 
either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Exciting news! For the 